Uh, boom. I'm... What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Hold on. Full... Ah! Here we go. There we go. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, I, I went to the wrong one. Hey, there everybody. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> I forgot. Usually, I jump down to the full screen. That's just, like, out of habit. Um, uh -huh. And I forgot that I had just set up my other scene instead of so whatever anyway we're here hi everybody hey welcome um it's me as you, it's me niku here with which direction <laughs> Tanil is here with us Hello, to everybody. hang out we're gonna fuck around and as you can see in the other corner uh we got my old Sariku ted talk oh uh shirt i did i wore this purposefully my little Sariku shirt oh that's so cute isn't it cute yeah. Oh, I love that. Where'd I you get that one? I... It's an artist made... Hold on a second. Yeah, I was about to say, that definitely looks like a fan-made one. It definitely is. Uh... So I just gotta say, it's really weird, because I also have the stream pulled up. So I'm seeing, right. like, us, but, like, ten seconds or so delayed. Uh-huh. So yeah. it's weird watching that and yet still talking to you. <laughs> yeah. How about a weird... I don't know if other people are seeing you drop out a little bit. And I don't know if that's just something on my end or... Oh, yeah. My screen keeps going black. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe if I don't screen share. Yeah. That might help. Because that's what I was... That's the one thing I was worried about is that it might... uh Might be too much. Uh-huh. Yeah, it might be just a bit too much while I'm trying to do a bunch of things. Anyway, um, do they still have... I have to see really quick before I forget. They may have changed their names. Their name? Okay, I found their red bubble. I don't know if it's still... They have another really good shirt that's like a favorite of mine. I yeah, I wearing. definitely still seem to be dropping out. in and out. Yeah. Like, there's That's no problem weird. with our connection. Like, I'm hearing everything fine. Oh, yeah. And, like, at least, let's see, visual. Get out of here. Visually, you are not dropping for me. I think it's just the actual. Yeah, I think it's OBS trying to capture it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think so, too. Time. Well, it's gonna have to suck it. Th it's just gonna have to suck it up. Yeah. Hold on, I have, I have to find. I'm like on their shop, and I can find the shirt. I know it's here. Where is it? <laughs> I have to do this first. I have to pay my dues, you know. Um. Poor, poor Tenniel fading away. Fading in and out, away. popping Goodbye. in and out. Mm, the void claims all even here you're so <laughs> right nerd <laughs> the fuck no 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 <laughs> red bubble <laughs> stop what did you just have a place where your shirts clothing that's one psst, psst. i wonder if they got rid of it anyway um let's see if it keeps being a problem i could just reset it i also could we could just have you be a voice from above, even though you went through all that trouble to go get your, go get your camera. I mean, um, it really wasn't that much trouble. All that trouble just to get your oh, camera. Oh, so I found much it. Work. Oh my god. I found it. Um, It's on a different color. I'm going to put it in chat for everybody to see it. Okay? Ooh. Really quick. And then I'll just send it to you directly because it's just easier. But, I mean, mm -hmm. I could, I clicked on it in chat. Fine, whatever. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's cute. They also have other cute stuff, so definitely recommend. They have a really kick-ass uh, Riku shirt that I love and adore, where it's like him with Ansem, and it's just, it's really good. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's another favorite. Oh, I just, here, I'm going to put it in anyway. Mm-hmm. Because it's a really good one. It's really good. It's so good. It's really good. <laughs> oh, dude. I know. Doesn't that... 
Doesn't that just it's whip ass? All in the symbol too. Uh huh. Let's see if I. Now I'm now I'm trying to fix you. That's so cool. Yeah, maybe if, if you just... reset it or something, that'll fix uh -huh. it. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, this is very exciting for everybody, I'm sure. Um... <laughs> I just... Alright. Fucking gets... Just deletes you. Just entirely. Just... just get me out of there. Window capture. I think I just have you in here. Where the fuck did it go? Oh. Oh, no? Oh. No? Okay. Trace the connection. You're so right. <laughs> um, don't show that. <laughs> no, don't show that either. <laughs> show... Behave. Ah, oh, that's why. Okay. It's like it is actually like having a fucking conniption fit, apparently. It's like Discord oh, null. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> is it OBS or Discord? I think it's the Discord. So hold on. Get out of ah. here. And then I'm going to, because I put you on a pop out to make this easier. And then thank you everybody for being so patient. Oh my God. Okay, well, go back to. figured this out. Go back to the app. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. <laughs> I everything worked before I started. Okay, I promise. Yeah, I promise. It was, it was all good. Everything go. was hunky fucking dory, and then and and now we can all cut it in post. I already, I already started recording. <laughs> See, no, this is just in the. It's in the spirit of uh, you know my original video being kind of garbage, kind of garbage, just a little bit. <laughs> It's a little bit of uh, garbage. Um, okay, so this time we're gonna try this again. Hi. <laughs> Roommate showing up in the back in the dark. Okay, let's Hello. try this, and then hey. I'm gonna then I'm gonna cut y'all small, so people don't have to look at my friends list. I'm gonna make you even smaller. There we go. Look at that! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Ta-da! Office. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, my chat is so big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you over here, right above. There we go. Perfect. There we go. All right, we f <laughs> we fixed it. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hi, everybody. For realsies this time. After yes. I hunted for a Suriku T-shirt and um, you know, get get your Suriku merch. And also actually have our friends on camera. I'm going to scoot yeah. a little bit. It's a little cramped over here, but anyway. <clears throat> that puts you more center. Do I have the socks? Oh, fuck. I <laughs> Hold on. I have the socks on. Obviously. I know you have the... Oh, wait. Look at my matching <laughs> deliberately picked shorts, um, if you will. They're little <laughs> Mickey Mouses. Little gay Mickey Mouse symbols. So. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. So hold on a second. <laughs> Man, I want to go to Disney Pride so bad. Like, Disney's doing those Pride Nights now at the park. And oh, I want to be there. I want to go. It's so big that they're doing them, like, officially now. <laughs> it's cool. You're right. Anyway... <laughs> I have my matching Suriku socks. For those there of you who don't go. know what what I'm talking <laughs> about, here they are. It was a whole set. Here's the Riku. I would show off mine, but they're on my feet, and Twitch doesn't allow feet, so they're well. If they're down if they're here. socked, right? Maybe then. Maybe does then Twitch really okay. not allow feet? <laughs> I, from what? Yes, from my understanding, yes. <sighs> That's coward shit. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying. It's, it's like even be, if they're right? socked. What? Dude, that's I don't know. I don't I don't care. That's Look at what I can do. Look at this. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Look at this guy. Alright, alright, look. 
Sue me. There Ban me. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at <Spock. laughs> No feet. <laughs> Ugh. I pull back the calendar. You know, it's 1980. Is it 84? It's, I feel like I want to say 86. Yeah, 84. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're good. We got it. We got it right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd erupts. Yeah. I know, so it's scandalous. pretty risky. Not like my bare legs on display at all, but like, you know, <laughs> the socked feet. That's a little too far. Also, I think everybody can hear Chess laughing, laugh, yeah, laughing in the distance, sure. just losing it back there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, Hello, welcome to the Sariku TED Talk uh revisit i hope you like the name i thought it was funny um we're gonna <laughs> yay <laughs> um <laughs> we're gonna watch my old fucking well god if we'll get through i don't know it's seven something at least for me um my old five hour video from 2019 which was at the tail end of what ended up being something like a 12 hour stream i think um i couldn't be stopped <laughs> so the thing is, I talk about a lot of stuff that people still really like to watch this video. It's up on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's technically where I'm s streaming it from right now, is that it's just up. Um, <laughs> and uh, seeing that, like, people still really liked to watch it, and, like, people are, like, engaging with it and leaving comments and things that I'm like, I don't remember what I said, <laughs> like, people are a little bit more of an expert on things that I have said, because I don't fucking remember. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember general be, points, but... This is gonna be funny, because I think I probably know this video better than you do at this point. <laughs> You're probably more familiar having watched it than I am, and I said it. But it's been a while. And I would say, oh, it's been years. This will happen to me from a stream from, like, two weeks ago and it like gets up on the youtube and someone's like ha, when niku said this thing and i'm like i'm sure i did i <laughs> i'm not I'm there for that funny. yeah yeah i'm so happy to hear that i was funny hi claude <laughs> <laughs> yeah everybody else has to tell me what i fucking did because i don't remember um so that'll be fun there's gonna be a lot of stuff where i'm going to think i should say this thing and then i i will say that thing and i'll go nice nice that's good that's <laughs> Um, actually, actually we're first to... watch this video when, uh -huh. or the stream, um, yeah. when I was in the middle of writing my Riku video. Right. And, like, that was, I think I first watched it when I was in, like, 30 pages in. And then I watched the video and I was uh -huh. like, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. What <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> no. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, there's- It's for the betterment this way. Like, it's it's all better that the Riku video is, like, stupid long. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I- Who doesn't love a good six-hour video to, like, throw up while they're doing whatever, uh, while working and stuff? Because that's- that shit's the best. But also, mm -hmm. it's about time somebody put- all of these things somewhere in a much more cohesive manner because I sure as fuck was not doing that. I was just off the cuff all of these things. I know, and I'm still doing that. So mm -hmm. you're doing the Lord's work, which is not the work I'm doing. <laughs> I wanted, like, again, I wanted that video so bad. Uh -huh. And I was just like, I saw all of you guys talking about the meta and, like, all this mm -hmm. theories and everything. And I was just like, God, I need this all in one place. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, because I think it was even in the face of me being like, I'm going to do this. I gotta, I, somebody has to do this. And then I'm not doing it. And so you were like, I'm going to do, this is mine. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, thank God somebody did. Yeah, and it was just one of those things too that like, it was especially after the, the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer dropped. Yeah. I was like, okay, fuck, things are moving fast now. Yeah, like, things are progressing. It, Something needs to be done. It's either now or never. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Found you through this video because it kept getting recommended to me on YouTube. I keep getting this video recommended to me on YouTube. <laughs> like, on my normal account. It's like, hey man, you want to watch Suriku TED Talk 2019? And I'm like, 
I'm okay. <laughs> like, I'm happy. It's, fine. it's finding its audience, and I happen to be that audience. I just also happen to be the guy who was the one who said everything. So, I should probably subscribe to my own channel because it'll look good. <laughs> but I have it because I'm like, there's too many videos <laughs> getting <laughs> clogging my subscription feed. <laughs> Oh, Talking I'm subbed to all my own channels, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, that, I feel like that's just the smart thing to do, but, like, yeah. I just, I had that thought distantly today, where I was like, I should probably do that. And then I didn't yeah. do it, so here we are. <laughs> like, one of our channels is just um, for our animated project, uh -huh. uh, Clouded Moon. And yeah. so, like, anytime I log on to that channel to write mm -hmm. an update or do anything... I just see my posts, <laughs> like my right, videos right, right, in the right. subscription feed, and I'm uh -huh. like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> that handsome fella. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, no problem. Look at me go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what said I avoid cage shit on YouTube like the plague because I don't want to be recommended what YouTube thinks is a good Kingdom Hearts video. But the Riku's gay video still shows up, and I think that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very commonly, like, what mm -hmm. I will also... Like, I just... God, it I have to... It takes so much for me to go, like, do I have the energy to go into this video today and yeah. see if it's good? Like, I have to, like... There's so much... It I can't just throw it on and be like, Wahoo, Kingdom Hearts! Because it could just make me so mad. <laughs> it could just make me so mad, and I can't I can't afford that. All the time. <laughs> I think that works a little better. There we go. Uh, yeah, no. And even if it's just like, okay, sure, whatever. They don't see Sariku or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's a whole other, like, multitude of issues of, like, videos mm -hmm. that it's just like, oh, I really don't want to deal with someone talking about how the they think the story's stupid or whatever. Like... Uh -huh. Or, you know, saying like, oh, the Disney stuff doesn't really matter, or... <laughs> there's it's, just so yeah, many Yeah, there's like, there are so parts. many different things that could mm -hmm. just get me so off my rocker that I don't... <laughs> it's like, it's a hazard. It's a hazard going in. I don't know what yeah. I'm gonna get, you know, and I just don't want to deal with it all the time. So, like, I'll save some things if I'm like, okay, maybe I'm, like, picking up some nice vibes from the thumbnail, and I'll put it in my watch later, and I have a whole bunch of fucking videos that I'm just yeah. like, I can't do it. Not yet. Not today. <laughs> you know, I can't fucking do this. Yep. Are you a Kingdom Hearts fan, or are you a Kingdom Hearts fan? Right. Yeah. How to get me to watch a video Sariku or Cage isn't dumb slash confusing. Yeah, that's usually one of the good signs of like, oh, okay. And even then, sometimes I go in and I'm like, yeah, it's not that bad. And then people are like, well, and it's, it's so, it, mm -hmm. it's so tenuous. Okay. It could go wrong yeah. at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Like at any moment, they could just say something like either like completely off the walls or just kind of yeah. like dis things in general and it's just mm -hmm. like oh mm -hmm. and my guy my dude did you have to though yeah or just saying something that's like it's just factually incorrect and i'm like yeah, <laughs> i feel too. like hold it in <laughs> that too mm -hmm. yeah what if i moved the you guys over there hold on wait because i'm i keep looking over here at the preview and so it makes me i'm talking i'm like i'm looking at you to neil but it uh -huh. looks like i'm looking at the chat and i'm not and so it's <laughs> <laughs> and it's bothering only me um so you guys are gonna go over here this time and then i'm gonna move over there we go right in my fucking eyes and then Whatever, I'll leave the... You can just go over here. It's fine. It's whatever. Good enough. Cool, I guess. Eh. Figuring it out. I'll move shit as I see fit. But... Yeah. Let's see here. I didn't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. I saw that video out of boredom. 
Hearts. <laughs> Perspective vids tend to give me a new appreciation of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I feel like when people go in with the goal of specifically a retrospective, it's like, okay, I had some kind of impression of this before, or I played it when I was a kid, and then they go mm -hmm. in with, like, fresh adult eyes, and then it doesn't always mean that they have, you know, every... Sometimes they can still come out with, like, weird opinions out the other end, but it's usually coming in with a better approach of, like, expecting things to be different than you remembered and, like, trying to see it from a new light. So retrospectives tend to do better, I feel like. King K or bust. I love King K. Yeah. <laughs> I love listening to King K. And it's like, He's I don't even always... Stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I don't even always 100% agree with, like, everything he says all the time. But it's like, it's one of those things where it's just so, like... I, I don't care. He's just so, like, reasonable and, uh -huh. like, nice to listen to. You know, he just has a nice voice. But also, it's just, like, anytime it's something that even if I disagree with it, it's usually, like, I totally understand how and why he, like, got there. And it's just, like, oh, yeah, this just makes sense. Cool. You know, and it's that easy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I... So mm -hmm. there are so many retrospectives and, like, trying to catch people up with the series before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. There, there were, were so many, and they made so me so mad. Many. All of them made me so mad. <laughs> and I think a big problem with them, in general, was yeah. that they were trying to explain, like, every crazy little plot twist. They were trying to, yeah. like, go through the games as, like, dryly as possible. Uh-huh. And... It's just one of those things where it's like you can kind of tell when people don't really understand what's going on with Kingdom Hearts because they try to tell you every single little bit because they don't know what's going to be important and what's not. Oh, yeah. They so, get, like, caught up in, like, the finer details that's, like, mm -hmm. it, you're just kind of muddling everything. A lot of people genuinely don't know how to summarize very well. And that's just, yeah. like... It's not always easy. It takes, like, practice, you know? It's 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 a skill to be able to, like, more cleanly summarize something. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you always got things that were in two flavors, and one was... Oh, thank you. Oh, Astral. Well, thank you, Astral, for a fun little gift. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I saying? Ah! <laughs> oh, right. It came uh, in two yeah. flavors. They came in two flavors, and it was somebody who was going over things really really fast in broad strokes usually making fun of the series or making jokes mm -hmm. and making light of it in some capacity yeah. um whether good natured or not it definitely paints things a certain way and then the other flavor was guy who was going into way too much detail very dryly and this only truly makes sense to people who already know all this shit anyway and so they sit in yeah. that same camp of like just focusing on like the wrong fucking things and everything it was just too much at once and then you get like a, a summary like going over the series and it's like two hours long and everybody comes out the other side and they're like what the i fuck? don't know what the hell's going on <laughs> yeah i explained this to my patrons because i was talking to some of them who hadn't played through kingdom hearts and they're yeah. like should i like go through some summary videos to try and like help me understand it or whatever <laughs> And I was like, well, the problem with a lot of summary videos is that they will tell you that Kingdom Hearts is all the parts of a refrigerator. Like, they'll tell you each and every part, but they uh -huh. won't tell you that it's a refrigerator that you're building. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's actually a really good way to put it, I think, where it's just like all the fine details without going, oh, it's a refrigerator and it makes, it keeps food cold, you know? <laughs> and it's just yeah, exactly. like, <laughs> and this is the door, and this door leads to darkness and also the freezer um <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you what the freezer does though <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's usually yeah it's people getting caught up like they're really just kind of missing the forest for the trees where it's just like mm -hmm. every little detail on the way and it's just like you really you gotta hit more of like the broader like plot points and then, like, okay, I say this because I've thought th about this a whole lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And I've <laughs> talked about it on stream before. And that, like, this is still, like, my first and foremost, like, video goal that I want to do is actually, like, talk about and summarize what you do need to know about Kingdom Hearts by title and keeping it relatively short. Okay, don't don't get fucking too lost or go down a windy, twisty path. Just being right. like, here's KH1. You know, here is the overall, like, 
view of it. Like, my idea is, like, I want to hit somebody who maybe just played the game for the first time. And so uh -huh. you kind of have an idea of what's going on. We don't need to go super, super into detail, but here are things that you need to know. And so doing things in a broad stroke, and then you got to break things down. So you're like, here's the, the overview, and then here we have these larger sections of chunks, and then we can go into the little details of it as we go on. And at this point, you already have a greater context, so you're not just getting bombarded with a bunch of little shit that you're like, what is the who? And wait who who's nominate like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> and it's just God like i'm talking no. about kh1 and like she, she doesn't need to come up you know but like right. she will <laughs> people will and it's like you don't have to just wait just wait okay just let and here's sora's sacrifice and then be like that's gonna be really important later okay i'm putting a pin in that and then remember move this. on yeah, yeah remember this okay just <laughs> Keep going. having a video like that for just mm -hmm. kingdom hearts one would make so much of a difference of how people then go into the rest of the series yeah because yeah, so many people already misunderstand what's going on in kingdom hearts one yeah yeah i think so it's uh it's the heart thing goes into the nobody thingamajig into the who <laughs> into the what into the someone no the nobody but there's the, <laughs> no, the, the nobody. buddy like they're the body part and you're like yeah, man. And they're like, oh, that's too confusing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, but... But no, yeah. The body is the body, and the heartless is the heart. What's Yeah, it's like, about? I don't know if... Like, I understand, like, if just on the surface, we were like, well, what do you mean? They're the heartless, and they're the heart. But it's just like, I don't know if you've ever heard of, a, a, like, a play on words before. <laughs> but... <laughs> this may be yeah. your first time with the English language, and that's okay, but I promise... It, it actually is not as bad as it seems. <laughs> it's it's so sad and so funny at the same time that people legitimately get upset about the whole, like, well, why are they called nobodies when they're the bodies? And why is it called heartless when they're because the Because it's cool. Because it's cool. That's why. <laughs> because it's fun. Because it's a play on words, my guy. Yeah. We're messing with uh, words and symbolism and themes and... You know, they're they're nobody. They're not like a person, but they're the body. Ooh, ooh, there's layers. It's like an onion. It's got layers. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Kingdom Hearts. We haven't started the video at all, but I kind of expected this to happen, to be honest. It's fine. It's like once we would just get talking, it was just going to be like, Wee, you know, so we'll we'll see <laughs> how we actually get uh, when we get going. Um, to be fair, if I if if I remember the beginning of this video correctly yeah. it takes a little while before you start getting into it does any points. yeah it does so. <laughs> i know that at least because it's like you know i'd have to go in and be like okay cool i'm gonna like preview over some stuff or whatever and uh yeah it does take me a moment <laughs> i always remember where I, I go and i make my lion king joke and we can skip that one for sure <laughs> i don't yeah, need another don't need i don't need another mark with that uh, yeah exactly <laughs> i'm gonna just skip about 21 minutes in is what Sun Guardian says. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, and they would be the expert of when I actually get to fucking talking about it, because I know they've listened <laughs> to it, like, a million times. Yeah. Uh, I'll get around over here. Look, nothing changed. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. Let's let's try and focus on this, I guess. Um, okay. So, for the most oh, part... Oh, I need to pull it up. Oh, yeah. And I need to skip to 21 minutes in. <laughs> there you go. Um, I see people go into Kingdom Hearts expecting it to justify its existence to them and then be disappointed. Yeah, it's very much something that, like, you gotta go in and just want to have fun on the ride. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just go in and have fun with a story. And it's not saying that it's, like, it's so disconnected from, like, being a cohesive story that you have to ignore anything. It doesn't. I just think people go i don't know people get so weird about like but how does this thing work what do you mean it's a giant key and it's like i'm sorry you must be really fun to hang out with and talk to if you're gonna have a conniption about minor fucking fantasy story details okay like you gotta yeah. fucking just take the story one step at a time just just go in <laughs> just go into the world We've talked about this before, uh, but if you were to make a cage video, you'd have to make a video just explaining literary devices because it seems like no one knows what the hell a symbolism is. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. That's true. 
And there's a lot of it. And there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that in Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. I, it's one of those things too, where I half wonder if Mm -hmm. it's just kind of like lost in translation of like people just being like, oh, this is a silly Japanese game. I don't need to use my brain. Right. And then, right. like, it hits them with more than what they expect. And because it's more than what they expect, they're just like, oh, that must be an accident. Right. And it's like, no. Yeah, I mean, because people coming in with their own preconceptions of the series, which, I mean, there's no way to avoid that because humans are humans and we have biases, right? And I was one of those people yeah. who came in. But I also came in with the angle to be like, I just want to see what this is all about. Just, like, let it just make its case, and, like, we'll just Mm -hmm. go from there. And then I found out it wasn't anything like everybody had been making fun of it and made me believe it was. And I was like, oh, this actually isn't that bad at all. I don't fucking understand what the big deal is. (laughs) Um, But, uh... I don't know, people coming in and having that, like, idea of, like, they're probably already not going to take it very seriously. uh, Or some idea that it's just like, and Mickey Mouse is here... (laughs) like what the fuck you know (laughs) it's like i just there's nothing to be done for people who are have already like just decided ahead of time that like they're probably not going to give any of anything that's happening much credit right yeah and i've said this before (laughs) yeah i've said this before but like i was basically (laughs) forced into kingdom hearts where someone was like you're going to love this yeah you are yeah and i was like no it looks stupid Uh uh-huh and then, like, immediately, like, immediately, I saw Riku, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Cage one couldn't even and afford like, Mickey Mouse. I'm just putting like, a pin in that. There's a reason, and I love to talk about it. Continue. <laughs> and I tried, like, you know, mm-hmm. making fun of it a little bit as I was playing the first bit. Right. And yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. like, god damn it, I love everything about this. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> it's super oh, charming and yeah. nice and fun. Uh-oh. But also, uh-oh. on the note, just because I love to talk about it, the reason uh-huh. Mickey Mouse was not in Kingdom Hearts 1 like he was was because they were given a very strict, like narrow uh guidelines Mm -hmm. within they could actually use him um and it was because they didn't want to like self-compete with like other projects that were using mickey at the same time and so they would kind of dole out essentially screen time to these projects and so it was like okay for kingdom hearts they were like you can only use mickey uh Shot at a distance, obscured in some way, like a crowd shot. And yeah. then Nomura was like, oh, we I better make better it fucking that. count. <laughs> yeah, he was like, we gotta, we gotta make this shit count, like, hard. And so that's why not only is he at a distance, he's also, like, silhouetted like he is. Because he couldn't mm-hmm. just be on screen. He had no. to be obfuscated. So they just had to go for this really impactful, like, here he is, and then the light's, like, around him. And you're like, oh my god, it's King Mickey! (laughs) And it's really, and it paid off. It was really, really good. But it was, like, after that was, like, super successful, then that wasn't a problem anymore. So, and he didn't have his jacket, he didn't have his shirt on, and don't worry, you know, they sure kept that part in mind for (laughs) whatever reason. (laughs) But... That's just one of those things where it's just, like, they. it's just so funny, like, how small of, like, a box they had, like, to work within with using Mickey Mouse in that one game. And uh-huh. then every, every time after that, and then they're like, and then Mickey Mouse gets choked out on a pillar, <laughs> and you're like, whoa, so what did we get here? Oh my god. <laughs> But um, it's so crazy what Disney allows them to do with him. I know now they're just like ah, fuck it, you know, he's the king. Do whatever you want. He can walk through. He can walk through a tunnel, like mostly dying and Mm -hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like yeah, he's fucking crawling along the ground and he's he's groaning and moaning all and he's hurt. (laughs) It's so uh, you know. And they're like, yeah, I don't care. Go for it. Have fun, would, King Mickey. Bye bye. <laughs> I would say that Kingdom Hearts is probably the wild stuff that Disney cast gets to do, but I don't know those those new Mickey Mouse shorts. They those new Mickey Mouse shorts are pretty insane. Wild shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, and that's that's and it's good stuff too. Except for they have they have do have a couple different like Mickey's, and so the mm-hmm. one for the shorts 
I think it's a different one from the one in the games, but the one in the <laughs> games, he is a gay man who has a husband, and I love that for him. Gay oh, Mickey. Gay yes. Mickey. Gay King Mickey. So <laughs> So that's, you know, that's fun. That's sweet. Um there's your fun fact for the day. I love that. <laughs> um anyway, uh Sariku Endgame actually, I guess. I mean, we're gonna, we may as well get fucking started with it, like, at all. Um, right, right. So you're at 21 minutes, right? I'm at, no. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's 21.18. I'm at 21.03, baby. <laughs> did you ever finish the notes for the TED Talk? All yeah, right. you did. Yes, you did, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a whole little list of notes based on this that Claude did. So maybe I'll pull them up and be like, yes, these greater points that I made. Wow. Um, okay, I guess I'll I'll count us down a little bit. All right. We have to do it like the really old fashioned way. Gotta start it. We're at the we're same like time. watching stuff over Skype, you know, we're trying right, to watch Netflix yeah. together or whatever. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is like Barbie. <laughs> Um, okay, all right. Uh, on, I'll say go, okay? okay? So, three, two, one, go. He was like, yeah, yeah, you're, I mean, you're right. You That's me. Were. And then I was just like, I just can't stop fucking thinking about it. Just, what the fuck? Like, I just, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> just told us a story. It's like the only thing that makes sense. I hope you guys can hear it, um, okay? So, I can turn this up. Now. So you had any sense of scale, the rundown, uh, didn't partake in fandom, did not really ship anything ever actively, and I was never in anything long enough to right. go for it, mm -hmm. right, to do anything, to mm -hmm. pursue anything. Old, shitty, muffled Mike. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then it suddenly just hit me like a shit ton of bricks. Like, just a bunch. Just, just a bunch. <laughs> it was not only like I really like them, it's a good time, I enjoy Kingdom Hearts. It was kind of one part like I enjoyed them a whole bunch, but it was like the reality hitting me of holy shit. Like this story is this is just what the story is telling. Like it's just here it is. And and that's and, and <laughs> This is all still true. Is this is all one hundred percent still soul. true. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. And so I'm gonna the same story. Tell you why, I honest to God, okay. I take your little hands. I, <laughs> I take and, I, and I'll give you all of the reasons that you could feel this way. Okay. Yeah, me. I say it. To <laughs> tell you all about it. I take your little hands very gently. My hands are very warm. <laughs> They're very warm. Very. It's very still warm. true. Uh, so warm that one time I held a tarantula. And, this is also true. Um, it didn't <laughs> want to totally. leave my hand because my hands mm -hmm. were so warm. And it was so sweet. <laughs> little so, tarantula. You know, I mean, it was. It yeah, was all these years later, you take like, our little hands oh, again. I do, and it's my like, hands are still so warm. Bugs. Still, still so, so warm. warm. Here, to hold. Like, now you can see me do it. Tarantula. And, I was like, oh, cool. and so I sit down and I put it on. And it's like, usually she would like get on and then crawl nice. right off. Yeah, did you mislead me into. Me talking about and, uh, the tarantula on my hand. There. The guy was like, uh, 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 come on, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, uh huh, uh huh. And then another thing. Anyway, that you guys are the me. proverbial tarantula uh, in my hand. All the time. <laughs> just a cute little spidery yeah, guy. Yeah. Did I take care bit. of you so nice? Uh, we went to the petting zoo. And this goat. Oh my god. Walked up Shut me, up, me. Hold on. <laughs> and then just pushed its head into my leg. This is great. Animals love me. I'm moving. I'm jumping ahead a bit. Okay. 2413. Very genuinely from the bottom of my heart. I have really little. Okay, wait. If you put wait. little hands in my nice, warm mitts. Yeah, you'll have to tell me where you end up. Yeah. I tell you that. Very genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Uh, go to like 2417. Okay. I know what I'm, I'm generally going to say, and that mm -hmm. it still remains true, and that it's just like, I still feel the same all these years later, and that it's mm -hmm. something that it's just like, the, if I, 
to summarize is that just like the stories just very earnestly at least as far as i can see and tell very earnestly mm -hmm. telling a story of like it is just a, a queer coming of age story that has had to spend a lot of time to get to the point where it can act on it every time yeah. i'm looking at the camera dairy and i see you in the dark <laughs> it's just like i just happen to like look right there and then like darian walks by and he's like you know i just hey. see him back there <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh, i'm about to get fucked up on wait on this little guy on this little uh caffeine gum there we go thank you there you go yeah anyway no <laughs> i mean that's kind of the thing too is like there's there's times where it's like I get comments or, you know, people just mm -hmm. talking about it. It's like, well, what's stopping it from not being this? And I'm like, nothing. It, it turned, it, like, it could be that we're wrong. <laughs> it could just be yep. that we're wrong. But, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've been following this series for so long. And yeah. even when I did not expect it, or even, like, want it to go this way, it still keeps going this way. And I'm yeah, just like, exactly. it's really consistent. And yeah, it has in order for it to it not once, be that, you know? it would have to drop so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, I know, and because I've still thought about this, mm -hmm. something I do say way farther down the line, or I'm talking about, like, the likelihood and the possibility uh-huh. And how it's so easy to, like, it just the same question of, like, well, what's saying it's just, you know, not gonna, just, just not gonna be that. You know, like, what, what are the chances of it just also just not being this at all? Mm -hmm. And while, you know, technically anything could happen and pigs could just fly by my window tomorrow, there's also something called context. Mm -hmm. And that not all possibilities are the exact mm -hmm. same likelihood. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're hearing my guts. I'm so sorry if that's happening. I can't do anything I about it. I heard it just a little bit. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Trapped in a hell body. Anyway. Oh, wow. Um, but it's just like not all possibilities are necessarily of the exact same likelihood. Mm -hmm. And the point of talking about it and being like, I think it's a very genuine reading of this story and like where it's going. Yeah. And that's not the same as just being like, and then, you know, it's just going to be straight at the end. You know, it's just like, this doesn't come from nowhere. I'm not, like, extrapolating it from a bunch of weird little, like, things. It's just like, yeah, the story has everything pointing that it's going in one direction. Right. And it all and makes like, sense and it keeps going that way. And so for it to just not be that is like, well, yeah, that anything can happen. But also... Mm -hmm. What's more likely? Like, we're building this whole thing. We're, bu we're building the refrigerator. Right. You know, what's the likelihood it's going to actually be a refrigerator at the end? Probably pretty high. <laughs> Probably pretty good. You know, I'm I following the instructions the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, and it's just one of those things, too, that it's like, even, I don't know, dream drop distance was a lot <laughs> oh my god oh my god dream drop distance was that was like the point where like i was kind of seeing this stuff and uh -huh. then dream drop was where i was going hold on hold hold on now wait a wait a second yeah <laughs> and it got a little like too loud to ignore um and so it's like it's not just like coming out of nowhere you know what i mean like i said the context is really important that it's just like i, I don't know is, man <laughs> this is also after you know nomura is obviously aware of like akuroku shippers and him being like i oh, don't yeah. really like care. literally directly so, like he had to also know about sariku like yeah the whole fandom for kingdom hearts post kh2 was extremely gay Oh, in it was that, like, queer as fuck. You didn't have to be in it to know and see it. Right. And it was pervasive. Because that was me on the outskirts of it. And mm -hmm. literally all I saw. Ever. It was like yeah. all of my friends, everybody I saw online, cosplay, cons, everywhere and everything. It was mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts. And it was everybody who was either gay mm -hmm. or they were going to find out that they were gay. <laughs> it was all the little, little queer babies. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 
And so it's like, there's, he was already like, actually, like we have literal evidence that like this was brought up in interview, like talking about Akuroku, which he was just like, oh yeah, it's, you know, I don't, that's fine. That's not what we were like trying to go for, but like, I don't want to step on anybody's like fun with the, you know, the actual media or anything or the characters like, but you know, that's cool. Have fun. And like, that was, that was it. Like this is, which is frankly, that is a shockingly kind response. It's especially very, for the time very that's it's insane it's insane you uh-huh. have no idea how different things were back then unless you were there that shit was not in any kind of common this is like the late 2000s mm-hmm. kind of hit in 2010s a little bit and for somebody especially like a creator about their stuff especially a guy who's like had thrown a fit about people being like how many women has Sephiroth sl- slept with? And he's like, why are you asking me these stupid questions? Get the fuck. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. Why would you ask? And by the way, stop asking me who Cloud is with. Make it up. <laughs> like, you know, and then someone's like, this gay ship? And he's like, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That's, that's I don't want to step fine. on your toes. You know, go for it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay. Sure. Okay, thanks. Yeah, wow, just, thanks, pal. So like, like, if, say if, like, they did not intend it for, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 to come off as gay as it did. Right. There was a time to course correct and be like, oh, ooh, actually, uh, ooh, sorry, we didn't mean that, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, let, let's maybe, because, you know, I've seen creators let's, do that. Let's so... dedicate some, it's like, oh, oops, we're kind of sending the wrong message. That's okay. Like, even in the kindest scenario of being like, right. okay, we have more titles coming up. We can kind of, like, add these scenes and focus on this a little more. And, like, mm-hmm. just actually course correct. Of which they did not do in literally any capacity. <laughs> in which they put <laughs> Shiki next to Riku and literally had him be like, I'm not interested. Yeah, literally, like, <laughs> girl flirting with guy at the bar and then he's like i'm gay i'm gay and she's like oh my god okay sorry (laughs) sorry i was fucking kidding i'm a lesbian you know (laughs) whatever it's nothing (laughs) but yeah (laughs) that seems so funny (laughs) because it's just so like why does this exist (laughs) unless (laughs) yeah but i've seen so many creators kind of like almost hurt their own product by trying to like course correct and be uh-huh. like no don't think this is gay yeah and yeah or even like, the first to that... say things to be like no 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 mm-hmm. no it's it's not it's you know right you're silly for thinking that oh God, come on gay people don't exist <laughs> right uh-huh. so the fact that kingdom hearts hasn't done that and has in fact leaned harder into it Oh yeah, it's just like 100%. okay, all right. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's like in the face of all of this, and then just was like, "Here's Dream Drop Distance." You're like, <coughs> "Oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this?" But fucking oh, pink and black, oh, hi. <laughs> romantic color palette combo. Fucking yeah. waltz in the waltz. dearly beloved. Die. Just die. <laughs> Kyrie not being in the game at all. At all. Like, very, just not the even. very, very end. <sighs> I got no more from watching of the forcing video. <laughs> you, no more of forcing you to watch or, or to choose the correct choices for Riku. Uh-huh. And not letting you get away with seeing the secret ending unless you understand his character arc. <laughs> Yeah, it's still so funny to me that, like, when I hit that scene, mm-hmm. my, like, I was like, I'm going to answer these as if all of them were Sora, because that's what makes sense. Mm-hmm. And then they were the right answers, and I found that out later. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I wasn't even in it as deep. That's just what right. made sense, where it was just like, well, he's literally there to save Sora, and sort of really important to him and that's kind of the whole fucking game right yeah and then it's just like yeah he wants to you know what's precious my precious best friend who i want to kiss on the mouth and then it's like what do you want to do what do you wish and he's like to save my precious best friend i want to kiss on the mouth and then she on you know disappears and whatever and then like he's like ah on the beach (laughs) oh my god him having his like 
oh, I'm a gay at peace moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you have a whole long extended scene with Anson the Wise, and he's talking, blah, 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 and then it leads us to that really good screenshot of Chip and Dale on the desk being like, the data Ansem the Wise put inside <laughs> Sora, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So, it's so much, just like, take it. It's like the middle of like a really dense fruitcake, and they just took that slice <laughs> out, and like, that's all we're presented with, and you're like, God, what's going on in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> but Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I just, I look, I knew this was going to happen, and I think it's more fun uh -huh. to just talk about things as it comes up. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. But, you know, I don't need five hours to say something I've been saying for years. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna be like, oh, I said that last week, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I said that just the other day to myself <laughs> while I was cooking <laughs> dinner. <laughs> so, you know. Oh yeah, what indeed? And it's like, what'll I do with him? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Riku. <laughs> what'll I do? You. What'll I do Jesus. with him? And it's like, he's so fond. You know? <laughs> I oh, say that he's... with like disgust on my face. <laughs> he's so fond. He's so embarrassing. Ooh, dude, God, Dream Drop is a lot. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm going to play the video. Okay, yeah, we're going to go yeah. back to that just a little bit. Um, 2417. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. I have really little to no doubt the direction that this series is going. Still true. I feel <laughs> like I feel quite confident is the thing, and... My cold, cold water froze my gum into, like... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's really, really weird. And here's the thing, uh. it's really just... I would say, like, 98. Like, there's... I just... It's literally the smallest room for error. I think I'm, uh, I'm definitely at, like, 99 at this point. <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> it's okay to hope. Shinku Ryo, okay. it is... Uh, um, is this before Remind came out, or is this right no, after I Remind? Absolutely this is before understand. Remind came out. Never like so. This okay. was yeah. Like you're like working against. This is after Cage Three. We got the secret it, ending. You know, and and that's well, that's I, where I we were at. Don't, I don't that's all we had. Mm. Up. I, don't get okay. I think the Ultimania idea, came out too. Like, this is this is post uh, yeah. Sleeping Realm Theory. Into it so and, yeah, and feel as if you know you're working against people who are hoping for it. I can't blame anybody because there's literally never been anything yeah. like this um still true still true and kingdom hearts in general is there's, still there's something that other there is just nothing like, else like the, it the, the, on the whole I can really think of, <laughs> yeah where it was like even in the world of I'm crossovers we live in today hands. oh I'm yeah sitting here and and i'm just i take your little take your little hands in mine Take your little hands. There you go. <laughs> there, there. Yeah, um, there, there. Little tarantula in my hand. <laughs> Damn, you can is this after the DLC thing. title art came out? Um, no, this is so way before that. I, mm. As a general rule of thumb for, my, for myself, like, I'll give you all of the reasons and just literally just the story, um, but, like, Let's see how effectively like I, I do that. Jesus. Uh, I don't like to have, <laughs> I have no anymore. faith in myself. <laughs> I just want to be Look, it's a stream. Um, <laughs> it's a stream. It was it, it I'd been I doing been this for like 7 hours, you know. Right. Convinced. Um <laughs> And seeing it all in once, all at once like I did versus people who have been playing it for years, I think has given me a slightly different perspective of the of the overall and the whole of the direction. Mm -hmm. uh, not saying it's it's strictly better. I just am sitting in a slightly different position. Oh. I was like, what the fuck was um, I saying? It's the, the, I played the series all at once versus I, I don't yeah. like to over the course of years, but bet. I usually don't even <laughs> bet or and or like gamble too much on like just whatever, even just metaphorical of on whatever the fuck, right? Well said. Well said, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm mm -hmm. gonna tear myself apart. I, I'm. Ugh. 
<laughs> the ADHD is uh, so. Drink water if you haven't. Hey, drink water if you have it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway. Please, Speak your truth. When I say, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> that like. I wouldn't say that it's like not. This is why I write so. scripts for everything I do but, because otherwise. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just I wouldn't be pushing it if I genuinely didn't think so. That's all. Look, I've gotten a lot better um, at staying to the really point when I'm talking. Thing. Because I would you hear do myself an amazing and, job you know, just streaming and chatting thank with you. people. <laughs> thank you. I was well, it was something that, like, hearing myself uh, talk Duplass and then Duplass hearing Duplass myself Duplass start a point, get distracted, to and then going. totally I, I lose what I was talking to, about. I, I was like, no well, for more. sure. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> so I, like, just try really hard. Yeah. If I'm doing it by myself, I end up just getting lost in my own thoughts. So I gotta have somebody chat with. Right. I mean, I think that's simply human. Riding on tractors, <laughs> and it, tractors? It's just, it's just a straight shot. <laughs> oh, right. We're going down the street. Um, I was making a highway metaphor. So, like, right. The one I kept coming back to was just like, I there are exits, and like, sure, one's a dirt road, but like, that's really not the same as like the highway exit we're going to be taking, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not as likely. In terms of relationships. Like, I was expecting that they wouldn't, like, was just the direction that they pushed Sora and Riku, but I was like, okay, if they're gonna try and wrap anything up, um, they might not, you know, go with Riku, even though they definitely could, and we're in a new day and age. Uh, there's a lot that's been going into this, you know, this was planned to be out much earlier, when this kind of wouldn't have been so much of an option, so I'm just going to say that they probably won't push Sora and Kairi, as in they won't actually make them get together or anything, but <laughs> they probably won't go with, like, you know, Soriku. I didn't really expect that whatsoever. Uh, and apparently, I set my bar a little too low. <laughs> <laughs> I was genuinely, like, shocked. It's still true. Much <laughs> just straight up, like, actual ass Suriku bullshit was fed into that game. <laughs> and on the whole, you can think, well, I mean, uh, I, they're kind of, it almost feels like there wasn't enough Riku. <laughs> Even though there, there was. Enough was Riku. Like everything was There's, dispersed. There's so never strangely. enough Riku. No. <laughs> um, it's oh, true. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not literally playing as him, there's not enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah the, the gay blade scene, that's when I was the gay shepherd because I was honest to God, Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Looking at <laughs> Um, uh huh. That's true. Gemma, who don't take my pronunciation. It is Gemma. Oh, thank God! I, I was literally I about to say the same thing. I was Gemma. like, "Look, <laughs> I never heard of the name." This is just me Ever. saying it because <laughs> I have special permission. After I was an idiot, that's it. <laughs> I read it as Gemma with a hard G, and so that's what I say. This is my version. Don't be, don't be an idiot like me. <laughs> Do not be um, me. Don't follow my example. <laughs> read correctly but we were basically we were looking at spoilers with a general avoidance we didn't want to know like huge plot shit but we were just mm -hmm. like do we have to brace ourselves for terrible romantic decisions because <laughs> obviously we're invested mm -hmm. but i just want to mm -hmm. know before i go in so i can like i said brace myself i don't want to just sit there and be like super disappointed and get I, this dude right? had no idea Melody of Memory uh, is on the horizon. That's wild. I know. <laughs> I know. It was a pre Melody of Memory, um, pre Remind World. Yeah. And, and like, then, so know, much of what saw, I say like, is still entirely true. Honest, I don't think there's anything that's technically wrong. When we saw that the gay I gotta was do that. I gotta. <laughs> and then I did fit cry amongst the. When we actually got the Yeah, there you go. Thing. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm still right about because there, it was pretty just much like so the whole much. of it. <laughs> but it was like there was, I guess there was like a little more like <clears throat> Hold anxiety. On. Pause that I expected it. Going in. Yeah. Uh, entertain the children for me. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I have to go to the bathroom too. Oh, so can we God. just break time? <laughs> yeah, really quick. Okay, I'm gonna switch right. to the BRB screen. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Hi. Hello. We're back. We're back. Back from our little bathroom stint. I hope everybody also went to the bathroom because now this party is not going to stop. Yeah, now the train's rolling. Yeah, please stay seated and buckle in. <laughs> You're Just not getting name, off Mr. Phones' wild ride. Car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See, what have people been saying in chat? I don't know. What have people been saying in chat? My scroll wheel doesn't like to work very well, so it makes it a little hard. Yep, fairy godmother said, "Okay, Riku, off you go. Save your man." Mm -hmm. And my Slots god, him on that's the exactly ass and what he's... Sends I love him on that. his way. <laughs> oh. Just... I love remembering that. It's so I funny. I can't believe they did that with fairy godmother. Because every time I think about it, I'm just like, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to you fucking do that. You went out your way. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, that's one of those things that, like, I think is, like, a perfect example of, like, when you kind of have this assumption about where the story is going and most, mm -hmm. like, pretty much everything that's happening as you go falls in line with that. Like, things will make sense and these expectations come to pass when mm -hmm. you're like, hmm, gay coming of age story right but right. it was like it was one of those things that like despite in despite what was like being shown and we had like the splash art for remind and it had Kyrie on it and i was like this is fine and a lot of people mm -hmm. were you know pretty they, they were a little like spooked about it and they didn't really turn out i to think that's anything. understandable yeah. oh yeah no i i don't like think it's just like why why i just i just wasn't worried i wasn't worried uh -huh. but other people were and i was like i get it as i me, but like i get it it's gonna be well watch it's gonna be fine and like we had other things that were like i don't know if they were like i don't remember if they were leaked per se but like some assets had been found out maybe it was like in like the website or something mm -hmm. but there was a render of the fairy godmother that was there and everyone was like, oh shit, is she going to show up? The fairy godmother is going to be here? And right. a lot of us very safely assumed that it was going to be something mm -hmm. that it's like, the fairy godmother is going to interact with Riku, and it's going to be something that, you know, the fairy godmother would do. And it would be like, oh, Riku, you know, you can, like, don't lose hope, and you're going to find Sora and yada yada and stuff, or just Keep in general. Keep believing in your dreams. Exactly, yeah. Anything yeah. to do with that, and just like fairy godmother. It's like, Consider going into Remind knowing nothing outside of, you know, whatever shit we've seen. And then even <laughs> it has, like, here's Kyrie on, like, the actual splash art and everything. And just being like, no, no, I'm pretty sure. It's safe assumption that it's going to be something to do with Riku. And it's going to be, uh -huh. like, you know, he's going to he's gonna be he's gonna be a special little boy, you know. <laughs> Here comes a special boy. Here comes and, a uh, special lad. Yeah. And then it was literally exactly that like it was just like yep that makes sense like this is the trajectory of the story this mm -hmm. focus on Kyrie. they you know well sora saves her and then he's like oh shit i oh i gotta go and then he fucking you know and he vanishes <laughs> and then after that it's literally just like and riku he's so sad <laughs> Just a sad guy. He's so yeah. sad, and he's been dreaming about Sora for a whole year. <laughs> the fairy <gasps> godmother goes, there, there, honey. You know, and then just sends him on his way. Obviously, that part came out with, with Melody of Memory, but, like, you know, mm -hmm. it's all the same sequence of events, basically. But it's just, right. like, it's one of those things where it's, like, well, yeah, if you just have, like, just this, like, understanding of the series... It just seems to keep going that way for some reason with, like, nothing else, like, sending yeah. this or that off the rails. It's almost like it just keeps following this very trackable, like, direction with the characters and the story and the motivations and the... <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. And it's just another one of those things where it's just like, they could have done anything here. Well, they like, could have done anything. I could have done anything. It's just that you have to kind of like remind yourself that it's like, no, they keep choosing to do this. They keep yeah. choosing to say yeah. like, oh, but what if Riku was like Cinderella? Mm hmm. Yeah. Or just like <clears throat> anything, literally anything could have been to do with Kyrie. Like, yeah. literally anything. It could have been like, and then Riku's been, 
you know, he's heading the adventure and blah, blah, blah. Like, everything's set up to even Riku expects this. Like, literally, Riku mm-hmm. is the one who's like, well, yeah, they've been searching Kairi's heart for a year. And, like, they haven't found anything and stuff. But, like, you know, he's not, he's just kind of writing himself in, like, these whatever weirdo dreams he keeps having. And it's like, that's normal. That's normal. I would just dream about I dream about, about, Sora. about Sora all the time. Like, yeah, every, yeah all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what's so special about these, I guess. But, yeah. you know. But it was just like, just like, oh, actually, yeah, this is key. This is, you are important. And he's like, mm-hmm. me? Like this? My dreams? You know, like at literally any point, because, you know, a human, human people like make this series and uh, mm-hmm. one, particularly one guy like is writing or Most you know, of he's it. directing Most all of this it. ship. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, and he's making these decisions. And at any point, Mm -hmm. it could just be that. (laughs) Yeah. And it keeps not being that. (laughs) It keeps not being that. And, you know, for a long time, through, like, the the time between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Mm -hmm. 3, it was just like, well, Kairi's not around. So, of course, it feels really gay. Because Sora and Riku are, like, the only characters here. Yeah. Oh, which is gay by, like, like, you know, circumstance kind of a thing. Right, yeah. But then, you know, then you have stuff like Remind where you see how they choose to use Kairi to mm-hmm. continue the story. And it's like, like, oh, well, why, like, why is Kairi asleep for you and doesn't find anything? I don't know. Why? Wow. Really interesting for some reason. Yeah, that maybe think about that for a second. Mm-hmm. Or why doesn't Kairi get to go along? Mm-hmm. It's because a person decided that she wasn't going. It doesn't matter yeah. what in-universe rationalization that there is for this. Mm-hmm. It's a made-up story with fake people, okay? Yeah. Human people, you know, around us. I could, like, find the man on the street, okay? <laughs> I could go find my dad, Tetsuya Nomura, and be like, hey, man, he's a real I guy, mean, okay? <laughs> that's assuming he leaves his office. <laughs> That's a safe, that's a really, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, because mm-hmm. he, he doesn't, he doesn't even like to go on walks. <laughs> he said so himself. <laughs> Him making a game where you go on walks and he's like, not me. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not me. gonna do it. <laughs> but, um. Wouldn't be me. It's just like, these are like story decisions made by actual people. And there's literally no reason that Kyrie couldn't just also go along on this journey you know what i mean uh-huh. it'd even be like a perfect uh time for her to have literally any screen time to develop as a person whether yeah. i not that i necessarily wanted her to because i just think that she as a character needs to exist away from sora and riku mm-hmm. to become like a person <laughs> but yeah. um like this easily would have been like if you didn't take your chance when they were sitting on the romantic like tree with the romance fruit doing their little <laughs> romance thing and you didn't go then uh-huh. you could have done or even you didn't go when they were in the sparkly night sky together holding hands and having wings and shit and then you still didn't do anything right this would have been your chance maybe to like actually send her on her way to do something and they don't. And it's, like, the in-universe reason being, like, well, sh- shit, Kyrie, you're ready. just not- <laughs> You're not ready. You gotta go train. You could have thought of any better reason to make her not go. Right. <laughs> it's just, just literally, like, to train uh, more. no. Yeah. But it's just, like, the decision is just whatever it needs to be to make her not go. And they could have mm-hmm. just been, like, yeah, you know, like- Maybe, you know, you struggled with this and that or whatever, but, like, you're stronger for it now. Like, you have literally bullshit whatever Princess of Heart powers that you could make be anything. You could do anything with them. And they're just like, no, no, she's not ready. Because it's not a matter of, like, any in-universe reason. That's not the point. It's that they don't want her to go. It doesn't matter if actually ready or not. (laughs) Yeah, no, it doesn't. Because, like, you could just bullshit literally any reason for her to go. All this I mean, was, Riku's was... literally been the one to say, like, Sora and Kyrie would be fine as long as they're together. So, like, if you follow that same line of thought, it's just like, well, why wouldn't uh-huh. Riku just be like, yeah, Kyrie, you gotta come along. Yeah, like, anything. There, there are mm-hmm. any amount of reasons that she could or should go, quote yeah. unquote. Right, we gotta mm-hmm. do it this way. I gotta remember, 
<laughs> um, just raise it up really high, and then you're above. <laughs> there we go. Boop, boop. Yeah. Anyway. Um. <laughs> anyway, there's any reason she could go. There's mm -hmm. any reason she could not go. It doesn't matter because a human person went. She's not going. And she's then just going. figured out a reason for her to not go. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, and like again, she wasn't even gonna be part of Melody of Memory. Oh yeah. And so that's a total just... that's a total other fun layer of she wasn't even going to be in there. And I don't want so, like, we to like weren't even going to give a reason. It yeah. was just gonna be like, oh, of yeah. course she's not going. <laughs> Yeah, no, of course she's- this is just, like, this was an opportunity. I- I personally saw it as an opportunity to give her, like, even just a glimpse into, like, we have this little setup. She's over here. She's basically, like, knocked out cold in a coma. Like, mm -hmm. we can- we could use this for virtually anything, but this is kind of just a means of, like, solidifying, like, the setup and, like, what's going to happen moving into Kingdom Hearts 4. Like, no ambiguity- no, uh -huh. nothing. Not just Rigu is important and his dreams are key. Uh, sure, Kyrie has something to do. And um, anyway, Riku has like Riku has left. It's just him. Kyrie is gonna go train under Aqua. Like it, and it like lets... she could have gone with like Donald and Goofy to to go see the worlds and like or tell something. people what's going or on. Something. She could uh -huh. have gone with Mickey to Scala, but like mm -hmm. is she? No, because no. they chose for her not to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like that's all that like Melody of Memory really ended up serving a purpose for. It was just like okay, no no confusion. Anyway, Riku's gone. Kyrie is uh -huh. staying. Yeah. And that's all it really served to, like, tell us, you know, other than, like, oh, looking in, like, Kyrie's past a little bit, which was mostly just, like, Xehanort exposition anyway. I still like to see it, but it's, like, not taking uh -huh. anything anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's just, I don't know, I feel like that kind of stuff should be evidence enough that it's like, mm -hmm. I don't think they're just gonna, like, oh, and, um, uh, she's done training with Aqua now, and, uh, anyway, uh, bring her in, bring her in really fast. You know, it's just, like, there's no reason to believe they're gonna do that. They didn't do it before. Yeah. They're like, she's training with Axel. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that great? Here's, like, two scenes where they're around each other. Um, she shows up. She gets just destroyed. She just gets absolutely obliterated. Um, <sighs> And, uh, then, then we destroy her. <laughs> uh -huh. But, like, actually. Uh, and then, you know, like, there's just no reason to believe that it's just, like, oh, even just in the case of Kyrie, there's, like, there is not a track record that is in her favor yeah. for her inclusion moving forward in general. And that's just a total other aside from, mm -hmm. like, everything that's, like, yeah, this makes sense for Sora and Riku because now Sora is set up in a position of self-reflection now that he's literally removed from everything else he was dealing with. Now it's just him and himself and a really nice girl who likes plants, you know? And it's like, <laughs> he's set up there and then Riku is set up in the, like, he has come to accept this about himself, but he is still keeping it way deep in here with, like, no expectation of anything down. ever happening. And yeah. now, but for some reason, which he can't understand why, he's like, well, why is it me? Why isn't it Kyrie? That's the only thing that would make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Under this heteronormative expectation. And now mm -hmm. he's the one going and he's just like, okay, you know? And so now it's like, wow, what, what, what a cocktail we've been presented <laughs> with Sora in a self-reflective state while also questioning verbally in game and other subsequent material. Uh -huh. I can't believe this whole thing exists before we literally had the short story of Sora <laughs> going. I don't get love. I don't know what I don't know what that's supposed to feel like. Like I get it that like I see that they're in love. No idea what that feels like. Like that was again more shit. Everything just keeps very much developing in that exact that straight line of I just know. like oh. It's, you know, two boys in love. One, he definitely knows he is. The other one does not know he is. <laughs> and now they're gonna, we're just gonna put him in a bottle. And they go. <laughs> and just Throw let it a little rip. master of masters in there. <laughs> yeah, well, master of masters is holding the bottle and he's shaking it. Like, yeah, like, he's, he's the one going like Literally this, making yeah. a cocktail. He's like, oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. And he pours it in a glass and, you know. 
he says, oh, yes, I love this shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is my favorite. This one's my favorite flavor. <laughs> so it's, it's, anyway, <laughs> I yeah, feel like I was yeah. making some other point before and I don't really remember. Other... Oh, I was just saying that it was like, okay, two boys mm -hmm. chilling in a hot tub, you know. <laughs> Five feet right, apart. Right next to each other at this point. Yeah. <laughs> right next to each other. And, like, there's nobody else in the hot tub. So it's, like, really <laughs> obvious, like, how right next to each other they are. Um, <laughs> you know, they're both in urinals right next to each other. <laughs> there's <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it so accurate? <laughs> it's just, it's really just Sora walking in and boom, right, right next to right him in there. the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh yeah God, they'd be embarrassing my like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um yeah so <sighs> anyway yeah that's the point of just like the Kyrie thing separately there is not really anything that's in her favor which is sad but also personally i'm just like i didn't expect much in the first place so i'm just Listen. whatever with her Doing whatever she needs. <laughs> I have a lot of hopes and dreams for Kingdom Hearts 4, but I keep them all like, you know, yeah, yeah you they gotta, may you or gotta... may not happen. Yeah. But one thing I want more than anything else, yeah. I want Master of Masters to call Riku Lover the Boy. Lover Boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yep. bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, like, do I want that so bad. <laughs> God, I just want, be I so want Riku good. teased. I want him to be uh -huh. teased. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, it could be some other, like, term of it, affection, it can, kind of like it that. But it has to be, it has to be uh -huh. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I want it said it, with the cadence of Weather Boy. Wouldn't you like to know, mm -hmm. Weather Boy? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Lover Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Love sick. Like a puppy dog <laughs> yeah yeah and really just fucking eh, 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 get right at him but yeah <laughs> uh anyway hey this video right yeah anyway this one we'll get back to it yeah i mean <laughs> we can get back to it now also genuinely my glasses are like fogging up like right around here <laughs> um and it's not even like I'm like, oh, ha ha, I'm laughing so hard. I'm talking so... I'm just fucking hot. You're just <laughs> I'm hot. Just, I'm What's just the weather warm. like there today? Um, it is rainy and... Let's see, what's the, temp what's the temp at right now? Because I have a fan on in the window blowing the air in. It's 53 degrees outside. Oh, that's not too bad. And it's not thankfully. too bad, but it's definitely chill. And I'm like, please. Mm -hmm. uh, more. Yeah. More on me. I'm just, I'm just built different. You know what I mean? I'm in the wrong environment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're made for colder climates. Exactly. Absolutely. I'm Bobby in the ice block. And I'm sitting, I'm sitting <laughs> right? in it. That's me. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Let's watch the fucking video. What? Yeah, what I'm at, go on. I'm at 3201. <laughs> okay, I'm at, where's my mouse? I'm at 32. And then. Uh, now I'm at 3201. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hearing me go, uh, for one second. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty tight. Nice. Um, okay. All right. I'll count us down. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Because, like, even though every sense in my brain, like, every Prince human, Charming would be a good one. You know, brain, like, ah, uh, yeah, why wouldn't they ever show the gay blade again? Why wouldn't they ever oh, explore right. these things that they did? And like, why wouldn't mm -hmm. they expectations for Cage Three? Relationship? Right. Rational me knows this, but Monkey Brain is like, well, they could still fuck it up, right? We don't fucking, we just don't know. We just don't know. Um. So you know, when it was there, it was just like, it was just, it felt like, oh, thank God they remembered. You know, they remembered us, the people who want this. Um. <laughs> And so it was just really nice. It was like a relief, I guess. But it was also just exciting. I was excited. Uh, also, I will, and I, I'm saying this, and I'm going to say this to all of you because I feel like this is an important lesson. Um, I like to be very open about uh, when I cry and what I cry over. Yeah. Uh, because, one, 
uh, crying is good, it's important, and it's healthy. But two, uh, all true. crying really is. Hi, Cat. Cat's not here. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna say, and it's just talking about that um when you feel you know, a lot. Um, uh, good so, cry. So all crying really is yeah. is that um when you're feeling an intense emotion, uh you know you're getting all of these chemicals released in your brain. We. <laughs> <laughs> as you're feeling this stuff, but as it's it's kind of like an overload, um, and you're feeling it really intensely, and crying is a way to kind of like get rid of that. Call um, it offload. It's really the just overload. Like overload, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. just like just removing all of this like excess, and um. That's why literally, like, any intense emotion can cause you to cry. Because it's just offsetting this, like, huge amount of fucking emotion and shit <laughs> flooding your brain. Um, Kim Hearts has probably made me cry more than any, any other oh, piece yeah. of media. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. You should definitely, absolutely cry. Um, it's just, it just means you're feeling, and feeling is great. We're just people. We're just stupid monkeys on this stupid gay earth. Like, just cry. Just, we all just cry. cry. There's no reason. <laughs> Usually it scares people because it feels like a loss of control. But knowing more about what actually is causing it is, I don't know, I guess it kind of brings some of that control back. So, I don't know. Yeah, just me. Never Hell yeah. Hell yeah! So this was something that was notes, like, I saw important to me to say the, because the fact I've been a person for a long time who hasn't had mm. a lot of good access to my emotions that, like, for just a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, so when something and does make me feel intense enough to like cry, you know, I'm like, oh, so excited, jackpot! So you know, I'm like, oh, thank God! You know, and it's like it's something that just didn't happen very often. But Kingdom Hearts, like. Uh -huh. hit me in a it's way important. that like other things had not and made me cry many um, different times also, just a, a um right just in regards and just crying. very intensely um, emotional actually, in a way that was like very system, relieving it's not that you, feel you know any less, but, like, which is like something i really was just like you just like you gotta know crying less. is the best shit in the world <laughs> like, actually guys this crying stuff that we can do right shit like, pretty great <laughs> yeah still makes me cry yeah but I did it. Reading this, I did think of Riku because he is super muscles, big boy. But it's like he feels really intensely, but he doesn't. We've never seen him cry. Um, can't wait for him to and cry. And there have been times, even in the novel, oh. like he said, or even like I think it was even like Repliku was like he could feel like he was kind of starting to cry, and so then he just you know. But he, he had his back turned it. God, when we see Riku cry, that's over. Like, it's over for me. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> scream. <laughs> I know. Uh, Look, the amount of times I cried over just the Sora Smash reveal. Interesting. Like, months oh, God, down the yeah. line. And it could still get me. I just have to, like, mm -hmm. I, I gotta not touch it all the time. <laughs> anyway, when yeah. Riku cries, yeah. I will cry. God, when that I happens, cry, we scream. Like, Whitney and I scream I was for, like, so oh, yeah. happy and relieved. 10 minutes straight so, at least oh yeah anyway, no that was like something that like, like me said, and claude stayed up for all good. night long mm -hmm. and then we were cry. like we can't scream Don't because we'll wake jason up downstairs if somebody makes fun of you for <laughs> he was already awake <laughs> and then as soon as the reveal so happened much, we were like <laughs> <I was busy. laughs> and then we you know, heard him come upstairs and we were like oh my god jason i'm so sorry i'm so sorry and then he just came up like in his robe and he's like congratulations he started just shaking our hands yeah, our right. roommate was already so awake for work, before. so uh -huh. like we had just woken up for so, it, and yeah. so we were just like, like in bed watching the um, stream, and we're like, mm -hmm. anyway, to really bash <laughs> <it> <laughs> all the way literally up, just screaming like, yeah. And I said I had tried oh, yeah. all the gameplay stuff, and we were looking. I hope this isn't too hard to hear us talking over me talking. I my my oh, video is yeah. kind of. Like me and talking in the said, video, max you know, volume, I'm still kind of quiet. So, so hopefully, mm -hmm. there's enough of a distinct level difference Make that it's not. You know, to yeah, let us know if gay. it's a problem. And that's why I was like, I yeah. feel like an invincible gay wizard. <laughs> and then I got caged <laughs> nearly. <laughs> um, so, 
Anyway, I still feel like an invincible gay wizard. I'm, I'm here, I'm here <laughs> I got my rhythm <laughs> game, basically. and then yeah. the rhythm so game went, and wizard, then Riku got sent by the fairy godmother. <laughs> and uh -huh. I'm like, I get everything I want. Wow. <laughs> so I got into Smash. Very, very I get everything I want. And I hope thanks, that Dad. Inspires some kind of <laughs> now, thanks, Dad. Or looking forward I can turn to the this. future. That I, honest to God, see that very easily this series could go the exact direction we want it to. And I'm kind of feeling really sure that it just might. Oh, I'm talking I'm, over I'm another glad. friend. No, I'm, I'm talking over me from years you know. ago. <laughs> um, yeah, when's that Kingdom Carts coming? Oh, I know. Only, See, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So Kingdom Carts, actually. and that, that'll be the Here other specifically for um, me iteration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like I said, it's okay God, I would to, love that. to feel doubt. If you need to feel that you need yeah. to pull away from that a bit and just be like, well, if it happens, then thank God, but like you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, that's okay. Never feel bad about needing to do that. Because uh, you're not hurting anything that way. And I can't blame anybody for feeling that way. Um, but I'll just state my case. That's all. Then I still be stating my case to this day. Back to <laughs> well, here, I'll, I'll go through my stuff and we'll see. Come on, me. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's five hours for a reason. It's true. It's true. Okay, it's a lot of them. Confidence is like is, Nomura is a man who functions and runs on. He just runs on spite. All right. He just he just sucks the shit down and like. It's true. It's true. It's still uh, true. You know, like a protein shake, but it's just spite. <laughs> spite so, shake. Something that makes me so 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 super duper confident. In if I tried making timestamp thingies. So what for the for action. this video? Fucking have at it. Um, is that? I'm not gonna stop you. Literally, I can't. If you wanted to. Basically, <laughs> foundation. Not to say that this was always the direction. Don't don't get me wrong. Um, at best, my suspicion is that there might have always been kind of an idea, maybe a I would like to do this, but like can't exactly for various reasons. You know, uh, uh, KH1. I was playing this stream. Was a I had the thought of like, maybe, I, maybe we should speed well it up. Because it'd just be easier to go through. Game. Yeah. Um, 1.25. I could do that. I could, and, uh, I could get behind that. You know, once it was successful, it was like, oh, okay, we can start making something out of this. Um, Play speed. 1.25. Do you want to switch it to 1.25? You want to kick this into yeah. high gear? <laughs> high gear. Okay. You want to do then, a 3, 2, 1, go again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Way. 3, 2, 1, go. Um. I'm not sure if it was a Disney executive that told Nomura to make Kyrie. Okay. Um, last I remember, Better. I think it was Kristen who said this. Because we haven't found the interview, so take this with a grain of salt. This is still something nobody has, like, yeah, found any kind of anything people, for, as far as I know. That, that so, right. Really I just, I would like, just almost ignore this entirely. Like, she had, like, talked, she had, like, put, posted the interview on her, like, live journal, but it was, like, so long ago. That right. she, she was like, I remember, I remember it, and I remember posting it. But human memory is fallible. Who knows? But the idea was that it was like, um, who knows? Initially, it was just going to be Sora and Riku. Um, Aerith might have been, like, was considered to be not necessarily part of the trio, but like she was gonna be probably like she was gonna be like older, probably like older sister kind of influence. Um, but I know I'm bringing this up. He, it was told mm -hmm. like. No, but like, she should be younger, or it should be somebody who is younger. Because I think I was just starting age, from, like, a first base so little Kyrie area in my brain. Um, but it's something mm -hmm. that, like, I'm pretty... And so it, pretty like, wasn't a part of the plan initially. Anyway, that Hold on, let me pause it really quick. Don't take that. Mm -hmm. Way easier to talk when I'm not hearing myself talk. Um, yeah, I bet. I'm bringing this up, and it's something that it's just, like... I think about it all the time that you said this, but not able to be backed up. Yeah, it's something that if it came out later, I'd be like, oh, sick. It still doesn't change anything. It's just really interesting. More so as a means of initially where story ideas were going to go. And these yeah. things change and stuff over time. And, like, what from that could have, like, been brought forward. You know, there are plenty of things that they even talk about in the Ultimania very specifically. That there were things they were going to do in Cage 1 and they yep. didn't get to. Particularly with, like, oh, Riku was going to give 
Sora a charm, just like Kyrie did, you know? And that's why mm-hmm. Oblivion has the necklace. And so you're like, what are you telling us then? Are you yeah, tell- you're like, are you telling wait. me that he was going to give him the necklace in game? <laughs> oh, but then you yeah. didn't do that. And then, I don't know, we have this whole plot point for a whole, the second game. And it's just <sighs> about like, oh, this, this charm, this charm that you got during a promise with this memory that the both of them seem to, to share and, like... That uh, happens uh, before Kyrie could have shown up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, distinctly a memory that, like, is based on something that makes it so it was impossible that it was Kyrie, you know, all of this stuff. <laughs> but, like, to go back to my first point of, like, me bringing this up mm-hmm. is really not even necessary. Like, Kyrie being a part or not a part of the equation really has no effect on like, well, I'm not saying no effect on the story, just as on the right. direction. It doesn't matter. Like you don't have to take her out for, for, for this to work. Quote unquote. I think yeah. in fact, she was an integral part to what is a very, very common queer experience. Like, mm-hmm. and to me that reads is entirely purposeful because they have, very clearly set her up as like a love interest she very clearly has feelings for Sora Mm -hmm. and I think some people can't quite wrap their brain around these things coexisting that if she is there to be suggested as a love interest whatsoever that that runs counter to there being some kind of gay intention right um which is where I think a lot of people get stopped up and which also a lot of people come away with this idea that like People being like, wow, Sarigu, wow, they're so gay, yada yada. Like, mm-hmm. they have to, like, remove Kyrie and stuff for this. And they hate Kyrie and, like, all of this stuff. And it's just, like, unfortunately, yeah. she's not much of a character to begin with. But, like, I think she's playing an important part. But that important part is, unfortunately, the, the like, heteronormative, like, <laughs> saving well, that's the what princess. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like gets the that, girl but then he doesn't want to get the girl yeah yeah uh but that's what i was gonna say is that because of the way Kyrie's written whenever we yeah. discuss Kyrie's role in the story we often get accused of writing her out of the story or saying that she doesn't matter uh-huh. and i think that's like disingenuous for one thing i don't think they're actually listening to what we have to say no but, at that point no but <laughs> yeah but also, it's just like, no, Kyrie does need to be here. She's a, a really important part of, like, yeah. this whole narrative. Mm-hmm. It's just that it's not the same kind of important that you're assuming it is based on, yeah. like, het norm and everything. Yeah, it's it's kind of specifically playing off of that exact expectation of, mm-hmm. like, well, she's here, she's the love interest, so right. regardless of what it's going to be like they're going to get together in the end and that's like kind of exactly what it's like wor- that's the exact expectation it's working off of while being there purposefully to be like not that to be like here's every fucking opportunity to be like okay reciprocated feelings here we go and then they uh-huh. don't ever they have it over and over they do they like not do this and that's like yeah serving a purpose like a specific purpose of just the most basic setup of here is the hero here's the hero's rival best friend and here's Uh the girl yeah and then and then the rival best friend and he falls to to the darkness and then you know we're gonna save him but we're also gonna save the girl and she likes me and then and then i like her and we have this whole thing and maybe the best friend dies you know and it's like all of this stuff and then it keeps not doing every single one of those things um but it's like to have that specific setup where it's just like hero gets girl and then there's also rival third best friend guy. You have to kind of do that and set that up first to subvert it in the first place. To, like, throw that into question. Because this story mm-hmm. doesn't apply to everybody. And this is very actually setting up the whole, this is Sora's story. And then he gets to this point and he's like, uh, I don't, I don't think I want this. You know, he doesn't right. really know what he wants, but he's not really crazy about this and he doesn't know how to navigate this situation which is how we have the palpu scene which is what i think is going to be a just a fantastic scene especially in retrospect (laughs) i mean i think it's a really interesting scene 
now under yeah. this understanding basically because otherwise that's the one of the worst romance scenes i've ever seen because he looks really uh -huh. uncomfortable kind of constipated even like just if if i was like to this well, guy just like, very be like begrudgingly like yeah let's do yeah this. okay sure you know <laughs> Like, if I were like, yeah. hey, you want to share this romantic fruit to, like, this person I like? And, mm -hmm. and then he looked at me like that, and I'd, like, like probably want to die. Like, I just... <laughs> it's just so sad, you know? <laughs> but it's something that it's, like... Uh... I just think it's really interesting um, and is serving a very specific purpose of just, like, yeah, for every intent and purpose out of that story expectation, like, this should have been their moment. This should have mm -hmm. been them getting together before the big final battle and then oh something happens to her and he's you know and then he mm -hmm. you know and Riku's gotta calm him down and bring in the you know <laughs> bring in the logic of the situation <laughs> and then he uh -huh. ends up sacrificing himself so they can live together happily ever after and then it's like but it doesn't happen. It doesn't fucking happen. I mean, it no. kind of happens because literally he he does kind of sacrifice himself and Sora has a little bit of a breakdown because everybody died. <laughs> mm -hmm. But <laughs> it, it kinda, goes through kinda all kinda those plot head. beats. Yeah, it goes through all those plot beats without hitting the obvious like, and now they're together forever and they've kissed and wow. And uh -huh. it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, like you've you've literally gone through all their potential romance arc right uh -huh. here, right now. If you haven't sealed the deal on this, I don't know where else you can take it. I don't know what other opportunity you have unless you were to just start manifesting something out of thin air, basically. Right. Um, so I don't I don't know what to. That's what I was I was gonna <laughs> say earlier is that like. You know, the people who think Kyrie's going to come in at the end of KH4 or whatever and save things. Like, the only mm -hmm. thing that really sets up that precedent in the series yeah. before is Kingdom Hearts 2. With, yeah. like, yeah. Kyrie coming in at the end. Not and that so, she like, I can't. to do much, but, like. <laughs> I know. I know. It's more so to kind of just be like, well, look, they're all three together again. Yeah, they're and... all reunited. And, like, that made sense at that point. You know right. what I mean? Like, at that point where it was just, like, they had all been, like, separated, and it's, like, that makes sense then. But as things mm -hmm. have left off now, there have been no real, like, launching off points for Kyrie's character to take. Like, she's, mm -hmm. her, like, moving forward is going to train with Aqua. Yeah. And, like, that's something that even, thank God, was her own decision of, like, I would like mm -hmm. to train under Master Aqua. And it's like, nice! Let's go! Good Save for you. the smallest amount of agency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, and it's just, like, you know, like, could this still happen? Yeah, but, like, okay, so is it the same scenario where she gets kidnapped and brought into Quadratum and then, like... You know, I like if I'm giving Sokai's like the full benefit of doubt, and then mm -hmm. like Sora and Kyrie reunite, and then they kiss. Like, why? Why was this waited for now? I know. Like, why are you waiting <laughs> to do that at that point? Like, you right. had the perfect setup. Yeah. Game three with the Pau Pau scene. Like that exactly. was the time to do it, and you chose not to. And that's mm -hmm. completely barring the context of Nomura wasn't even sure how he wanted that scene to play out. In the right. first place, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was something that was like, oh, I don't, you know, kind of worried about how this is going to be interpreted, so maybe they won't share it. And it's just like, mm -hmm. the fact that that's even on the table, you guys, <laughs> like, it shows that it's like, it clearly, the outcome, if this was something that they even voice recorded, like, two different options for, like, way up to the last, like, moment for this kind of a thing, because he still hadn't decided... Is like, it's like, how can you make it less romantic? <laughs> I know. How can you make it less romantic? But then also, like, that just means that anything that would happen after that, like, this was not integral to what was coming next. Like, no. it didn't matter what they were doing at that point, whether they shared mm -hmm. it or they didn't. It didn't really matter. <laughs> they could have just yeah. not shared it and then moved on and everything would have played out the same, which I don't think is the romantic confirmation you want it to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. 
you would hope that like if it's been leading up to this that the creator is a little bit more like oh yeah it has to go this way because like this is how i've envisioned it yeah instead it was like uh, i don't know i don't want people to get the wrong idea yeah yeah it i yeesh <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. I mean, it's still like super interesting because, like I said, I like I personally am glad that like they did, and that we had this scene in general, um, mm -hmm. because I think it just adds a nuance to it. Oh, it's fascinating! In, in, oh, it's absolutely fascinating, and it's very absolutely like in you know under the assumption, obviously, of this queer narrative and this very common queer experience of. You know, not knowing what love feels like, you know, being kind of taught to expect this kind of a thing, and then mm -hmm. being in a situation, not really wanting it, but then also kind of going along, like, going through the motions anyway. For a number mm -hmm. of reasons, like, you know, they're friends, Sora really cares about her, and then, you know, when she kind of backed off and, like, made it a little more platonic, <laughs> then he was yeah. like, okay, well, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll do this, you know. But, like, mm -hmm. it was obviously, like... Look, she she likes him. There's no fucking doubt about it. And it was like this very uh -huh. obviously like, let's share the fruit, let's do the thing. And then he's like, and she's like, uh, you know, to, it's just a little charm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> and having to like downplay the whole thing. But it's like, yeah, because when I say going along with it, like, I don't want to make it sound like he was like coerced into doing it. I'm just saying it's like no. just a familiar experience as somebody being like, um, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to kind of do this thing and I'm going through it. And it's like, and also, you know, you care about this person. They are your friend. You don't want to like leave them hanging and you feel bad about it. You know, you just kind of know you're like, this isn't what I want, but I guess I don't know what I want because I'm supposed to, right? Like this should be it, but like, uh, 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 and it's just. But I don't really have time to think about that, right? I don't now. have time to think about that. We got to go to war <laughs> tomorrow, 7 a.m. Got to get up, got to go fight in the dirt. You know, it's uh -huh. a whole thing. But this is definitely, this would have been the time, uh, that would have been the time to be like, and I love you, and we'll mm -hmm. fight together, you know? And, and then right. it's just like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then they go to war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just so silly. <laughs> but like I said, like, as like, just for the nuance of like, under this understanding of the story, I think it's intensely interesting and have him having gone along with it in the end i think is almost even more true to mm -hmm. the experience you know where it's just like you're trying to kind of go through the motions of this thing you're expected to to be following through on but you're kind of like uh, uh, you know that feels very I, I do wish that, like, we could see what the not sharing scenario was going to be like. I know. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Because who knows? It it would probably, like, just playing it safe, it would probably just be something like, oh, Kyrie, we don't need to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I we wonder, don't need it. I wonder but... if it would be, like, because he said not sharing scenario. Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to mm -hmm. cut you off. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, not sharing, I wonder... Not sharing. <laughs> I wonder if that even constituted, like, bringing it up. Like, yeah, would like it maybe have the been, pop like, wasn't even there. Yeah, it may have not even been a thing. It may have just been, like, them talking on the tree, you know? Mm -hmm. But, like, it could have been that. It could have been, like, a, hey, let's do the Paupu thing, and then Sora turning it down, which also would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Um there's actually no way to know. Like, it could it could have just been, like, yeah. it didn't even come up in the first place. Which, I think, if things are going in the way that they are going, leaving the <laughs> cave drawing thing open is only something that's... It's just gonna keep people's expectations to, like, well, right. they, gotta, they gotta do the thing. They gotta do the thing. They gotta talk about it. And so, like, mm -hmm. closing that door and closing it like they did is getting that shit off of the table. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, now they've done the thing, and there's not really anything Now they don't else. have the it's, thing anymore. <laughs> now they don't have the thing to do anymore. And, like, not a lot really came from it. Yeah, like, virtually nothing came from it, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. And it's just so interesting to know that, like, 
Like, it so, says so much already that, like, Sora knows about the cave drawing. He's seen Kairi, like, reciprocate the, the cave drawing. And then, like, he didn't do anything about it. Uh-huh. And it's not like... It's not like he would have any reason not to. And then to have her literally offer it, too. And he's just kind of like... Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, uh, uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> The way that the staff was like, why didn't you linger longer on the charm handoff uh-huh. at the end of Cage 2? Yeah. Nora's playing the long con. Mm-hmm. He did I mean, the same also... thing at the end of 1 as well. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I mean, he also, like, in that interview talks about that it's like, you know, I think it's that it was a much more succinct, like, end. Like, I think just mm-hmm. in an editing perspective, the way it's just, like, it lands on note holds yeah. only for a second Boom. and then bam gone you know and it's just like yeah. oh that actually just like feels good when you're watching it it's like very satisfying mm-hmm. <laughs> just in that perspective but also it's so funny because like oh shit man they could have done anything and then like staff were like why 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 can't we linger on it and he's like cut that shit now <laughs> nah <laughs> And they're like, you're so cruel. And he's like, ah, you're a cruel man. You know? <laughs> it's just so funny. But, like, it's very consistent in that regard that it's just uh-huh. always kind of treated in this same way. That it's like, it is there, but they're not going to, like, actually put the spotlight on it in any way that would let it develop. Yeah, not linger over on and it. over and over again. Like anything to do with like Sora and Kyrie is just like it's just a little moment here and there in mm-hmm. ways that are completely non-committal. Over and over and over and over again, <laughs> and well, I say that over and over, not even that many times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, spoiler for my next video I'm working on, but like one of the things I talk about is that um, at the end of KH one. You know, we've got Sora kind of getting to reunite before with Riku and Kairi before they both get separate, like they all get separated again. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1 ends with still a lot of queer subtext between Sora and Riku. Oh, absolutely. And also, at the same time, mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. is obviously like a straight romance being kind of played out. And... Like, you can have both of these things at the same time. Mm-hmm. What's interesting about it is that as time has moved forward, it's the, the whole story, the whole series has spent a lot more time recontextualizing and refocusing on the queer narrative rather than the straight one. And, like, even the moment of Riku going behind the door is like brought up again and re-explored and like mm-hmm. brought into a brighter light even mm-hmm. like in 0.2 and stuff but like yeah, that yeah. moment with Kyrie hasn't been and even no. when Kyrie like is brought up like if you're taking chain of memories very like face value and you assume that it's developing that relationship it's still not telling you anything new about their yeah. relationship it's not unveiling anything new thus it is not developing anything in yeah that regard. exactly and so you know it's just interesting <laughs> yeah yeah it is interesting because like they do continue to revisit and flesh out mm-hmm. pretty much things that only ever have to do with riku and obviously i mean people pick up on the lack of Kyrie in like all forms <laughs> yeah in any capacity nothing moves forward with her but they also mm-hmm. don't look back at virtually anything that has to do with her which is yeah so so sad <laughs> yeah oh. <laughs> i would i would love if eventually we got some flashbacks to either the trio or just sora and riku on destiny islands yeah even just the 0.2 intro with them playing uh-huh. on the beach so sweet so wonderful so cute so nice to see like a little glimpse into like what they had you know what i mean Mm -hmm. um i mean i guess they have sort of looked back at Kyrie, but it's like a totally separate thing you know like with with melody of memory like that had that was just a totally separate thing and nothing that was like and here are things with sora and like sora i almost said sora riku sora and Kyrie, (laughs) and then 
looking into anything they had and kind of recontextual. Like, they all are just very standalone with Mm -hmm. there's no exploration into it. Even in the novels. Even in the novels, it's radio fucking silent. We don't get to hear Sora's thoughts on anything that has to do with Kyrie outside of the one time he was like, Kyrie's hands are sweaty. And it's like, great! (laughs) Thank you for that one. Good job, lad! For those of you who don't know, what am I? F- it's so fucking funny. It's it's in the Cage Three novel. It's during the Remind section, so it's literally they are doing the one the heart angel attack. Wing. Yeah, they're doing yeah. the. They're holding hands. They have the angel wings, the feathers with the memories, and all the guardians and stuff like that. And in the middle of that description, it's just Sora being like, you know, it's like, oh, and then they they spread these beautiful wings together, and then it was like, Kyrie's hand was warm and kind of sweaty. And then they attacked Xehanort and did all this the ba 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 ba. You're like, what? <laughs> that, like, you barely <laughs> described Kyrie at all. The first thing you have to say about her the is she's first sweaty. Thing you have to say. I kind of hold on. I know I described it really funny. Let me find it really quick, just so like you have to know how I am not exaggerating at all. Like it's it's really not that bad, but it's also just kind of like. In light the, of, like, everything else that he's never really described her as anything else. It's also, but like, during the moment, we... that could be so romantic. They're yeah. doing a big special attack. They're holding hands. They made these beautiful wings. And it's nothing, like, even, like, abstract of, like, God, and, and like, to do, like, I felt light. I felt so light. Like, doing, and and strong, and doing this thing with, like, Kyrie, like he's literally done talking uh-huh. about Riku and Cage too, where it's just like I just feel so strong with Riku fighting beside me, and you're like, hey, I'm dude. bashful for some reason. <laughs> yeah, you know, but like, here's the literal like, okay, hands clasped, hands still clasped. They flew at armor Xehanort. Kyrie's hand was warm and just a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Sora looked into her eyes and they both smiled. The two let go of each other and raised their keyblades overhead. As their keyblades crossed, there was a brilliant pulse of light. Like, that's just it. They're like, oh, yeah, their hands linked and they they rose into the sky together. And then they s- yelled light and they manifested great glowing wings. And then it's just like, her <sighs> hand is warm and a little sweaty. And like, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, it. that's the one thing you decided to like note. <sighs> It's just, it's something that's, like, so funny in the way that, like, it's just so familiar to, like, yeah. gay people <laughs> in a way that you're just, like, and I'm holding hands with the girl I'm, like, supposed to like, and you're just, like, yeah, a little sweaty. <laughs> it's like, this is it, I guess. This is just what this is supposed to be like, you know? <laughs> it's just, yeah, wow, her hand is clammy, you know? And you're, like, well, <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't it wouldn't be that bad if there were other times where Sora was like, and I looked over at Kyrie and oh she's so pretty or whatever. But anything. like there's never literally anything. There's never. never anything. It's insane. There's like every opportunity to do so, and they just pointedly do not do so. Mm-hmm. I- yeah. Uh can we talk about the wing attack real quick? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, the one heart attack. Yeah, because people keep, well, A, they keep using it as, like, either, like, oh, it's called One Heart, so that means that, like, they're the child of destiny or whatever. And then also... Oh, yeah, I remember (laughs) seeing some people say that. That's really funny, but, like, okay, to be fair to them, at least, Uh that the description for the child of destiny is that they are going to link, they can link their heart with, like, connect their heart with another to become one. Yeah, and the attack's name like one heart, is like one that's... heart, right? Yeah. I get it, I get that. That's fine, but like uh-huh. it's also something that like is something that goes a little missed in game. Admittedly, right? You're not gonna really see it, but it is true that the one heart and like all of these feathers and all of these memories are like memories from all of the guardians. Every single yes. one of them. People have pulled yeah. the assets and looked, and they're like literally like memories that it's like oh only so-and-so can have, and, like, this memory and that memory. But it's obviously Sora mm-hmm. and Kyrie are doing this special attack together, so they focus on their, like, two or three moments that they have. Yeah. But, like, everything else is, like, it's everybody. And I think mm-hmm. it's also, like, it's a fun attack under the idea that it's, like, oh, you know, 
like all of us like we're all connected just like he did with mickey and now it's mm-hmm. like everybody's like coming together and bringing Kyrie back and now with everybody's light all together the two of them are defeating xehanort and you know so yeah. it makes sense in that right but <laughs> Kyrie moist <laughs> clammy <laughs> Yeah, um, no, I, I just, anyway, I see, sorry. I get a lot of comments where it's people who are like, well, like, yeah, sure, Sariku has the gay blade, but, like, Sora and Kyrie have that one heart attack, so, like, I don't know, I just, and I, I want to just tell people, I'm like, again, context, the, the gay blade attack is something that only, like, Sora and Riku can do, it's not linked to other people, you know, mm-hmm. the, the one heart attack is something that Sora and Kairi have done together, but they've done it once, and it was for the specific moment because of these certain set of, set of circumstances like, that yeah, happened. Yeah, there's, there's a context and a circumstance, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the gay blade is still something that's, like, there's more genuine, like, mystery that needs to be explained about it than mm-hmm. doing a cool attack together kind of a thing. Because they do right. very actually summon like there's more context to summoning two keyblades <laughs> and like what we know about keyblades mm-hmm. and like th- this whole attack and being like yeah we summon these keyblades you know these like weapons that are like an extension of our hearts or whatever and their hilts are literally built like puzzle pieces to go together and all of this like series long symbolism mm-hmm. all together that's like oh, they're doing this thing that we have no explanation for for something that does actually deserve an explanation, where otherwise there are a right. lot of cool attacks that happen for the sake of being a cool attack. And, like, this can, like, vary, you know what I mean? Because sometimes shit just happens to be cool, and sometimes shit happens to be cool and have lore implications. And this yeah. is one of those, where there's more going on that even just a casual fan seeing the gay blade are, like... I, I remember seeing this on, like, Reddit, which should say something, I guess. But it was people being like, uh, somebody was talking about like, oh yeah, but like a true Keyblade or something, right? And it was just like people being like, yeah, general fan assumption is that it is like the gay blade is supposed mm-hmm. to be something more like the the true the true key blade key blade because yeah. it's more something that's like key. a unification than like a crossing. You know, it's it's not clashing it's working together kind of a thing and so it's like mm-hmm. even just casual like norm- normal ass people are like yeah probably because like thematically that would make sense you know there's mm-hmm. an even with the light and the dark coming together yada yada yep. yada so it's like there's a lot going on with this that puts it in a bit of a different like category of like import <laughs> than yeah. them having their their cool little, you know, wing attack. It's still something that was very like, wow, and they come together and they do this big strong thing. But we have further context for that. You know, we have the context that they are fighting Xehanort and that it's like all of the guardians coming together and like through them, are they delivering this? You know what I mean? Um, Yeah. Well, and if it was, if it was one of those things where it was like the gay blade attack was just in DDD and one heart was just in right, Kingdom right. Hearts 3, then I'd say they'd be on pretty even playing fields. But like, yeah, obviously, like, like their special attack still has like a lot of symbolic importance for sure. Oh, but for just sure. like one heart has. Uh, but the fact that like it's come back, we still don't know mm-hmm. what it is exactly, oh, yeah. but they just do it. Mm-hmm. They sure just do it. And it's like, it's not just, okay, if it was just some cool attack, Mm -hmm. the keychain would just be the hearts with the two wings on it. Yeah. I'm sorry, you don't just get to, like, fuck around and change the whole asset of, like, here's the keychain, and it's not the easy answer of, like, yeah, light and dark coming together, so we have the heart with the fluffy feathered wing and then we have the heart with like the bat wing and then they come together and it would and make it's a so much both- sense it would be fine and it would be, it would be so because it looks so much like way to dawn like it would have yeah. been just fine yeah and you could even try to tie that to like to the book of prophecies and it's like because it has like that with the different wings on it it'd be like whoa mm-hmm. but no but they could have no. gone a whole other <laughs> symbolic route that would have been like, ooh, the mystery of the series going forward. Still would have been like plenty like, 
ooh, interesting. There's a lot of little stuff like that, right? Right. But it's like they just made it a pow poo, and they definitely know exactly the romantic implications of the pow poo fruit. They didn't forget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And so, like, it's something that it's just like, again, it's not just like it gets to be the cool attack. It's like, there's a lot of things here that are implying a lot of things here. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a lot by itself. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Basically, every single Keyblade that I know of has an official name. Like, yeah. if yeah. somebody uses a Keyblade, we know the name of it. The mm-hmm. only one we don't is the Keyblade. Yeah. It, which like, has all we just have been is just called the combined, combined, keyblade. Yeah. combined Keyblade. And that's not even, like, a proper like, noun even name. separately, they have their own names. You know, they have, yeah. like, um... Barrage split and Nightmare's, Nightmare's End. Yeah. For some reason, I was sitting there, I was like, well, what else could it be but Nightmare's End? But I'm like, but I think I'm wrong, though. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing else makes sense. Anyway, yeah. Mirage split and Nightmare's End. Um, or Nightmare Break. Because I know it's a little different mm. in, like, Japanese. But mm. it just is, like, changed to be, like, a little less clunky in English. But it's still more yeah. or less the same exact thing. Um even no name has a name canary you're so right yes <laughs> mirage is an illusion right yeah more or less i mean it's still like the same like general meaning of like something that's like not real mm-hmm. you know like the illusory breaking crystal. yeah breaking <laughs> oh god <laughs> breaking through the lies and the dreams to see what's real unreality reference no name's so funny to me <laughs> oh i was reading the the comment about like vanitas's i think i remember this actually being discussed a little bit where it's like vanitas's keyblade being the only other one that's kind of contentious because everyone mm. assumed it was void gear until a book revealed that that was only like the player's blade and not vanitas's actual blade oh but huh I don't know. There is also one... still just the the general intrigue of the master's eye being in specific keyblades. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So that's see, and that's another thing. Like like that, their mm-hmm. keychain could have been the the heart with the wing symbolism because it it would have been like the same thing on the book of prophecies. It's that same little heart with the feathered wing on one side and the bat wing on the other. Which even so, yep. the fact that it's like these keychains separately are like two halves of that symbolism is super that, interesting yeah um well and yet like again that's just but... like again that just connects to riku so directly mm-hmm. yeah with the way to die like, yeah yeah that and just like them general and their importance to mm-hmm. whatever mom's plants going on but they could have just kept that and then they're like no, we need the romantic fruit. <laughs> Put it in no, with a corded braid. Yeah, which is yeah, also with the braid. Mm-hmm. Which is so just like, oh, you mean the wow, the symbolism, all the symbolism, mm-hmm. the symbolism of this. Woo! Oh, sure man. is a lot. <laughs> sure is a lot. I know. I say in the video, I talk about that. Like the gay blade is one of those things that it's gonna be like we're gonna be like in the future. And they're going to have kissed on screen or whatever at this point. And a lot of people are going to be like, why did anybody have any doubts? Look at this fucking Keyblade. Like, no. look, it's so obvious. You know what I mean? No. It's one of those ones that it's just going to be like, so painfully like, oh, duh, you know? <laughs> it's a rainbow, you guys. <laughs> it's a rainbow Keyblade. They come together. They make a heart. It's like <laughs> this rainbow with crown on top. The puzzle piece keyblades literally there to complete each other, like <laughs> bladed Paupu <laughs> keychain. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you don't <laughs> go around making shit like that on accident, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then again, the fact that they did bring it back. Yeah, the, and then the they, fact that they brought it back is they, huge. They brought it back, and then they also made it so, like, they perfectly framed it so you could see that there was a Paupu keychain, which was something that was very easily missed when you were just playing Dream Drop, because you didn't mm-hmm. get a good chance to get a good look at the thing. 
because uh, mm-hmm. a lot of shit was going on. And um, it's just one that's like, I remember seeing people being like, well, there's a there's a Paupu keychain on this? I, I had no idea. People like wondering why it was there. Some people have <laughs> rationalized that it's supposed to be like Kyrie represented on the keyblade, which is like, okay, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, all right, and yeah. they say we're reaching. Uh huh. It's so funny, <laughs> but <laughs> it's something that it's just like, okay, now you have to see it. You have to see that this is here. It's right between yeah. them. It's a whole dedicated scene. It does not go by too fast. You know, mm-hmm. Sora. It plays. It literally plays dearly beloved as it happens. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Just that by itself would be enough to fuel I any think, one ship for years. I think you talk about it in this video, too. You talk uh-huh. about Riku's eyebrows shooting up. Oh, yeah, it goes <laughs> zip right into his hair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I definitely do. There's no way I don't. <laughs> yeah. Something I couldn't let go of, and I still can't, but... Are you ready to get back to this video, by the way? Yeah, let me spit my gum. Hold on. Okay. I can't spit no in problem. this trash. I have to go to a... Di- Hold on. Baby cat get in the trash. <sighs> Thankfully, no. The baby cat part is not the issue. It's uh mostly just because it's like like paper and like office trash. And so it's like, I just keep it separately <laughs> yeah but baby cat does get into the trash but usually to be annoying about his food mm-hmm. oh that video you shared of him and his feeder is so cute oh yes yeah here's my fun update for you guys uh baby cat got an automatic feeder well i mean we got it for him he doesn't have money he doesn't even pay rent but like <laughs> we Don't got him an automatic it. feeder because he does eat on a schedule but he would always wake me up at seven in the morning for his food which, like, I can do that, but I gotta go up and down stairs, and it's exhausting <laughs> to mm-hmm. also have to wake up in the middle of sleep all the time. Um, yeah. So we finally got the feeder all set up and, and going and everything, and uh, it works. He's eating from it. He did not wake me up this morning. God bless him. He's still a little scared of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very big boy. He's also very... Uh, he's a bit anxious. One time he was really scared of a big bag on the floor. Uh, that I had to kind of walk on for him to feel okay that it was not a threat. And uh, that was good. So anyway, he's still he's still scared of the machine just a little bit. Like, he gets that there's food, and he's excited about the food. But he doesn't know if it's going to do anything else still. And so he's like... <laughs> Look at that. Speaking Look at of that. babies. Uh, nope. Wrong. There we go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's that? That one's Billie Jean. Okay. Ugh. One of the, like, four. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got Peridot, Keebly, Billie Jean, and Kinkajou. Kinkajou. <laughs> Which is a monkey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yep. Cats, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, Baby Cat's still scared of the feeder, and that's I was there with him <laughs> before we started stream, because it was his dinner time. Uh-huh. And I wanted to see how he was doing with it. And he was better, but he's still scared of it, so. Oh, he's like, still very cautious. Yeah. It's always I'm not like he, sure about that. He has to wait a couple moments um, after it stops making noise to make sure it's not doing anything else. God uh-huh. forbid. So, <laughs> that's where that's at. <laughs> anyway, this video, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that we're like f- 42 minutes into. Um, We've watched like a whole like five 10 hours. minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's taken us like two hours to watch like 10 minutes, but I kind of expected this. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Did not think we were going to get through this at all, but we can, that's, who cares? Anyway. <laughs> all right. Are you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You know, straight up. That's all. Um, oh, right. I forgot we made it fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, okay. Um, like I said, it, um, it's been consistent through the entire series in mm-hmm. a very genuine way. Yes. Yes, right. Oh, I'm so glad. 
I'm so I'm so happy. I'd be drawing while I do this, but like I will completely lose track. Honestly, I'll start to. That hasn't changed. I'll fucking. <laughs> uh, it's one um, or the other. It's talking yeah. or it's drawing. Draw like a little Zora, but... Yeah. So. So silence. Um. Yeah, I knew it immediately. I was like, I'll do this, and then I just couldn't remember words. Um. Consistent, genuine, blah 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 blah. Okay. Um. It's turbo B. I'm going so fast. It's new. The only thing that is genuinely like consistent through, like it's the only thing that like makes sense narratively. Uh. And if right that as we've been discussing that at least mm -hmm. actually um. Riku just, I don't know, actually being gay, or at least actually just being in love with Sora is a, almost, it's like a pretty, like, non, there's like no debate here. Like, even, it doesn't matter straight fans, gay fans, uh, unless you're really insistent. Like, uh, I oftentimes see people preach it past who, Niku. Yeah. Real fast, don't too. don't Riku is gay <laughs> are oftentimes people who are, not to say it's like <laughs> the people who ship Sokai, but they're oftentimes somebody who ships Sora and Kairi because, like, the idea of Riku being gay, whether Sora returned those feelings or not, seems to be kind of like a, I feel like a, maybe a threat on the the ship, say. Um, yeah. Even though, yeah. like, if just at, like, a base <laughs> level, it was like, oh, Riku has feelings, but maybe they're unrequited or, or something like that, if you wanted to take it that way. But it's oftentimes, it's, it's usually, like, it's usually because it's a threat. <laughs> I like, think this like, also oh, coincides we like, gay, with the, then, like, uh, uh, uh. how do these things coexist? Like, Kyrie being presented um, as, like, a possible interest. Like, mm -hmm. that that yeah, would run just, counter like, to... Everything he does... All yeah, it's the gay. idea it's of, like, oh, well, about. these things can't both be true. Um, and yeah, so, like, exactly. obviously yeah, the example, straight like, thing is more so, obvious. Because, um, yeah, and so now that we know that's there, obviously it's not going to be gay and it's never going to be gay, even if it was something... Well, right. That was like unrequited. Like it was just like oh. For many people, I will these, say, these oh, things right. do not mix. The you know, that that's also kind of why Riku my Riku video is and titled "Riku is Gay" like, yeah, versus yeah, "So like, Riku is Endgame." Like, I, yeah, I think that's you know, that was a really good point. Kind of a thing, but because like, like I think it's an hold easier on, wait, sell. Pause it really quick. The... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Continue a little bit. <laughs> It's an easier thing to sell to people that, like, Riku yeah. Kingdom Hearts is gay versus... Yes. Because people know. can generally take that. Like, yeah. even if they if they don't, whether they think it's true or not, people are more mm -hmm. willing to swallow that pill than, like, there will be a canonized gay relationship on screen or whatever. People are right. much more willing to believe that, like, Riku is gay and has f feelings for Sora, whether that's going to go anywhere usually mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't sure if i was going to bring it up i don't remember if i do or not but like and i <laughs> i do remember like telling this to a friend who then immediately had to deal with this in real life which was really funny that it's like usually <laughs> people are they'll like bite at least that they're like okay yeah riku's gay but sora obviously has feelings for Kyrie, yada 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 mm -hmm. um but like in the same way that it's like in the in the same breath or well no what, what am i fucking saying uh in the same vein <laughs> is what i'm trying to say in the uh -huh. same vein um if people like people who try to argue that like kingdom hearts is not gay in any way shape or form obviously look at sora and kairi yada yada but when you do point to riku and you're like well what's up with that guy and people have yeah. no answer like they cannot fucking explain it away unless they uh -huh. were just to kind of close their ears and just the la 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 uh uh nominee la 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 you know <laughs> and like i saying this to a friend of mine who is going through it at the time and right. we were kind of just talking about this because he was also like yeah, huh? Riku, huh? <laughs> and he's that just like, sure is a lot. <laughs> and it's just like, I could buy, like, that there'd be wiggle room over here and stuff, but, uh -huh. like, Riku, there's, like, no fucking way, right? There's no way to, yeah. to deny this at this point. And I was bringing that up, and then late, like, the next day, he was hanging out with, like, other friends or whatever. 
And that conversation came up because he was talking about like, oh, I'm playing through Kingdom Hearts, blah, blah, blah. And then like some, one of them got like really defensive about it. And he was just like, what about Riku? And then they're like, well, he doesn't count. <laughs> and like that one doesn't matter. It's still not nothing. It's not, you know? <laughs> and he was just like, this is real. You're really saying this to me, right? Like, there's no fucking way. We were just talking about this. And then it happened right. the next day. <laughs> he was just like, but it's true. It's true. It's just like, in no matter like what the situation is, like people kind of can't find a way to like <laughs> untangle <do> get, that one. <laughs> I do get legitimate, like people legitimately coming to the video and being like, uh, you just, you don't understand this from the very beginning, because in Kingdom Hearts 1, Riku obviously has a crush on Kairi. And, like, they can't explain the rest of the story, but, like, they're pretty gung-ho sure that they're right about that. And I'm just like, my guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's usually, like, for a lot of people, again, because it all comes down to that, like, they these things can't coexist to them. These streams don't cross. And so, mm -hmm. like, though I don't think it's true, like, that could still be a thing, and then this could still be a thing. It could be like, I thought I had a crush on Kyrie, and then I was getting my wires crossed or whatever. I still don't mm -hmm. think that, that was it. Yeah. I mean, I did, but there was still the same, like, clashing and, like, confusion of feelings. I just don't think that Riku ever actually thought he, like, liked Kyrie in that way. I, I just don't mm -hmm. think that that was... I think that he was just like a, God, I feel bad! <laughs> and yeah. my friends aren't gonna need me anymore, and I, I'm feeling so othered and depressed and, like, uh -huh. confused and pissed. And, like, I, I just want them to pay attention to me, but, like, not both of them. It's not the same. Just one of them, maybe. <laughs> you yeah. Know? And it's just so Ooh. much like, oh my god. But anyway, it's like, for a lot of people, it's the... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. Oh, oh. Yeah. Loves it. Loves to be held like a baby. Yeah, she's a baby. I wish cat. my stupid baby would come up here. <laughs> but he's just been in his millionaire's fort in on the couch. And that's oh, just bless. all he's been doing. So good for him, but I want to hold him like a baby. Yeah. Where when are my needs going to be met? <laughs> Why does he think about me and my mm -hmm. needs? I know, it's fucked up, honestly. Yes. I feel like this relationship is really only going one way. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that it's like, oftentimes for people, like, it doesn't matter that you have this whole researched, written out, like, five, six hour fucking video talking about it, uh -huh. where it's just like, yeah, there's kind of no room for debate at this point. This is all just... There's no, like, I'm inferring these are just things that happen in the game, and it kind of yeah. leaves you no room otherwise to assume what's going on here. <laughs> um, with just Riku specifically, even. Yeah. Just him. Well, We're just talking about him. But, like, it doesn't matter if you have that. For a lot of people, again, it's that just the oil, the oil and water thing don't really mix, you know? Mm-hmm. And so the fact that they have perceived that there was some kind of, like, love triangle thing even though they're like is but not the way they think it is <laughs> yeah not the way they think <laughs> not in the way that you guys think but like the fact that they're like oh well obviously Riku has feelings for Kyrie or whatever so literally anything you say just doesn't count it doesn't because there's just no way there's no right. there is no nuance in which these two <laughs> things could be true at the same time and right. that's it that's all it takes for people they don't need some of my <laughs> Some of my absolute favorite comments, though, are people who are like, okay, I've only gotten through the Kingdom Hearts 1 section, but literally it felt like my third eye was opening. Because, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, your yeah. explanation of Kingdom Hearts 1 made so much sense to me, and it mm -hmm. hadn't before. Yeah. Yep. No, it's just yeah, like something that it's like, you just take that one little step, you just shift things right into place of, like, Mm -hmm. These things are happening because Riku is gay, he doesn't understand his feelings, Yep. and he really, really, really badly wants Sora's attention. And mm -hmm. then every scene with him in it, suddenly you go, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, okay, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Monstro, oh, 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 okay, yeah, uh -huh. that... It really kind of checks out, doesn't it? 
Wow. Yeah, no, it's like, they were like, I wasn't sure during your whole introduction thing, but then you actually started talking about the game. And I was like, Uh oh my god. Oh, Oh, you aren't fucking around, are you? Okay, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's like, it's something that it's it's really hard for people to, to get to that point. Again, for a lot of usually just preconceived notions and biases and stuff that mm-hmm. like it there are real a lot of people are just running on the assumption of just like, oh, and it's a lot of us just like micro analyzing scenes and interactions and like inferring things and like I still right. think that there is room for stuff like that anyway, because you know, queer people have if- had to do that with media since media more or less since the Hayes code bare minimum but you know yeah but and if any series can can actually support like nitpicking scenes like that Mm -hmm. like it's kingdom hearts oh yeah oh for sure like even just like of its own typical like Kingdom Hearts has a lot of crazy shit going on and a lot of attention to detail merits. Like, Mm -hmm. that just by itself. You could be like, oh, and he did this thing, and then, oh, like, it drives me insane. It drives me insane how much there's just stupid shit that Nomura was like, ooh, ooh, oh, is that, oh, is player gonna be Xehanort? Ooh, gotcha, technicality, it's the old fart in the background. You stupid (laughs) asshole, you played right into my trap, and we're like, we did. We fell right we for did. it. Hook, line, and oh, sinker. You got God. us, you know. That was and it could so be, good. And if anybody had just taken the time to, like, look at it and go, like, but what if? But what if? It's this actually, guy's there, what too. What if actually blue robe figure? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. It's fucking driving me insane. But anyway, yeah, it's one of those things where it's just, like, people assume that like it's a lot of just like and then look and then look this you know and th- that we have to like really make some case and that it's not mm-hmm. just like this is just care this is just simple character motivation yeah the arc that he travels is like all of these things just like this is just the story mm-hmm. that's it like if you just pay attention at all you're kind of like oh uh huh yeah okay well- and like <laughs> It's just so telling that, like, if you just tell people, like, oh, it's gay, and then suddenly you just see them, like, Psh. yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. because there's just so many things. Like, I've I've legitimately seen a lot of comments where people were like, I really didn't get what Riku's deal was. I yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I went through these games and like, I just, I didn't understand what his motivations were and everything and after watching this video i actually really appreciate his character but also he just makes sense to me now oh yeah oh yeah that's like a huge thing i remember see because you would like share some of those comments you know in the discord and stuff and just be like Mm -hmm. here are these people saying this this and that and stuff and the amount of people who have gotten like oh i get it i get like riku specifically now because for people who aren't really paying attention to it there's a lot of like why is he still here like why why is he the one going on to Mm -hmm. you know go like why is the secret ending with him in the city you know and then even then like if you wanted to like be like oh well it's just a thing and then like somebody else is gonna go and all these other characters maybe riku will be along too or whatever you know his he's done he's all of his shit is done now and (laughs) only for that to continue over and over to not be true Right. Over and over and over again, at every fucking turn, people keep thinking. And so it's just like, it's obvious how much people don't understand these motivations or like why, you know, how the fact that right. like he has reached a point in his arc, but his story is not done. You know what yes. I mean? And it's just like, this only makes sense <laughs> if. if his story <laughs> is, I don't know, one of like... I'm gay, I'm angry about it. And then he's like, oh shit, I really am gay. Oh god. And then he's like, I will just internalize this and use, you know, I care about Sora so much, he will never know. <laughs> I will never tell him, and I'll do everything that shit's I can. That very deep. Oh yeah, that shit's down. Like, he stuffed it all the way down into, the, like, the sole of his foot. Like, it's not yeah. even... He just fucking crammed... Every once in a while, he stamps his little leg to make sure it stays in place, you know? It's, uh-huh. like, it's deep in there. <laughs> and it's not coming out, and he's just like, I'm just gonna 
grit my teeth and bear it, you know, because like I will a die li- with this a secret. life without Sora is worse than just being like basically feet like clench. just <laughs> feet clench, yeah, toes just like yeah. <laughs> but like it's like a life without Sora is like worse than one where he's like unbearably close to like the sun. You know what I mean? One where it's just mm-hmm. like he just wants him to be happy and he just still wants to be his best friend. And that's pretty much all of his priorities. He is like expecting nothing back. He's still going to do everything he would ever do because he is deeply, deeply in love with his best friend, but like, he's not going to expect anything. He's like Sora and Kyrie. They're going to be the ones, you know, and he's just running off of that assumption entirely. And then Mm -hmm. now he's just being thrust into an arc of, and you know, Ferried off by the fairy fucking godmother, Disney's fairy godmother from Cinderella. And she, and now he's just being thrown into a blender of like, guess what? We are just going to pull all of those assumptions apart. Like he's just going into the blender and we're hitting puree and he's just going to have to like deal with it. (laughs) And it's something that it's just like, well, yeah, all of this makes sense. Like him going makes sense because this thing he has thought to be impossible is now going to have to be proven otherwise. Like, that's why... He's gonna scenes... need it yanked out of him. Yeah, exactly. But... <laughs> and it's like, this is why you have scenes where it's just like, he's supposed to, he's supposed to be, air quotes, past all of this. He's supposed to mm-hmm. be, like, now, he, you know, the darkness, whatever that could be. You know, I'm sure it's just the darkness for its own sake and not it's representative literal darkness, of anything not else. Sim- no. No, no. And the darkness does has nothing to do with your inner turmoil or feelings like the series has nothing. established time and again. No, 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 no. It's just, like, darkness general, you know? Uh... <laughs> So it's whatever. The darkness means nothing and he's over it now. Even though he has scenes where he's talking to Aqua and it's just like, ah, you know, my misery and yada yada, you can share it. And Riku's like, no thanks. I got my own. And then it's just like, so why does that happen? Like, why was that even? Like, I... So he's just over it, but like that exists because like... Yeah. Because he's edgy. But also, he's he's totally fine and normal now. Oh, but he's just, like, an edgy guy, you know? And not because he's come to terms with the fact that he does have feelings for his best friend, but also, at least to himself, have come to terms with the fact that it will never be a thing. Because he's probably feeling like he's stupid and maybe broken and doing everything wrong, and he's just like, well, you know, I don't get this kind of story. Like, this is yeah. not for me. I'm just some one lone guy who for some reason is in love with a boy. That's weird, right? (laughs) That's not normal. I'm not normal. Anyway, I'm just going to die with this secret. (laughs) Riku. (laughs) Yeah. So, you know, it's just something that it's like, boy, it sure makes sense. If this is exactly what's happening. I no no shit. He was going to go to Quadratum all by himself. Oh, well, man, and, I wonder. <laughs> and it also makes you kind of wonder if, like, is part of the reason they're going to Quadratum, a place that looks similar to our own real world, <laughs> uh-huh. is so that they can potentially see queer people? That's very possible. That's very like, possible. It's like, especially because, like, like, it's not like there was many Disney things to pull from no. at the time of them starting production. No, I think also if you're utilizing Disney fairy tales as, like, a, like, if you are trying to make a counterexample of, like, a fairy tale in which these two, like, two boys get together, um, Mm -hmm. that, like, you want to run it counter to the traditional heteronormative fairy tales, uh, those probably would just remain that as, like, a general example, you know? Mm -hmm. That it's just, like, here they are, true love, all of that good stuff, but it is just between a guy and a girl and i don't know how many of those that sora's gonna have to see before he realizes he's straight but like boy we'll get there you know one of these days he'll see it he'll go oh i love kissing girls that's (laughs) like one of these days it's gonna click i guess whoa you know but like i also think that like putting them in like a real world 
is also a good means of like if you want to comment on things in our own world and say if it were something like i don't know gay people <laughs> and putting it in like japan that still mm -hmm. doesn't have gay marriage it's like yeah i don't know i feel like you could be making some commentary here with this but also it's a great way to be like this separation of like here are the this this straight heteronormative like fairy tale expectation and then bringing them into this like real world and right. whether they could like see other queer people or not like who knows however they would want to to start to dismantle this right no idea no idea if it would be something as yeah. simple as seeing like gay people exist and then putting like the seed into just planting the seed in Sora's little head or mm -hmm. if it's like I don't know some other thing that might start pushing things along it's it's hard to know but like it's still definitely like a very notable like if you are traveling down this route to tell this kind of a story to put it in like modern day sort of tokyo <laughs> right like shibuya tokyo general like obviously signage and other things are like different and there may be some kind of linkage to this real world no i had it real world <laughs> um uh and i don't know it not being the real world sort of uh, we don't know the details exactly it's quadratum mm -hmm. tokyo quote unquote yeah but, but if you're gonna model it after the real world like there's just no way you like it's going on such a meta level there's no way they can't make some kind of like commentary because like take yeah. tweewee for example well yeah yeah i think that it's just like i think it would be silly especially for a series that is as loaded with levels of symbolism like it is and how uh -huh. much nomura loves to do it uh yeah. to put them into the real world and just be like it means nothing you know it's right like, i fucking doubt it <laughs> uh -huh. it's also just like storytelling like it's just yeah. an easy means of like establishing that like hey we are in a Diff like we are in a very different place like we are not in kansas anymore you know right and that this may open the doors to like oh the idea of queer people or like just like removing them from the fairy tale idea and being like things could be different and it's like things mm -hmm. could still be different back i still i don't think it's just like and then nobody's allowed to be gay in kingdom hearts like i don't think that's necessarily like what it is but it's just right. like something where it's just like we're going to change things and now we're going to see like now let's see what happens you know yeah <laughs> instead of just the reinforced fairy tale thing over and over and over again which still plays its part again the heteronormative expectations and sora literally looking at them and go i don't get it I don't know what the yeah. fuck. I don't know. And I just, I feel like that. All I'm saying all of this shit, that by itself is enough for me to go, oh, he's, that's not a straight thing to say. <laughs> just to be like, no, this is not going to be what you guys think it is. I'm sorry. He's literally yeah. looking at Belle and Beast and then going like, I don't get it. I don't what know is what this love? is. Like, you know what? For the sake of posterity, I'm going to, we're going to read this story. <laughs> because I'm going to assume that there are going to be people who are seeing this, or people who are even listening right now out of the 60 of you that are here, okay? Yeah. I'm going to assume at least maybe one or two of you maybe haven't read this story I keep referring to over it's and over again. so good. <laughs> it's so good. But, okay. So, for context, um, it is a story from the Character Files, which was a collection- I actually have the book, it's downstairs. It's a collection of a bunch of, like, series overview, like, information, they're, like, character profiles, they have a bunch of little, like, art, and, you know, it's just a bunch of- it's a neat little collection. Um, and within it, there are a bunch of short stories that were written by Tomoko Kanemaki, um, who- is the goat <laughs> who yeah. rules she's great she's the novelist she writes the official kingdom hearts novels and is my mutual on twitter <laughs> i oh, love <laughs> i love that you have kingdom hearts staff following your twitter i know, I know. She, to be fair she follows a lot of people like a lot of people. yeah yeah so i'm not the only one but i was like the first in a line of a bunch of like basically Sarikus. like Sarikus that she just followed <laughs> one fucking week you know uh -huh. and it was just like oh okay <laughs> um anyway she's cool i've had uh passing comments with her here and there uh um, yeah 
But anyway, so the character files is um it's just, And these you know, like were a, released after Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Just yes, also these, so you are aware. <laughs> they were released after Rebind. To be fair. Um But something that's interesting is that before we got Rebind, we got a preview of some of these character file stories um mm -hmm. where they were like we knew that the character files were kind of coming and then it was like here's a preview of one of the short stories um and the short story turned out to be luxard's opening spiel in remind which was like a oh, big thing yeah. it was talking about like the white goat and the black goat and like the the letter and everything and like the short story preview for the character files was that it was the whole thing mm -hmm. and we were like oh what's this all about oh yeah and and then it was just like here it is in the game and we were like oh <laughs> okay like it's something that it's like a lot of people like to or want to argue that the novels and the things that she writes aren't canon or aren't super important you know and mm -hmm. it's kind of hard uh <laughs> to take that <laughs> as a as an argument um because like if if it were just like and yeah whatever they're just some kind of light novels or something they exist it's like she's been continually involved with the series basically since she started doing this she was yeah. a scenario writer for 358 she was like one of the important key factors in Shion's creation she named Shion had a bunch of like all of the thoughts and ideas behind Shion Mm -hmm. because of her she has black hair because tomoko requested it <laughs> it's yeah. like all of this stuff and it was like even like uh like riku replica having like a a like a closure to his story was also tomoko's doing um mm -hmm. because she felt so bad for him and was like yeah. please, please. <laughs> she like wanted to write something in that like gave him the option to like have closure basically to have some kind of a send off. And that was because of Tomoko, but like Tomoko has mm -hmm. been involved with the series directly, has continued to write things. Uh, Nomura's always spoken for... highly of the stuff oh, that yeah. she's done Nomura for the series. Nomura literally was like, Hey, can you write strangers of paradise? And Tomoko was like, yeah, dog, let's go. <laughs> like, yeah. It was literally like, they, they like work together. She does a lot of official work and stuff. So it just gets, it's so silly when I see people try to like argue that like the novels or any insights that they provide or anything, even like these character file stories, like aren't to be taken seriously when I'm like, I don't know, man, I don't know why else they would exist other than to be more insights on the story and the characters. Um, right. But, but getting it's like, back to it, it's just kind of like, she's like, the character files came out before Remind did, and she's obviously getting to write stuff that is part of Remind. So, like, the fact that those are linked is just, again, showing you, like, yeah, yeah, how her another, writing is actually, you know, a pretty good like, insight to the important. stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's directly related with things within the game. And, like, there is some level of, like... Like, I'm saying it's, like, it's canon, like, it's not canon-canon, it's, like, canon-not-canon. There are things that, like, Secondary canon. With... Yeah, exactly. It's just secondary canon. There are some things that, like, obviously don't mesh with, like, the game in the sense that, like, it was a light novel, so things are, are relatively, you know, passed over to some... They aren't now, but, like, at the beginning in KH1, it was, like, in the novel, Sora didn't go to Olympus. And so mm -hmm. in the KH2 novel, uh, they had to introduce Olympus as Sora being there for the first time. And, like, it's just yeah. simple. It's, like, little stuff like that. Otherwise, it's, like, actual, like, character, like, insights and involvement. And there are a lot of things that, like, she's written, like, everything to do with, like, Vanitas <laughs> and a bunch of stuff that's, like, pretty much canon. But, like, we did not get time or the means to explore them within the game. Um, mm -hmm. And so, anyway... She has a lot of connections with the games and the series and continues to be writing important stuff that are directly tied in with everything with the series as we move forward. I don't feel like mm -hmm. I have to uh, um, rationalize it too much. I just have to bring it up because people do pull that like quite yeah. a bit, actually. Like they go, no, 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 no. And it's just like, <laughs> like, that's just being really choosy. 
Sorry. Yeah. Like, even if you even if it wasn't canon, there's something to be said for like what does make it through. And Nomura was like, "That's fine. I'll let this represent my series." Like there, yeah. There's a lot and of points so where you could have picky stopped. About stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, and he's so picky, and he's so involved with every aspect. Where the fuck mm-hmm. is this on my phone? Do I need to go get the book? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of like, I'm like, it's a text screenshot. It's easy. And then I'm like, oh, I got a lot of those on my phone. <laughs> um, these are a bunch of, it's King Mickey's story. The, oh, God. There's the Atlantica story, which is also really funny. No, that's, but like, yeah. that's from the novel. Uh-huh. Namor is just very picky and choosy about, like, what gets to represent his series, so... And, like, how things get represented. Mm-hmm. And just, like, if anything gives something that's, like, the wrong idea, you know, he's very quick to, like, correct that. Like, even with, like, yeah. uh, Dark Road and, like, he didn't let Sword of Smash initially because of this. Yeah, that's, that's also mm-hmm. a really important point to that extent but even with like dark road where it was like oh there's a bit of a glitch that is like it's just an oopsie where sometimes a uh, reflection is just like player character default from cucks and that would imply mm. a lot of there's a lot of story implication that that would be putting there that i don't intend like that's an accident right. don't read into it it's something we're gonna fix and it's just like yeah. oh, okay cool and that's something that would imply a lot if it was right and so it's like it's right. that he was like not fucking around like that's not anything that's an oopsie don't pay attention to that and it's like yeah. he's pretty clear when when these things are actual like oopsie poopsies otherwise he's really chill with how people like read the series unless of course there are assuming Xehanort went bald because of old age and not because he shaved his head and then he has to go out of his way to say it in an interview to be like no no no, no yeah no, or no. Riku Nami being a yeah, thing or Riku and Namine or like literally anything that implies Riku might like a girl and he has to go like what? excuse me no actually I no. <laughs> I wanted to bring this up uh, I saw people were wrong and I need to correct it I need to say something because literally people were wrong and I hate it and it's like <laughs> Not even an exaggeration. That's just what he said about, like, Xehanort. And it was yeah. just like, I saw people theorizing wrong that he went bald. And I have to correct this. And you're like, is that, is this what you really need to go out of your way to correct? Also, oh, he's so I, funny. Can't, I can't find it on my phone. That story that I was going to read for posterity. So I'm going to go grab the book really quick. Because also it can be like, look, it's so cool. Look at uh, the cool book. Give me just a couple seconds, okay? I'll be, yeah, I'll yeah. be right back. You entertain the masses real quick. I will. Hello, masses. <laughs> Nomura is very protective of Riku and Xehanort. It's great. Yeah, he has obvious favorites. And Riku and Xehanort are, like... He... I, he I think Xehanort it might have finally beaten Riku out for favorite in Nomura's eyes. But, like, I like, guess a close race. It is a very close to BG, would you like out? Hold on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. A return. Right is still stepped away. I have the book. It's right here. Here it is. The Kingdom Hearts. Beautiful. Character files. Hell so. yeah. To return to the initial point, <laughs> there are a bunch of stories in here that were written by Tomoko Kanemaki that are all very interesting insights. Yes. And this is all something that it's just like, there are a lot of things that are obviously like points as we move forward in the story. Um, also to correct, this came out after Remind. We just got a preview before Remind. That was like that bit that then Luke ended up talking about. And then we were like, mm-hmm. oh shit, this is from the book. That's cool. You know, that's really sick. And then we got the book and then it was like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, it has a lot. Oh, this guy. There he is. <laughs> uh, he has a whole story too. That is something I'm sure people will see uh, tossed around a bit because it does mention him talking about how when they were kids he would play at being the older brother figure he literally calls himself an aniki which is really funny um because <laughs> like aniki is not necessarily like literal blood brother it's something that like 
uh, you can call your related by blood, blood brother Aniki, you can, but it's also something that, like, you would call, like, your close, cool pal that's a little older than you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, something like that, where it's just like, yeah, I'm the cool, like, you know, I'm the guy, I'm boss, you know, in the sense that it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, boss, you know, and that's, like, something it gets translated to sometimes in, like, eh, whatever, you know, anime, stuff like that, where it's just yeah. like, oh, oh, it's just, like, referring to somebody who's, like, like, above you in a sense, but usually they're, like, you're cool, like, you know, it's not too different from being, like, bro, but, like, it's not exactly the same. It's just something that it's, like, it can still apply. Anyway, right. so he talks about how he played, and specifically poorly, at being an older brother, and that that has changed, which is so interesting, <laughs> which is very interesting. Um, it's again, and it's like, wow, they didn't need to write it that way, but they sure did. No, they didn't. <laughs> Um, it also is something that's as simple as begs the question is just like, you could have just had him, if they are, if they do see each other as brothers, just have them say it. Like, it mm -hmm. doesn't, like, why not just, just fucking say it and they, and they don't. It's always this point of like, are we? No, I don't think so. But like, there's something here, which is in another story. Anyway, I'm specifically it going in to, it's these? in the Arendelle story. Is it in this book specifically that, uh, like, Sora even has a moment where he thinks of Goofy as, like, his brother? Yeah, it's but in then, this book. Yeah, but then, like, later on, he's always like, are Riku and I brothers? Ah, I don't know. Yeah, in one story, he thinks about how Goofy is, like, such a big brother sometimes. Because he, like, mm -hmm. really, like, is very, like, you know, ten like, he tends to people and he cares and stuff like that. And, um, so he's, he's... Just like a big brother, Sora says. And then in another story, he's looking at Anna and Elsa and going, Are Riku and I, like, is this, like, a sibling thing? Is that what we are? Is Because that... we kind of do these things. Because, like, we believe in each other and, like, we care about each other and, like, all, <laughs> all of this stuff. And he sees that there's this through line. And here's, mm -hmm. the, here's the secret. If this was the time to go... They're just like Anna and Elsa. This would be the time to right. say it. This would be I a, could like literally say it in text. <laughs> they're we're they're just like me and Riku. Wow, it's that easy. It's that easy, and they don't do it every single time. They don't do it, but people go like, "Oh, the fact that they're even tangentially like brought up with each other." Oh well, that's enough. And I'm like, "But can you read with your eyes? Wouldn't yeah, they just but say do that you they realize? are?" They're yeah, not they're actually they're... siblings. <laughs> yeah, they're actually not blood related in any capacity um, in the first place. But also, if this were the point, well, <laughs> wouldn't this have been the time to like fucking say that? I don't know. Just do it? Know. Yeah. Maybe it would have been. I don't know why that has to be a mystery of any kind, but I don't know. It seems like you know so much more than me about this. Okay, so I have Beast's <laughs> Castle. Okay, and this is what I keep referring to. And this is something that literally by itself is enough for me to go, oh, yeah, this is a plot point that literally only makes sense if you're questioning, like, your sexuality, like, what you're, just attraction. Like, you don't, you don't understand. This is just not, like, a straight person thought to have. <laughs> uh-huh. And especially in the context of, like, it is Sora literally being, like, shown over and over again. Disney couples like Disney true love over and over again with this true love wins repeatedly. all and then he's like I don't get this <laughs> <laughs> and so you know like I said before it kind of begs the question of how many couples is it gonna take until Sora realizes he loves kissing girls like I just don't see that really being in the stars so uh yeah. this castle and it's called, it's titled, Something There. So, I remember watching Belle and Beast dance, and seeing them so happy made us happy too. Even that world, which always felt kind of gloomy, was covered in a gentle light back then. Cogsworth said, if the master could love and be loved in return, the spell will be broken. But what the heck is true love, anyway? What even is love to begin with? I don't really know why I'm thinking about this so much, but... Huh? Well, I'm not sure if I heard this from someone somewhere, 
But I get that Beast and Belle love each other. In the end, though, I still don't get what love is. I'm almost positive someone explained it to me once as a special power that only people have. But who was that? Which is in reference specifically to 358, because Zaldin yeah. explains this to Roxas in this way. Which I think is a fun little thing. But it's yeah. just, uh, you know. When I first met Beast, he said this. I simply believed. Nothing more to it. I believed in what he said. And because of that, I was able to fight. If the power to believe is also love, then maybe the power of love is similar to the power of connections between hearts? I still don't really get it, though. And anyway, who, that's just that's just not... Who has <laughs> such a, a strong... Uh, a strong belief in... in... <laughs> such a strong belief in... I, I believe in yeah, you, you like, won't give up. Who's... I... <laughs> yeah. That's really interesting. That's so interesting that you would bring that up. Uh... I noticed it too when I, because I was rewatching the ending of Kingdom Hearts One as well. And... For fun. <laughs> yeah, you did. for fun and you know for, for research and everything. Oh yeah. But sure. Riku yeah. also research, says yeah. something along the lines of like, like Sora, I believe in you. Don't give up. Like we can do it. Yeah. So oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. together we Riku's... can do it. Yeah. Like, but there was something specifically like believe something so like riku's always been tied to this like belief well even in just sora the, like, thing the uh just the general like oh you know i no oh, god suddenly fucking word salad in in my brain also sapphire tinted i love that you use those emojis <laughs> <laughs> uh the the giving up already you know, like, taunting mm -hmm. him. And then also, even that just being in, like, here's the cage one, big fight, and then, oh no, Donald the Goofy are gone, and Sora's all alone, and then he, then he's, ah, and he's falling, and then, oh, and then he hears yeah. Riku's voice is giving up already. Uh -huh. like, we're stronger than that, you know? And then it's just, like, and then he can fly, and it's, like, wow, okay. Wow. <laughs> but, like, even just, like, oh, fun tying the, like, oh, believing in people being the same as love, while it's obviously, that's not exactly the answer which right. is also something very very again common queer experience of like i don't understand this thing and so i'm kind of just checking off a list of like oh this is what it's supposed to be right like mm -hmm. you know the same of like oh i'm supposed to like a girl uh i guess it's gonna be like like my favorite you know i guess like my i mean Kyrie's my friend and i she's like, one of my best friends, and so, I, you know, she's, like, my favorite, so, like, I'm supposed to like her, and so I, like, I guess I do kind of a right. thing, and, like, I, yeah. I care about her, and I want her to be safe, and, you know, I, I like to hang out with her, and... <laughs> She's cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's cool. You know, I think she's so smart, and, you know, it, it's just, like, so, like, that's supposed to be, like, Yep, and so it's just like, yeah, I don't, like, what, is, like, oh, I gotta crack this code. What is, like, love, what's that supposed to, like, feel like? Is it supposed to be, right. like, okay, so you, like, believe in this person? And, like, oh, I believe in Kyrie. Like, she, you know, she can do a bunch of cool stuff. Like, she's so cool. Uh, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, you know. And it's just, like, checking things on a list in a way that, like, I guess this is what it's supposed to be. Instead of just, like feeling it and obviously very clearly understanding where it's one of those things that's like once confronted with the actual experience of like attraction and feelings for another person and then you go oh my oh my god okay <laughs> oh i get it now oh this is like, oh, close. oh i'm god. so stupid like <laughs> it's so obvious now um, i love the implication of this story too that like sora wouldn't even necessarily be thinking about this if it wasn't for roxas yeah yeah which like, is interesting he's it's just like, kind of like huh oh now uh, i'm really bothered by this for some reason <laughs> yeah it's like both like that and also just like because this is kind of implied to be he is like reflecting back on this at some point and like mm -hmm. like so we could just like this doesn't really put it in a specific place in time other than post kh2 but if it's around the same time where he's like just kind of thinking about this kind of a thing mm -hmm. in KH3 and just like, you know, I may not know a lot about love. Like, this isn't even just side material. This is something that he has brought up, which I, again, is something, I don't know why you would bring that up right. in game 
and then very immediately afterwards have him have his his moment with love interest in particularly general. after the events of kingdom hearts 2 it's like mm-hmm. why would you even have him question something like that if yeah you know? like if you're gonna do this and just have it be something like oh man like you know i like people but do, do i love somebody you know and like trying mm-hmm. to to separate like even just like the more immature like kind of puppy crush on people versus like naive yeah naive there you go versus like true love (laughs) and like if you wanted to hit that kind of a plot point i feel like Mm -hmm. you could have started that a little earlier to actually make sense with uh the timing of which they got to and now they're gonna share the fruit and then sora being like this is my moment and then going for it you know what i mean like like yeah. anything to have him but it's literally just like sora being shown a bunch of examples of protecting somebody you love or you care about you know somebody really really important to you and like putting your all into protecting this person and it just making him go what's love supposed to feel like and then being yeah. presented with this romantic ass scene and then going <laughs> the whole time and it's just like yeah i just don't i just don't think this is gonna be something that he just suddenly goes oh shit it was Kyrie, duh you know <laughs> like <laughs> as if like going like oh shit i left my keys in the house and then he has to run back you know i forgot about Kyrie. i left my boy you know anything of that ilk like i just yeah. feel like it's all kind of set up for some new kind of revelation in a in a new world that he's now been placed uh, away from everything else <laughs> um but Right, yeah. So that anyway, that was Beast's Castle, and that's something that literally just by itself. Like it's so funny. I have this whole TED talk I talk about, and that was Me completely, <laughs> completely barring this little story. Like this, this itself is something that I'm like, oh, sorry, no, you guys, there is this is happening. Like there's no yeah. reason for this to exist unless it's trying to throw something into question. Like that's that's just as simple as that. That's just storytelling. Yeah. Again, you know, if we assume that this is like right after the events of Kingdom Hearts 2 that he's thinking about this, we yeah, like he's literally reunited with Kairi. He's seen the cave drawing and now he's about to go over to Master Yen Sid's place and go, right, Riku? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> Tron. Tron. Oh my god! I'm trying to find the where's the Arendelle story, because that's a that's a good one. That's another one, but that's that's also one that's like again because it talks anything about siblings. Even oh there it is. Even though it's like literally there to propose the question of like, are we this? And the then frozen ob- stuff is so good. Yeah, yeah. It's here. I'll give a read for again posterity. Okay, mm-hmm. for those who aren't in the know. Okay. Arendelle. Oh, also, just really quick before I forget, uh, I love that specifically the Beast's Castle uh, story is titled uh, Something There. You know, something there that wasn't there before. Uh, yeah. You know, like something that's like discovery. Shit's falling out of my book. Anyway. The, again, just by the title itself, just the implication of discovering something that wasn't there before, that feeling of, of love coming into question, when at this point, at literally any point, like, why is why would Sora be calling this into question, like, then, Well, and also know? just to <laughs> also add in all the Beauty and the Beast parallels that are oh, yeah. already put on- That are already very <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, Arendelle. <laughs> Arendelle. Okay, so uh, this one's uh, Here I Stand. And it's like, it's so cold. Well, it was cold at any rate. I grew up on tropical islands, and I just can't stand the cold. At least, that's what I thought. But Arendelle, <clears throat> but Arendelle was a nice place. Sliding down snowy mountains is surprisingly fun, and cheerful people like Olaf live here too. 
But hey, there aren't really any bad worlds. I met, or I bet Arendelle will, sorry, my hair's like in the way. And I'm like, I'll read around it. And it's just <laughs> making me nope. look illiterate. So anyway. <clears throat> but hey, there aren't really any bad worlds. I bet Arendelle will still be fun when the spell's broken and it's no longer cold. I want to go again sometime. At any rate, I can't believe all that cold was because of Elsa. Her power, how powerful must her magic be? But Elsa's heart must be super strong, too, if she shut that magic away for so long through her own willpower. I get why the organization is after her. And Anna must be really strong, too, considering how hard she worked to save Elsa. I wonder if the bond between sisters is similar to the one between me and Riku? Even if we fight, even if we get separated, somehow our hearts are still connected and we believe in each other. I wonder if that's how sisters are. I hope Anna and Elsa make up, Spring returns to the kingdom, and everything goes well for, from now on in Arendelle. But if the snow melts, what'll happen to Olaf and Marshmallow? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that was your chance, that was your time to go, wow, they're just like me and Riku. I, I can yeah. relate to that, you know, we went through something similar. But it's literally mm -hmm. just going like, he's literally listing all of these things that are like, qualities of like and you love this person familial or otherwise right like this obviously yeah, this the question was, yeah this was specifically an example of true love that was familial which is very sweet uh -huh. right which is probably the best one of the best parts that frozen really had to offer was that it was just like cool you know we can we can let this be this um well and but, obviously like sora sees so much of himself in anna oh and absolutely. he sees so much of riku in elsa and it takes him a yeah. little bit to figure that out but like yeah but he makes the direct parallels himself like he he's just right. like oh i know where i saw that look before it was riku <laughs> yeah and makes this direct comparison and even then elsa for the longest time since she's been a thing has been perceived to be gay like or at least you know, yeah. an allegory for keeping being in the closet and all of this stuff right um uh -huh. so that that's certainly uh something <laughs> that like they already got that comparison because it's like huh yeah i wonder what could be read into both of these scenarios of well because shit deep down inside if anyone has seen frozen and played kingdom hearts they're like Oh, Elsa oh, yeah. and Riku. <laughs> oh yeah, the fact that like the fan comparisons existed long before we ever got a confirmation, but then we got Nomura uh -huh. being like, I saw the movie before it came out, and he walked out of the theater <laughs> going, Yeah, I'm putting this in my game. I hope the movie does that. well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, yeah I, I wonder what connections he possibly saw and then made direct you know, <laughs> connections within the game, too. I don't know. But anyway, uh, lots of good stuff in here. There's a lot of interesting stuff, even just also about, like, other characters. Um, the Atlantica story is also another bit of a fucking doozy <laughs> where he literally compares, like, him and, like, there's this... <sighs> okay, hold on. All right, I'm going to read the Atlantica story. Gotta find getting... it. I'm on it already. I literally opened to it and I was like, oh, yeah, in this one. Um, okay, Thinks so. He does? Whoop, sorry. I fucking played the video a little bit. Anyway. Um, so the Atlantica Sora, Sora story. Real quick. I always thought I was good at swimming in the ocean, but swimming as a fish is totally different. It's pretty complicated and I had a bit of trouble before I learned to swim properly. Since I was a fish, maybe I was better off than Donald, an octopus, and Goofy, a turtle, who might have had a tougher time. Or maybe it was easier for them, but it felt great to swim around underwater. And singing with Ariel and the others was fun, too. It's hard to sing while dancing, but if you succeed at it, it's the best feeling ever. I want to sing with them again. Which I just think is cute. That's just fun. That's adorable. <laughs> he loves to <laughs> sing and dance. Um, Ariel- and then it continues- Ariel longed for the outside world, just like us, before we started on our journey. I totally understood the feeling of wanting to go to unknown places and see things I've never seen before, so I wanted to help her, especially if there was someone she liked there. I hope things work out for her and Eric, but... I think King Triton wasn't just telling her not to go to the outside world, but rather that deep down he was worried about her. There are obstacles in her way, like Ursula, 
but I bet she'll be fine if Eric's with her. That reminds me, it was Ursula who appeared in the dream version of Destiny Islands, wasn't it? I wonder why she was there. And then that's it. It ends. It just ends there. It's just like... It's just there yeah. to make you think about it. <laughs> Ursula, yeah, she's just like an obstacle for like Ariel and Eric being together. Oh yeah, she was there, you know, when me and Riku were... Wow. Huh. Something something that was <laughs> always like... weird. Something that was always just like, yeah, why does Ursula show up here? That's so... Like, yeah, yeah exactly. she says that she was led here, but, like, why? You little guppies are here! <laughs> <laughs> and it's something he that was, was like, right. Yeah, yeah, he was right! <laughs> you little guppies <laughs> are here! Um, yeah, that's something that was just, like, something that was like, oh, that's weird, and no explanation for it, but, like, you know, you just kind of have to go, like, Ariel okay, will be fine on. as long as she's with Eric, huh? Uh-huh, huh? uh-huh. Goofy. Oh, Sora and Riku will be fine, you know, as long as they're together. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, stuff like that, where it's just, like, the, the comparison, the immediate, like, drawing that line is just, like, come on, dude. <laughs> and it's, like, one of several, of, like, several stories in this one fucking book that just keep being, like, eh? Wait, no, here we go. Eh? you know yeah. um so anyway i really wanted it's to bring still, up those. it still kills <laughs> me that the the riku story <laughs> cuts out Kyrie's letter <laughs> yeah yeah it does if you guys didn't know that um it talks about it's from riku's perspective um it's from riku's perspective at the end of kh2 basically and so it's just like him talking about like basically like <laughs> It's him reflecting on his relationship with Sora, basically, the whole uh -huh. way through. And um, it's him just talking about, you know, she's like, oh, I always thought, like, I played at being the older brother badly, but, like, when did that change, you know? And, like, Sora being so, like, no, like, this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna fucking, it's I'm gonna pick you up. And he's just like, how could I not just, like, follow him everywhere like how could i not just like follow him to the ends of the earth at this point you know what uh... i mean and just shit like that and then at the end of like the whole story they're there and they're sitting on the beach and everything and he's also like sora saying he wanted to be just like riku makes riku kind of sad actually and um mm -hmm. they're they kind of have this whole like you know they have their moment together and everything and then it just totally cuts out like Kyrie being any part of it or this letter or anything and it's just like and then the door to light <laughs> and you're like huh okay <laughs> so uh, it would have been so easy to just you know tippy tap that in so but they're easy. just like nah for story cohesion let's just cut that out <laughs> yeah yeah really odd really odd one there um but interesting I guess yeah but uh yeah um anyway so Soriku, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's just that there you go. That was my main point of like you could show me fucking anything, but the fact that moving forward, like that is a plot point moving forward. Like this yeah. is something that they've sought to bring up more than once is that Sora, regardless of everything he's seen, you know, literally the the entirety of Disney canon and all uh -huh. of their princes and princesses and their all of this and it's only now that he's calling what love is into question that he doesn't know what this feels like that he can't yeah. fucking figure it out and then we're just moving forward with that well yeah it's sorry not like... <laughs> i don't it's... think the guy's gonna be straight <laughs> It's not like he's clueless about love either, because, like, he's no, very he aware of the it. Disney yeah. characters. Yeah, he's very, like, he can, he's emotionally intelligent, like, with mm -hmm. other people. Like, he can very, yeah. like, pick up on, like, how people are feeling, and, like, why, and, like, what's driving them there, and yada, yada, yada. You know, he's very, like, empathetic in that way. Um, like, I, and so he can, like, see it, and he can, like, call it out even and like you know oh like uh Kristoff and Anna and stuff like that and just anything where he's just like oh you know a couple of lovebirds haha -ha. and like he can see it in other people but he does not know how that feels for himself which is just like 
gee, I wonder why, or, or even how. Like, if he was supposed to have been, um, like, he's always, say, been in love with Kyrie this whole time, as usually this is about what most of the time the argument amounts to, is the fact that they did the Palpu cave drawing thing at all, because again, remember, these things can't coexist. Oil and water, uh -huh. you know, you can't have this, there's no nuance, people don't learn more about themselves and grow and change. Um, right. The fact that this existed in the first place, which again, <sighs> tasty, delicious, the messiness Very of good. the queer experience, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> the fact that that was like there um, at all, people are like, well, well, you know, it's obvious. It's been, They've been setting it up since the first game, but it's just like, it doesn't matter what they set up in the first game. This is where we are now. And right. he, at this point, canonically within the story, even after everything he did in Cage 1, is now going, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get what love is supposed to feel like. Mm-hmm. And that, it's as simple as that. It's just like, and like on this the other is where hand we're at. Too. I don't blame people for, like, again, assuming the straight romance and, like, right. what's going on there. Because, like, there are subtle, like, not mistranslations, but just, like, subtle things that, like, push, like, a straight agenda. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, there, there are little you know, things that help things along. And obviously, Kate yeah. Free and many other much more egregious examples exist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my chapstick. Anyway. Uh... But even then, like, if you're just looking at the series with, like, any sort of, like, more critical lens, you're going to be like, yeah. oh, wait, okay, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Sapphire Tinted says that after the hour 30 mark is when there's a lot of clip review in the video. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for so, hunting around. We can, we yeah. can jump places. I don't really care. We're just here yeah. and discussing stuff. So that's all I really wanted out of this in the first place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Our, I'm just going to go to the hour 30. Yeah. I am exactly on it. I'm um, loading. So give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped suddenly in. <laughs> we got a smiling what is boy this here. Video called, by the way. Um, this video is me talking in 2019 on a really bad mic setup called Suriku TED Talk. Um, it is on my YouTube. It's also just on Twitch. Um, and we're kind of just going over it as well as just talking about it. Yeah. Also, we should do this more often because it's just fun to to talk in front of an audience <laughs> and i also it is. i just have an easier time like i can go forever i need somebody or something to bounce off of i mean obviously well, I, yeah. I do this a lot just on regular stream anyway and then i just talk to everybody but like there's a lot less dead air when i'm talking to somebody <laughs> like my friend tenille so <laughs> Oh my god yeah i'm around most of the time so i can oh, I definitely know. do this more often <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah I know. true and we've definitely done this before but now we're doing it with an audience yeah it's so funny because like this is not any different like sometimes tenille and i will be like let's work and then work turns into <laughs> us having these exact same conversations for uh -huh. like hours and it's just yeah. the same. So it's like, may as well, may as well, actually, why won't this load? May as well just- you know, Maybe um, reload the page? No, I got it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> but I had to let it, like, it was like loading, but it, it didn't actually need to load. It just needed to press play. Um, ah. There we go. I'm at an hour 30. Exactly. Yeah, so. I think the last time we chatted, I was going to get work done and like- <laughs> I didn't get any editing done whatsoever. No, no not at all. Because, And I know this because you would share your screen and then yeah. it was just like, nothing is moving. Like neither of us are doing anything. And we're like, God damn. Oh my God. And we're just like talking about <laughs> shit forever. So, you know, <laughs> could listen to anyone talk about Suriku for hours. So this is very fun. I'm glad because I can and have uh -huh. and will continue to talk about Suriku for hours and hours because they live in my brain 
completely yeah. rent free. You know, I buy. I miss food them every day. Every day, every day, I miss them. It's been what's it? Four years. When will they come back from yeah. the war? When will we get to see Riku? <sighs> when will we get to see Riku? Every day I wake up and oh there's boy. no Riku cage for reveal. <laughs> I know. I know. Every day I think about him. <laughs> I just wish we had some kind of like event that was upcoming that we could be like, okay, we might hear something here. Because instead Anything. it's just... Uh -huh. Instead, it's just waking up every day like, so, was there news? No. no. <sighs> Gotta cook for myself again today, I guess. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I, I am also, like, very, very pleased with myself. How many people uh -huh. have also told me that I have reactivated their hyperfixation on this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Cause see, yeah. we need we need meat in the game again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been I've been here for so long. We need fresh meat. <laughs> yes, we need people invested again. <sighs> They're just like, oh, oh no, my brain worms. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god, oh god. They're dancing and they're so loud about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, again, because I think. What was it? I think I said, because like uploading the Sarika TED Talk to YouTube, mm -hmm. and obviously like your video and like the the cross of like people like it was, right. it was just like people were so hungry for this content and nobody was making it. Yeah, you know, nobody was making it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the I think the algorithm now just directly kind of recommends like my video, the Sleeping Realm Theory videos, and. Uh, the Suriku TED Talk. Yeah. Like, just yeah, kind yeah. of all uh -huh. in the same space. Yeah, it's literally just, like, me and you, like, shaking hands, like, over in here and there, you know, over and over again. Uh -huh. Peachy's there, you know, she's like, yeah, you know. Yeah! <laughs> more! More! Oh, yes, more. So. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and it's like you said, it's like, people wanted this content, but, like, mm -hmm. You know, other than, like, very sparingly, it wasn't really, especially being done on YouTube. Yeah. And, because, like, a lot of the, unfortunately, a lot of the KH YouTube side isn't really interested in, like, story analysis. No, not exactly. Or it's really in its own world about it. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know a lot of people would argue that, like, we are in our own world about it, but I'm tired of pretending True. that this isn't just the main story. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of pretending. <laughs> this Suriku just is that. Just, it's the story. Sorry. There are other well, things, but, like... I'd be willing to listen to them if they had any kind of counter-argument, but they don't! <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, it's not to say that, like, the rest of the story or things around it don't matter, because I love and am so intensely interested in, like, every part of Kingdom Hearts, okay? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I Just Sora and Riku, the two main characters, are also just my favorite and my favorite mm -hmm. part of it, you know? So I'm like, ooh, ah, thinking about it all the time. But it's just like, it's, it's something that I just like, I just don't want to pretend that, like, them and their story isn't, the main through line of the series and that the, right. series is, the series is about them. It's been said before, you know, but it's just yeah, like, like as much as I love Sora and Riku, I am also like on pins and needles. So excited for oh, yeah. missing link. Oh, and like, I God. know it's that driving me insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know that like, it's going to have some stuff that like symbolically or like even directly lore wise is going mm -hmm. to connect to Sora and Riku. But like yeah. for the most part of it, like it's not mm -hmm. going to have anything to do with them. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm like so excited to see Brain, you know, I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh my God, it's Brain. Oh, look at this little head I on. The boy. <laughs> like I'm so excited about it and all of this. It's just like, yeah, it just, I like all of it. And a big key part of that is Sora and Riku, so... <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the, like, way, like, Kingdom Hearts YouTube in general uh, will interact with, it's like, there's a lot of, like, and you'll see this a lot in, like, general fan, spa general fan spaces as well. Um, mm -hmm. 
that like people have to kind of tiptoe around their relationship and how they either talk about it or like deal with it um and to some point surgically remove like <laughs> the importance of each other to it to pretend that it's not like shipping when i'm like yeah dude i'm sorry this is like like canon events in the game like these are just this is just shit that happens in game like that's just dream drop you know this is just like, right that's just yeah he breaks down crying over his hand you know dearly beloved's playing and like that's just what happens in the scene <laughs> you know just stuff mm -hmm. like that um so i just I don't know what great yeah. point I was making. I, <laughs> just I know you've talked before too about how uh, people in like general fanzines or whatever yeah. were told to like yep. hold back on Suriku stuff, and it's just kind of like, I mean, I don't even really feel like I'm like being like that yeah. out there with this. It's just kind of what the story is. No, that like, yeah, that's just... definitely like people will like sanitize that relationship in a way that it's just like almost kind of just out of character in a way that they have to make them avoid each other to be like, it's general. Wait, eh, 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 general. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, no shipping bias is here. And it's like, we can only pretend for so long because that's literally their entire stories are just revolving. They're just swirling down the drain, revolving around each other, <laughs> and the inevitability is right there. You know, it's like you only have so much time <laughs> yeah. to pretend. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it makes a little, it, it just feels silly. It feels silly when it's just like in whatever spaces that it's like really painfully obvious when people have to be like, oh, and Riku is just so, yeah, he's really good friends with hater or something like they hang out or something right and you yeah. know and, and sora he's just so busy doing other stuff <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's just like i don't know man the whole of chain of memories and kingdom hearts to the second one the second one and the second one are both uh -huh. about sora trying to find him <laughs> and being really emotional about it <laughs> uh-huh and then dream drop was like just like that so like i don't know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah Dude, I it's, don't know. that's a very good point uh i feel like if you have to tiptoe around canon in order to keep things gen that yeah. says a lot about the canon dynamic yeah basically very true that's just where it's left off where it's just like yeah it's just this is what it is and that's just another reason where i'm like i don't think they're fucking around also sora you know he doesn't know what love is so i'm just gonna take that one and go hmm yeah, I, yep, that's being thrown into question for, like, one purpose, I'm pretty sure, so. Well, and that's the thing, too, is, like, <laughs> you make Riku Jen, so, like, you don't have to, you know, ship him with anyone. And it's just kind of like, oh, now he doesn't have anything to do. Which is how people end up in the same repeated position of, why is he here? Why is he doing stuff? I don't right. get it. Like, why Why is he need to... Why is he the one that's going, you know? Nomura right. just doesn't know how to tell a story, you know? He doesn't fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> this story that's well-known <laughs> and loved for being very emotionally impactful and about, like, these characters, mm -hmm. like, inner... Like, like, their relationships and their connections and, and all of the drama that happens with this, et cetera, et cetera. But... He doesn't know how to write, though. <laughs> it's just like... No, no. You don't get to have both, dude. You... you I... Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Um, oh. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> Do we want to get back to the video? Now that we're here, ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we'll get to see me going over clips and then pausing to talk. And then yes. I'm going to pause to talk and be like, wait. So. <laughs> <laughs> Double pause. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll count us down. Okay, three, two, one, go. Sora just, he's like, hmm. And like, he doesn't buy it. And the only thing that rips him from the strain of thought is Kyrie shoving a palpu in his face. Yep. And he's, like, really confused. So, okay, look, we can agree that, like, this... Not only what we got was hammed up, it wasn't in ever intended to be romantic in the first place. Um, okay. so that's out. <laughs> that's out. And Fuck that. <laughs> with the tunnel scene, 
which, like I said, Riku, light, oh, all the context tunnel points scene. to oh, the, the tunnel light, scene. Is, there's so much of it. Um, oh my god. The whole, with Kyrie and the taking the hand, and the, he says, you make me feel strong, Kyrie. <laughs> the line was so horrendous. It's not even close. It's, like, not even close to the same as what the original line was. Mm -hmm. Kyrie saying that she believed in him. You know, she just simply believed. Um... Yeah, I don't understand how people think that Riku is a wingman. Um, oh, God. <laughs> a bad take. Anyway. Bad take. Anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> yeah. He says, like, yeah, yeah. He says, like, as I thought, you are strong, Kyrie. When that, that was the original line. And so you can clearly see the um, the shift, the the bias, the Yeah, this 1.5 me talking speed thing. is not, um, like, I can just talk You make fast. me feel strong, <laughs> Kyrie, which feels not only out Probably of character, faster. but like, really kind of a Western... <laughs> I guess Western male weird take kind of a thing, where instead of about Kyrie and her accomplishment, it's suddenly like this is useful to me. Mm -hmm. Like you make me feel strong, and it's like while that is a a valid thing to say to somebody in this situation, sounds really ungrateful, um, <laughs> and strange. And it was just not even close to what it was supposed to be, which was Sora, you know, talking about his friend and like, wow, you are strong. My friends are so great, you know. <laughs> And then, wow, Kyrie's you know, it so makes sense cool. that after like compliment like calling her strong and being like, yeah, fuck Legit yeah, Kyrie, moments you're like so this, cool. and I'm just like, man, why does anyone ship so Kai? When um, like it's so poorly written. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry about because a lot of the people who do sorry, ship like, it also think that it is poorly written. Um, so I don't know what they're in it for so at that we point. Have that, and it's like, oh why yeah. Kyrie? Everything's, you know, yay. Kyrie, you're so good. <laughs> And then she, you know, it's just like, oh, and then she has a little laugh, and it's sweet. See, that interaction is very sweet, and takes his hand, and it's fine. Um, and then what, what do we get in the end after that? So, okay, we know that both cases were made to be romantic when they weren't ever intended to, and it's not just in interpretive, it's Ultimania Nomura Word of God interviews <laughs> saying that this wasn't the case. Um, and then if this were to continue, if anything with Kyrie was to continue at this point, they would not have brought her back. As in, it would have been open in any capacity to go find her. But the fact is, they just, they never show us, quote-unquote, this journey, or anything to do with it. Is that a different She's point? just back, she's safe, and that's done. There's nothing to explore. There's nothing left. Her, they did the Palpu thing. There's, and even in a post-Remind no World, at the end of they didn't Hearts do movie. shit with it. And they yeah, like it it had, she was like not involved Sora whatsoever. She just gets Kyrie saved. They it's don't like, okay, cool. we could expect maybe the like next jump on go, anything. You know, like they did. Sora goes and then to it's done. And then we get like forty games of him. <laughs> Can we pause it again real quick? Well, not, yes. Him fight. Uh, I just wanted to bring up what like Steam brought up the other day, where it's just like, if anyone could tell us what Kyrie sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know please. exactly. <laughs> Uh -huh. Please just so, tell us. Genuinely, when I saw that, I only mm -hmm. ever saw that claim in retaliation to the sleeping realm theory claim of Riku's sacrifice being important. And then people were like, no, 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 hey, no, Blaine, no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, uh, her hair. <laughs> her Actually, hair. <laughs> Um, where, like, people were bringing it up as some counter to be like, no, 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 he didn't do a sacrifice. Kyrie clearly did, that's what this is supposed to be for. Like, it, it is, like, to my understanding, at least that, that's what I saw. Like, that's what I personally right. saw, I've, obviously having written the, the damn thing, and then, like, put it out, and then seeing people's reactions to it, and then seeing people, like, actively trying to debunk it. Um, mm -hmm. would often bring up that kind of, like, that was their counter-proposal in that context. The fact that we were talking about his sacrifice, that it is significant, important, and caused yada 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 event, right? And so right. people were like, uh, no, actually, no, Kyrie sacrifice, uh, that's what these flashbacks are about, which is always really funny in the <laughs> face of people going, you can't compare Sora and Riku to Anna and Elsa because that's making it a sibling thing. And then right. turning right around and going, these flashbacks that Sora are having is him realizing he's in love with Kairi. And I'm like, 
What you mean the flashback with siblings. Anna and Elsa? <laughs> you, you mean the siblings? <laughs> you mean the two <laughs> sisters? <laughs> it's like, I'm not saying you can't, in a sense, because it's it's an example of true love. That's that's the biggest point here. And then obviously, yeah. as we have seen in like the character files, they use this to bring that dynamic into question of, I see a lot of me and Riku in this, but like, I don't, I don't, something is not quite lining like is that supposed to be a sibling thing where when he's literally like listing things off that's like oh you mean like love <laughs> what's mm -hmm. the other big thing that's important about them the the true love part you know even though in yeah. their case it's familial and then in your case you're not related to this guy he's your best friend <laughs> yeah There's well it's also interesting here. too that like you know something there something that wasn't there before something there yes anyway uh but. that like the two flashbacks we get are obviously like examples of true love true love sacrifice kind of thing yeah yeah but also they are specifically characters that either in the games themselves or in the novels yes Sora directly sees them and meets them and thinks of Riku I, I know <laughs> both of them both examples he thinks of Riku. For those of you yeah. who don't know, all right. Obviously, <laughs> I we're give it. We saw what the character files. We saw the comparison. Hell, we saw the comparison in game between Elsa mm -hmm. and Riku and Anna and Sora. And blah, 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 blah. In the novels, in the novels, Sora meeting Rapunzel and seeing her be so excited and running everywhere and like the outside world and stuff, and he sees this. And he's reminded of Riku, and he's reminded Three. of how <laughs> how badly he wanted to go out and, like, see the world and stuff, and then thinks about how, like, you know, the way it happened probably wasn't the best, but he wouldn't take it back, because he, you know, he's so happy with, like, like, he's just, like, everything I've seen, everything we've done, everything, you know, this whole adventure, yada yada, is, like, it's, it's just good and important and all of these things mm -hmm. but it's literally just like looks at rapunzel and goes that reminds me of riku <laughs> you, know, you think of riku looks at elsa that reminds me of riku yeah oh this boy <laughs> and you know it just keeps happening so yeah so there there's that small bit of context that that happens in the in the novels so <laughs> But yeah, that's something with the with the Kyrie sacrifice and all that stuff where like of course people never have like an actual like counter to be like this is what her sacrifice was. It was usually mm -hmm. just a no it wasn't. Kyrie did. You know, and it's like Kyrie did, Kyrie and did like, what? <laughs> where? Where? When did, the the where, closest when? Kyrie comes to a sacrifice is her like jumping on top of Axel and that's yes. definitely not in for Sora's sake. <laughs> no, yeah, and even then like I remember seeing in the trailers that, like, she jumped to, like, protect Axel, and it gave mm -hmm. me so much, so much sad hope that there was going to be more going on there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, like, the I'm so glad that she did. get is cute. It's cute. It's like the Kyrie interacting with literally any other character goes, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, she's a person. This is so nice. And, like, yeah. even her, in, like, the insight into her writing her letters in the novels or even her having those scenes where she's writing her thoughts out and like how she feels about nominee and and all of that stuff like her interactions with axel mm -hmm. and stuff are, are good there's just yeah. not enough there's just not enough there for her <laughs> well but, and honestly as sad as it is i was impressed by its consistency with the rest of her character going on because it was like it was bringing up like the fact that axel kidnapped her and so she kind of felt weird about him uh yeah. but he's nice actually and like yep for as little as we get with Kyrie, i'm i was surprised at the consistency of just yes, like bringing I can, that I up can agree. yeah because <laughs> it's still it, like it is it is consistent and kingdom hearts mm -hmm. on the whole is actually very really consistent con yeah it's very consistent with things as much as people want to think that this or that is a is a, a retcon of some kind typically mm -hmm. uh tends to be something that people did not notice the first time around and that it was there the whole time, which is something that I had spoken in last stream or maybe it was, I don't remember if it was the stream before that or this one. Um, but it was just generally like, Oh, you know, nobody's in having hearts. And it was just like, 
you cannot like Roxas and his story and then get upset that nobody's having hearts is a retcon. That's the whole right. crux of his story and his emotional, like everything that you're like connecting to the emotions, you know, the thing you need the heart for, like, it's almost yeah. like the whole time you're kind of rooting for him as like a person and like, you want him to be able to, to have his own life and like, you're yeah. sad for him and, and he's so upset and, you know, it's effective because like, you're really seeing his emotions on screen and like, well, you know, and literally and... as <laughs> Axel and Roxas are dying in Kingdom Hearts too, and they get and that last Axel little scene together. And... Yeah. And Axel's just like, Hey Roxas, I've been thinking, do you think maybe we've had hearts this whole time? It's like, I don't know. I can't just look inside. Yeah. <laughs> and people be like, boo, they don't have hearts. That's stupid. And it's like, do you? I... Right. Okay. <laughs> like, so it's just, there's a lot of stuff like that where like people think it's a retcon. It's usually just not paying attention or you played the game years ago and you have some impression from your weird little 14 year old brain. Are you going to trust mm -hmm. a 14-year-old with anything? No. So, like, why are you trusting you as a 14-year-old? You're not different. <laughs> You're not special. So, look at it again. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just... Kingdom Hearts is really consistent, actually, and unfortunately consistent in its treatment of Kyrie, which, while the character, mm -hmm. what is there, is still consistent, there's very, very little of it. <laughs> Yeah, there's very little to go off of. But yeah, oh, yeah. it's just like ugh, the tunnel scene. <laughs> and like it would have uh, been so I let me let me focus gather, my thoughts. Gather your thoughts. Gather your thoughts. <laughs> uh the whole like showing those two scenes, the the frozen and the tangled clip. And it's just like I don't know what else this could mean other than what we've surmised out of it. Right. And it's just kind of like, and so yeah, tri people tried to rebut it with like, well, obviously Kyrie sacrificed something. And it's like, okay, but we didn't but see that. <laughs> yeah, like, what? What did she sacrifice? Tell me. You don't just get to make yeah. shit up. Prove it to me. <laughs> Where <laughs> is it? Sat around in the dark for a bit. Great. What, what did that do other than going like, in a holding sword <laughs> together like I, there's nothing we don't even get to see that part we just have to take yeah, and why wouldn't we for it. Right. if that's what was if that's what was happening why wouldn't we see it that would be like why such an important we? scene to see why wouldn't we see like and then you know Sora like and then <laughs> Riku does a sacrifice whatever and then mm -hmm. darkness and then you hear Kyrie and she goes like Sora and then and then a light appears and then he's uh -huh. like light you know and he goes towards it or whatever and like easy easy peasy lemon squeezy mm -hmm. we established but it's almost like the focus was on Riku the whole time and his whole big sacrifice and then we get Sora waking up in the tunnel <laughs> and then going Riku answer yeah. me <laughs> and then the light like answers answers him and then he's like yeah <laughs> it goes into the light. The Big amount of times I've watched that moment. fucking scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it leads him, what, literally to <laughs> Riku in the realm of the gods on a pedestal covered in sun symbolism and the. Uh, 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 like, I, that <laughs> even completely aside, like, this is just simple, like, one, two, like, Riku dies, light, Riku! <laughs> then it, right. he goes through it. And then Riku's there. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yeah, yep, that makes sense. And then, you know, and then we get a follow-up scene that's like, oh, oh, Kyrie, it must have been you. And then everyone goes, can't believe it was Kyrie the whole time. And it's just like, <laughs> I don't know, man, maybe this is supposed to be thrown into question. Like, it's almost like they got a weird Dutch angle and she comes in and covers the light in the most exactly. very straightforward symbolism that you could put. Like, the it's not even, just... like, if she were, like, symmetrical and the light were emanating from behind her, then you'd be like, oh, that's weird, but, like, I would believe that more of her supposed, she's supposed to be the light, right? But it's like, the right. light exists outside of her, and then she, like, moves in front of it. Like, that mm -hmm. is, that tells you a lot of different things. Like, this is just this is storytelling. You, you show, you know? <laughs> and so it's well, like, here's the light. Times? And then she moves in front of it. And then I... <laughs> How many times have we 
scene, a light tunnel scene, and the person who is the guiding light is never in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's just, yeah, she's off to the side. She's blocking it. It's just, it's silly. It's just right there. It's something that it's just like, we, it's not just like this exists by itself. There are like two other setup scenes <laughs> that like mm -hmm. set up that's like, oh, Riku, he's the light in the, yep, right there. Mm -hmm. And then, and then this one with all of the information you need to know that something is wrong is going, it was Kyrie. And then everyone's like, I guess it was Kyrie. And then other people going yeah. like, yeah, it was Kyrie. Of course it was Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, of and course. now they're married, by the way. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> God, you're doing a lot of work for them, aren't you? <laughs> it's yeah. Just like, all you, bud. Why do you want to do so much work for something that, if if you're correct, that would be is really like, sad. Is really, really not sad. Great. No, you know? it's I don't. I hey man, people got different standards, I guess. But I guess it's something that's just so like when you see even like people who really really like it mm -hmm. uh, are kind of not that stoked about how it's handled. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't I just don't know what you're there for. I don't understand. Yeah. I genuinely and this is coming from somebody who, like I said in the video, like I've said a billion times before, I'm just somebody who doesn't like ship things really. Like it's just not like yeah. a hobby of mine. I just don't I don't like watch something and go, Oh yeah, I love these two characters. Okay, let's fucking go. Let's do something. You know what I mean? Uh huh. I'm just here to be like, I like this story, and whatever the story's feeding me, if it's doing it effectively, I'm here for it. So it yep. kind of doesn't matter. You just got to convince me of your story and I'm down to clown, right? And yep. so that's just where Kingdom Hearts slides perfectly in that it's just like, it's just telling me this story and it's ongoing and it's making me insane. It's making, it's turning <laughs> me into an insane person. I am walking circles in my house. I'm pacing. I'm chewing on the furniture. And I'm still <laughs> just waiting every day for some drop of news. <laughs> And it's so remarkable in how well it tells its story. Yeah. In all these areas, except for the romance? The like, whole time? Again, the guy yeah. who's, like, actually really good at, like, like fine-tuning this, like, emotional delivery mm -hmm. to such a point that, like, that that's just Kingdom Hearts' strongest point is mm -hmm. the cast of characters and the emotional delivery it manages to do. Like, it is... Yeah like absurdly effective at it right it's so good at pinpointing a, the huge variety of like emotions and situations and things both like very loving and sweet and very sad and bittersweet nostalgic you know all mm -hmm. over the place tragic it, it's everywhere you can get whatever yeah. you want from it um even just righteous anger like it's it's all yeah. very like that's the thing people like always come back for is just like the characters this whole cast and their emotional journeys that they're going on yep. and i guess like sure you could be good at some things and not be good at like writing romance i guess as an aside because there are plenty of stories where like they're telling like good emotionally resonant stories but they're still like some straight guy. And then they're just like, well, the story's over. So like, um, you and you and, uh, you and you and you, and then you, I... and then, then you, and then, yeah, well, that one's dead, I guess. So, you know, rip that guy. And then <laughs> you and you, and, you know, it's, and they just kind of wrap things up, but it's like, you know, mm -hmm. it's just not that hard to tell the difference. When, yeah. like, something is just, like, somebody can really tell a story, but maybe they're not that good at romance. And then also a story that is giving you every means to see that you're like, huh, this sure seems like a queer coming-of-age story. <laughs> and Memora's has already had an opportunity to pull that kind of thing oh, if you yeah. wanted. Because, that, like, that ship pretty passed. much, yeah, like, yeah, like, he could have done it in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, he also could have done it in Kingdom Hearts 3 with, like, Terra and Aqua, or oh, yeah. Roxas and Shion, or, you know, stuff like that. Like, there yeah. there was prime opportunity to just do that kind of thing. And, like, yeah. also with Union Cross a bit, you mm -hmm. know? Like, but, like, he doesn't ever take that route, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, I just don't think that's gonna be his thing. 
Yeah, I just don't think so. I'm also of the camp, personally, that, um, especially when it comes to, like, some kind of straight couple where there's, like, there's nothing getting in the way of it happening, mm -hmm. um, that I'm just not going to do the work for them. They can yeah. tell their story their damn selves. That's not my yeah. job. So, if Final like, Fantasy VII's anything to go off of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's just like, look, there are other examples of perfectly good, like, love stories being told. I really like Final Fantasy X. I really mm -hmm. like Titus and Yuna, and I think they do a good job of, like, showing these two characters how they grow to, like, how they like each other, how they, mm -hmm. like, grow because of each other and how even they narratively like switch places it, it's beautiful it's tragic it's great it's wonderful it. like it's so good and they're so good and that's just like look all you had to do is convince me you just had to tell yeah. a good story that's all i'm really asking for and it's like there are plenty of other examples nomura has been involved in fucking most of them at this point yeah. you know what i mean and so it's just like i just i just doubt that like and then suddenly he has no idea how romance could be written especially when there are also plenty of other examples where he puts a lot of thought into the characters and these characters he's designing like yeah. there is an interview where he's talking about like renoa when you know they're talking they're working on eight and everything and it was mm -hmm. supposed to be like okay here's squall and Renoa is supposed to be, like, the love interest, but also, like, a character foil. And he talks about, like, all of the thought he put into her design. That, like, he didn't want to design her as some kind of bombshell beauty or something. He wanted mm -hmm. to design her as just kind of, like, a normal girl who has a really bright and, like, wonderful personality. You know? And it's yeah. just, like, he wanted, like, her personality to really shine through. Which isn't to say he designed her as plain. He just was, like you know like a regular person <laughs> yeah and not like wild like final fantasy designs that even within the exact same game there are largely <laughs> different ends of the spectrum here in terms of character right. design and so she was supposed to be like her he wanted her personality to show through because that's what kind of pulls squall out of this shell he's in and mm -hmm. it was just him talking about like the thought he was putting into that and i was like he fucking thinks about it. Like, he's not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, just... and I mean, like, the dude works at Square Enix, and Square Enix has plenty of wonderful love stories. I'm sure that if he was specifically recognizing that he had trouble writing the romance, he would get other people to, All like, these come in and help. Who have... Yeah, people who he's worked with before on other projects, said people mm -hmm. who he still works with on kingdom hearts <laughs> yeah other stuff where it's just like dude i he has all the resources available mm -hmm. i think he's pretty good at his job and he has in many many different like cases and ways shown that he puts a lot of thought into what he does yeah nobody's perfect not every execution is perfect for one reason or another you know i'm not right. saying that like wow the man cannot be beat you know it's just like he's really good <laughs> at what he uh -huh. does and like i just it's hard to believe that for a series that's as well loved for like as it is for its like emotional storytelling and well-developed characters that mm -hmm. very suddenly in this one department uh he entirely drops the ball on any kind of romance <laughs> yeah <laughs> is just, so like, bad it would so be just bad. kind of insulting <laughs> like yeah uh-huh yeah so because yeah anyway yeah. <laughs> that's that's all <laughs> um anyway yeah that's that's that big point there um <laughs> why don't we see i wasn't even the one that paused the video that was you this time <laughs> yeah i did so that we could talk about this light tunnel scene <laughs> that's right that's what it was because i was right yep and Kyrie um, not making a sacrifice <laughs> and yeah Kyrie's lack of sacrifice and whatever it was she was doing she didn't even bring any snacks she damn didn't even bring any fucking snacks uh <sighs> speaking of snacks i need water and i gotta piss so we're gonna have okay. another quick uh bathroom break unless yeah do let's you, do another break do you want to entertain them or do you want to go to the bathroom I will also go to the bathroom. I've been trying to stay hydrated because that's a big yeah. part of my soreness. 
Oh, so that's yep, that makes sense actually. That's something actually that I learned when I got a massage for the first time was that uh-huh. a lot of like the working into everything just breaks loose a lot of shit in the body. And it's like if you do not drink a bunch of water and flush it out, you are going to be so fucking sore. And so they're like, drink uh-huh. so much water when you go home. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure, of course. <laughs> so Yeah, I've anyway. already drank like three bottles of this today and I'm planning nice. on more. <laughs> nice yeah i'm just talking a lot so i get thirsty <laughs> mm-hmm. and because and then i drink a lot of water and then i piss a lot of pee so <laughs> you know it's as is the cycle goes yeah so anyway uh quick bathroom break cycle and... or fluids yeah yeah exactly oil change or whatever the fuck okay yeah. okay we'll be right back <laughs> Hello, everybody. Please look at what I have. <laughs> I had to very Baby nice cat! Things. Oh, baby! There he is! Oh, no! I'm not gonna- The machine feeds you now. It's not my job anymore. <laughs> oh, good luck up, get him out of that me. habit. <laughs> he, so far, has been okay. Mm-hmm. He's perfectly blocked by the stupid fucking- Sariku and game actually. Oh, you love it. You love <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> such a fit. He says no. I know. I'm an adult man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. Hold on. I have to. Hmm. <sighs> I was holding. Yeah, I know that feel. I shoved my headset on, so I couldn't really. There he is down there. Sir, your food will automatically dispense. Don't shut the door. Your food will automatically dispense from your your robot servant in like twenty five minutes, and you're just gonna have to deal with that. You just gotta wait. He doesn't get this it. He's not new... getting it. This Can is the new doors? system, no. man. My sweet 16-pound angel. Yeah, if the door is even, like, sort of closed, like, he'll just be like... And he'll just, like, whine he... at me. Like, he'll just... He'll be like, I want out the door, and then he pushes it shut. So, <laughs> you know. Also, I didn't even get water. I... Oh! <gasps> Got distracted yes. uh, on Twitter while I was on the toilet, so. <laughs> you should go get some water. Yeah, so now you have to entertain them really quick. I'm going to go okay. get some water. And then he's going to run mm-hmm. downstairs so excited and not get mm-hmm. food. So, I'll be right back. Baby cat might be throwing a tantrum. I got myself snacks. I got cookies. I got an oatmeal bar. That's got butterscotch and white chocolate chips in it. Just delicious. Oh, I'm gonna dance. I also got like, I don't know, it's just like a variety pack of different cookies. White Oreos. Nutter butter. And then whatever this little shortbread cookie is. It's definitely some kind of shortbread cookie. That's got some kind of, like, fruit thing in the middle of it. I don't know. But it's good. I'm, like, a constant snacker. I could always be, like, snacking on something. I like just munching on things. Ooh, Pop-Tarts for a snack? Hell yeah. I'm always sad because they never have the wild berry in stock at Kroger, like whenever we're we're going over there for, for groceries, and I'm like, I could do with some Pop-Tarts. And normally I like like the brown sugar cinnamon is good. But the wild berry, the wild berry are like the go-to. Just remind me of the 90s. <laughs> and they're so tasty.
they're more uh, limited in stock. Yeah, I don't think they're as popular as they used to be. Maybe because people are just like, that doesn't look like food. I'm not eating that. And I'm like, it's frosting. Of course it doesn't look like food. Strawberry's fine, but it's not wildberry. Whitney was really likes the s'mores ones. Those are a bit... A bit too much if I'm going to eat two whole Pop-Tarts. Yeah, brown sugar cinnamon is really good. <laughs> I don't know if this is just like a my mom did this, so now I do it kind of thing. Does anyone else butter your Pop-Tarts? Because like the brown sugar cinnamon, put them in the toaster oven, take them out, just put like a little bit of butter on top. <laughs> so good. So bad for you. So good. It just like softens the top a little bit. Because <laughs> it's kind of similar to eating like, like if you just get toast and then you do like a brown sugar cinnamon on top, but you butter your toast first and then just kind of like sprinkle the, the brown sugar cinnamon. Raspberry is the best pop tarts. Raspberry? Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Also, I don't think I've had raspberry. I mean, raspberry. I feel like is kind of just a winner in most situations. Kind of hard to go wrong. But before you even said it, when you're like, I don't know if anybody else does this or it's just because my mom did it, and then I was like, <laughs> you butter your fucking pop tarts, and then. You <laughs> I was down there and I'm just like getting this little fucking cucumber out. I know. <laughs> Here's the thing: I don't butter my butter. Pop but because of my mom, mm -hmm. especially with like Costco muffins, mm -hmm. there's this whole little okay. You cut it in half. You cut the muffin top off. Right. right. You've taken the wrapper off. He's a naked little guy. Yes. Cut him in half. <laughs> you put butter inside. You put uh -huh. the butter on top. And you stick that. Little fucker in the microwave. Yeah. Eat it up. Get that shit off. Ugh. Yeah. So bad for you. So good. So, so good. bad for you. It's I love a hot good fresh with the chocolate one. I love getting like because Whitney likes making muffins pretty often actually. So I'll get like a hot fresh one, oh, yeah. and I'll just like just stick that knife down right in the middle, put the butter in, and <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you can do that. Just just stab it, and they're just yeah. See, I usually, when I eat a Pop-Tart, I just eat it cold. Something about it, yeah. like, I just, like, I love the snap of the of the icing. Mm-hmm. Something the about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still good yeah. hot, but sometimes they, they, they can easily slide into a little too dry. Sometimes, mm -hmm. especially with, like, the corners and stuff like that. Yeah. So Actually, as a kid, cold. I didn't know you were supposed to put them in the toaster. <laughs> I right, just thought that's enough. how you ate them. Yeah, <laughs> and it wasn't until... It yeah, I think it wasn't until I went to college that someone was like, oh, you touched Pop-Tarts. And I was like... You, you oh. can do that? <laughs> well, and actually, no, that's, the not, of that's not true, because I saw my mom butter them. Out. So it was at some point I realized... Some point along the way, home. the connection. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Mm. You're cucumber. over there eating a good old cucumber. I'm over here eating cookies. <laughs> Have I told the story about my cousins in the vending machine? Mm. I think I've done it at least on stream before. But there was a there's a story. I was a small child. I've never mm -hmm. been a picky eater. Um, and one time we were at some hotel with my aunt, and uh, my aunt and my mom. Like, because I have my two cousins, and we were all given a little bit of change. Astro remembers the story. Uh, we were all given a little bit of money to go to the, oh, the vending machine. Oh, okay, I think I remember this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and um, 
my cousins are, you know, they get like candy bars and whatever. And I was like, God, that apple looks so good. <laughs> So I got an apple from the vending machine and I was so excited about this apple. And then we come back to the room and everything. And my mom is just gloating over my aunt because like her kid was the one who came back with a fucking apple by choice. <laughs> and here's the thing. That apple sucked. I should have yeah. gotten a candy bar. <laughs> like, like I, if it was a good apple, I would have been perfectly happy. That apple was so mealy and way mm. not in a good place. You know, it wasn't like, like rotten by any means. It was just like. That was a stale ass apple, dude. It sucked, and so it was just like. I mean, I'm glad... who knows how long it was in that vending machine? Who knows how long it was in that vending machine? But that's just something that's like, yeah, I'm sitting here eating a cucumber, and I can eat like forty cucumbers because I love them. So I'm glad that mm -hmm. that story was the tipping point for somebody to <laughs> to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I was a child. I was a child. Okay, I was like seven. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> no, but like, getting, I had I had no prior experience to believe it would be bad. <laughs> All right, yeah. cut me some slack. Ugh. We ran. <laughs> we ran a lot of our school's concession stands, so uh -huh. I was very familiar with eating burgers and nachos and pretzels and candy yeah. bars and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So. My go-to treat was always like meat and cheese because it's just like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is oh, this is the sure. delicacy. This is the oh, top tier this shit. Is the good stuff. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the apples were relatable. <laughs> that relatable content, you know, eating a shit fucking a bad apple, if you will. Toho fans, yeah. Toho fans out there. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, I've I never only know played Toho. Bad, uh, <laughs> Well, I was going to say, I only know bad uh, apple via mm -hmm. VeggieTales. <laughs> Wait. Elaborate. I don't remember. <laughs> There's literally one. Okay. Uh, one of the specials is Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Oh, because the Bad Apple is like the Big Apple, right? Or yeah. is it... It's it's some evil apple lady. Oh, okay. Because I was saying, I was like, he was like in like the inner city because you know he was doing some superhero Larry. Well, Boy there's another shit one where time. he's and I was like, where it's Larry Boy versus the rumor weed, and then another okay, one that's yeah, the fib that. from outer space. Yeah, that's right. Look, it's been a while, and I'm like, I don't know uh -huh. this fucking bad apple thing. But then anyway, bad it's apple all ingrained huh? right here. <laughs> there's been look. I've watched a lot of Veggie Tales. But there's some I just there's some I just haven't seen. I fell off mm -hmm. at a certain point, but I still yeah. did go and see Jonah and the Whale in theaters. <laughs> Hell yeah! I yeah, and <laughs> Jonah Jonah and the Whale so good, so good. <laughs> I wish I remembered more of it. To be honest, it's I remember I saw it in theaters, and I was like, yeah, all right. And I, I don't remember that much outside of all I know the story of Jonah and the Whale. You know, right. so I'm like I reasonably know what happens in the movie, but I'm like. It's funny, but much. honestly, the, the best part about it is get the DVD of it, because that's got director's commentary, and uh. one of the director's commentary is done as if Larry the Cucumber and Mr. Lunt are the uh -huh. directors of the film, and so <laughs> it's fun. it's like Phil Vischer and Mike Naraki in the booth pretending to be their characters who wrote and produced and directed the film. See, that's fun, though. <laughs> yeah. And they go off on a lot of tangents, and it's it's great. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. That would mm -hmm. be fun to just see for the sake of just seeing it. Anyway... Not to not to go from relatable content to immediately talking about our, like, Christian, like, upbringing. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Our, like, white fucking middle America Christian upbringing kind Listen, of Listen, VeggieTales was the only good thing about it, so... It's true, it's true. That's the thing, is VeggieTales was actually not bad. It's a good show. <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. why it got as popular as it did, because people who weren't religious were like, this show's good. <laughs> it's like, this is actually pretty, yeah, pretty see, good. It, you don't have to be Christian to just like VeggieTales. Because <laughs> it's a good cartoon, which is not to imply that I'm still Christian, <laughs> to be clear. <laughs> yeah. No. Please, God. <laughs> As I say, please, God. <laughs> God in heaven. 
Don't anyway, misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Veggie Tales through the memes. Well, it's a good show. <laughs> yeah, it was doing a lot, like pretty he- a- he- way ahead of its time, actually. Very but... anti-capitalist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it had a lot of good shit going on. Uh huh. Yeah. See, now we're now we've got Riku. Yay, yes. Jesus. No. <laughs> That's where we're moving. He's going to be so yeah. special and important in the new Master of Masters. Riku. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Staying on top because overrated. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you eat cookies. I eat cucumber. Um, and then I told the apple story. And then we went from apples to Toho rapidly to Veggie Tales. And mm-hmm. here we are. I had to kind of backtrack we have joshua who is definitely gay jesus absolutely mm-hmm. but that's but that's why joshua and we could get along so well yeah they're peas in a pod those two <laughs> you know oh joshua you dig man talk about one of those characters that was like oh man this is another one i really like <laughs> oh yeah oh for sure I love Joshua. I really do. So funny, my partner cannot stand him at all. <laughs> but in that way, she's like, oh, Joshua. And I'm like, oh, he's so awful. I love that he's... guy. <laughs> oh, he's so stinky. He's awful, and but complex. There's complexities under there. You know what uh-huh. I mean? And I uh-huh. eat it up. I eat it up. <laughs> I love One that game, Angel. No middle ground. There's no, like, Joshua's okay. You either love him or you hate him. Mm-hmm. The man we hate to love and love to hate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Seb's got it. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Are we ready to go back I, to the video? We may as well be. <laughs> I yeah. was trying to be like, what were we saying before we we broke off? We were talking about all the Kyrie tunnel scene stuff and no That's sacrifice right. and all that. God, I about had but a I heart th- attack. For a second, I thought I had didn't continue recording i did we're fine i was oh. just like no i'm good we're good <laughs> i remember i like pressed the button like haphazardly while holding baby cat and i was like eh, eh. <laughs> anyway yes we were talking about the scene now we're gonna go back to this and see if we can even get to me going over clips yeah you know with this Sora, I barely managed to draw like an hour later. Later, in the fucking but you video. did it. I did it. That's what's important. That's right. Um. Okay, I'll count us down then. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Trying to find, then finding Riku, and then doing stuff with Riku, and then not thinking about Kyrie at all. Um. <laughs> but with this, it was Kyrie is gone. She could just basically be dead. She's back now. Goodbye, Kyrie. And, and he leaves. <laughs> Goodbye, and so, like, Kyrie. I ask you genuinely, Toodles. where do they go from there with Kyrie? And they where? didn't go anywhere. Where do they go? Mm-mm. What have they left open? Unless, and if you were to say or think or want to, I don't know, well, they're gonna go, you know, maybe she's gonna go find him. She's whatever, anything that's left open. But the secret movie just blew the whole thing out of the water. It's like, not only do we see that every door has been closed for Kyrie, we know for a fact that moving forward, it's all, it's about Sora and Riku. And I'm still not even into the details about the setup for the two of them. This is just looking at Kyrie. And none of this has changed. Potential of no. <laughs> no. It's still changed. going on this exact same finishing path. Finishing out with, say, Sokai, or the straight option, even if you wouldn't think that the gay option is on the table, the straight option is almost completely squashed into the dirt yeah. Uh, just yeah just nothing for her <coughs> nothing <coughs> left um, <coughs> and then okay i think i'm i'm probably there it is <laughs> there we go <laughs> hearing the little <laughs> um so i guess just t- t- take that little fact Take that little tidbit of information that... Yeah. God, Yazora. Ah! <laughs> My god. Uh, the, we haven't even talked about Yazora. <laughs> that little bit of information that if they were to continue with this, this straight agenda, 
they have done their they left Kyrie no way out of her room. It's four walls, no door. She's in a box. <laughs> Kyrie's in the box. She's more in the she's box safe. than she's, she's ever safe. been. She's back. Yeah. Sora left, and we know moving forward, it's just Sora and Riku. And like I said, that's barring everything else. Um, hold on, pause really quick. I, this drives mm -hmm. me nuts because what I'm saying. If you had no context, I could just be talking about the end of Melody of Memory. Yeah. It's the same. It's the exact same fucking conversation. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, d close and shut. Like, at this point now, we just have even more so, like, oh, Riku already left. He already fucking left. <laughs> I have to, like, move away from the mic to yell. <laughs> <laughs> so don't blow it out but it's just like hearing I'm, this is just like yeah it, pull it out of context it's the same covers it's literally the exact same shit i have been saying this whole time and it's only mm -hmm. continued to be exactly true that's all i'm still not convinced that Kyrie being included in melody of memory was just kind of namora's way of being like okay people are really seeming to get the wrong impression from the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Remind. Like, the Seeker movie shows Sora and Riku there and everything, and, like, I feel uh -huh. like I've set this up, but, like, apparently they need more explaining, so... Apparently they're not fucking getting it, so, like, we yeah. gotta make it. That's how I've, like, taken Melody of Memory, was it, it was just a matter of, like, setting some things in stone. Like, no mm -hmm. ambiguity, like I was saying earlier, just that, like, let's make this clear, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's something to look at for Kyrie, but, like, we are we are showing you right now right in front of you we are writing her into her little box like she is just going in a box on the shelf she's gonna mm -hmm. go train with aqua done taken care of Do that door is shut just leave it alone for now okay riku already left he's out the door mm -hmm. the door is shut and locked behind him like there's yeah. no there should be no room for confusion and yet here we are and yet uh-huh but, like, especially because it was just very, like, oh, uh, actually, let's do some stuff with Kyrie and, oh, let's put this in here. And this is, it was opportunistic is what it was, which is, which is right. fine. You know, I'd yeah. rather have it than not. But, like, yeah. it's something that it's just, like, it pretty much just exists to very unambiguously set up the future. And uh, mm -hmm. Kyrie is not going. Riku is going. Mm-hmm. The end. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> like, this is where we're going, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, just to let anybody, in case you were confused. Well, yeah. and especially with, like, you know, Namora and the team have talked about and kind of insinuated how stressful uh, Kingdom Hearts 3's production was because there was oh, just yeah. so many expectations and then obviously things weren't going as smoothly as they hoped it would. Yep. On multiple different counts. Um, but, like, you know, so I could definitely see how the team could be, like, looking at what fans are saying, what fans are speculating about, and being yep. like, oh, God, oh, no, they have the oh, wrong God. expectations uh -oh. again. <laughs> I mean, you could even, like, just pointing to him talking about Xehanort and going like, mm -hmm. I saw people theorizing incorrectly. So I wanted to set the record straight. Like right. they've talked, they've spoken on multiple different occasions that they like do see what people say, which is part mm -hmm. of what made it really difficult with KH3. Cause everybody was being like, Oh, where is it? Oh, they're not doing anything, you know, and just a bunch yeah. of criticism and stuff. And, you know, obviously they cannot talk about things that have happened, have been happening, the, all of the problems that have cropped up. Blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. So it's like, they do see, they do see what people say. They, he's literally gone out of his way to make points to people saying the wrong thing before. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just like, yeah, if, if it were to be like, okay, people are kind of getting the wrong idea. Um, she's not going. <laughs> and even, <laughs> even as much as like, while like lead up to the game and people being like, so it's going to be like Kyrie's time to shine. Let's go. <laughs> and he was like, no. No. no, 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 don't get the no, wrong no, idea. No. I wouldn't say there's, like, anything, like, huge, you know, it's just a little, like, don't fucking, please don't overthink this, you know, it's not yeah. a big deal. And then everyone was like, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, Kyrie, and then they get in there, and then it was just, like, literally, like, 
like she loses a fight in her own head and then she <laughs> and then she gets told to stay home and it's just like and then they can't even put her in the credits so <laughs> yeah i can't know uh, she doesn't even get to be part of co-op mode nope no not at all not in you don't even technically have to play not even part of the story you can just let it go and like you don't have to pass it will just yeah. continue it's fine it's so sad it's so weird yeah. <laughs> so it's just uh yeah and then it's just Sariku co-op mode like they didn't even they didn't even let it be like choose your character be roxas be mm -hmm. aqua they're like no no no, no so riku no. only yeah h1 riku we're bringing in another riku model he's coming in it's just gonna be sora and riku it'll be just them there we go <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, you know how it is. Uh, some obvious priorities at play. But anyway, yeah. Um, back to this. We're just going to go right back to it. We're not... No okay. no more tangents. That'll never happen again. Ha, <laughs> the count lies. us down. <laughs> Quit telling three, lies. <laughs> three, two, one, go. So, we have that. That's that's KH3, everybody. Mm, I love or, it. Sora and Heart Oh moon. my god. Uh, Even no just that Heart little moon. And then now we get all the stuff with Sora and Riku. Um, but we are going to watch this first. That's, that's Jeez. Master Masters. Gonna like, just that it it's out. like, and it's Sora, and it's Riku, and they're doing their whole thing. And then, you know. And then he's like, like get to nice, Riku all of this. Because anyway, there is way more than the moon. It's actually a lot. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna get to that. We're gonna watch this first, though. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I want to see it. Oh, God. <laughs> the red and the blue. God, it couldn't be more heavy handed. Oh, my God. Oh, the way they make, make the green street lights even look more blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The lighting, it's just like Sora. And also, like, Riku. literally everything I will say about, like, what has been, it is funny to see this yeah, at 1.5 speed, though. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. Little fast. <laughs> there he oh. is! And the cello as he rises. Oh! <laughs> and he looks at the... the um, oh, and then Sora looks okay, at the one, blue light. We have this whole setup wow! And then, oh my god, it's almost like... searching for each other, and it's fantastic. And I love it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Nothing has changed. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so excited for this. I know. And then Somnus. Sorry, it's probably really quiet for you, but in the stream it's really quiet. Yeah, there's not going to be anything I can do to make that much louder. Uh, and here is Master of Masters, which we know is for sure actually Master of Masters. Nomura said so, which I don't know why we would ever think otherwise, but I'm just saying like, pretty consistently when it's like, uh, given all context, I think that's pretty sure that's Master of Masters. And then it's just, oh, it is. So, oh. okay. I'm wow. going to talk about exactly, literally only what the game has set up. This is just strictly what the game dink, has dink, said. Dink. the two of them. This is just okay. It. <laughs> All right. Nothing else. We're just going to talk about what happens in the game and exactly what there's what is left open with it. All right, me. Let's go. Okay. So a lot happens in Kingdom Hearts three, but also a lot of nothing happens at the same time. When the majority of the game is Sora, just like eighty percent of the game is just Sora going through i'm sorry that like i'm fucking up your sleeping schedule i have this i have this effect on people <laughs> and it's going to be the first time baby but, it's true okay I'll, I'll try to keep talking and not get too distracted i'm still looking at the chat but it keeps me it, i have to stop to like read because it's just popping um talking easy don't have to think too much Good night. Good night. Thank you. All right, me. Come later. on. Fucking get past it. Let's go. Oh, I Let's fucking move. 
I swear, you do get there eventually. I sure do. But, like, this is completely unedited, you know what I mean? Like, there's uh -huh. no fucking in-between. There's no getting to, right, to feel some chop food. things up here. Yeah. Um, okay. So, strictly just with what we got oh, I haven't up, listened to this in a while. Harshry, and I was like, remember when I said that I thought I came in with too low of expectations? Um. Paprika soundtrack. <laughs> That's probably oh, yeah. a little quiet that I was for, honest to again, people watching. How much we actually got. Yeah. And this was, this was but... about a, a first... This is just a first time through, right? Um, this is a first time through, and we got way more than I think people realize the first time, because a lot of stuff is, there's a lot of the game to take in, and like I said, there's a whole lot of shit, and then like, but a whole mm -hmm. lot of nothing at the mm -hmm. same time, when it's just sort of going through worlds most of the game, and then we get just kind of like, oh, suddenly everything crammed in at the end. Um, so it's easy to forget shit that happens, honestly, or to look at it in a clearer context, and I was one of the lucky... Lucky few, <laughs> one of those lucky bastards that got the game uh, exceedingly early, after I had already been looking at spoilers, so I was uh, quite ahead on intaking all of this. I, I got to sit on this a lot longer than others, right? Um, <laughs> That's all true. <laughs> it just so, got to be like... I really got to like sit and absorb everything. Just like that. <laughs> sit but, and absorb, um, and I'm just like... So, what uh, the game has set up second. as a TBR <laughs> is an underlying underlying feelings or things that have not been realized by Sora uh, realized or addressed mm -hmm. or acknowledged uh, in regards to Sora um, he admits openly that he does not know much about love <laughs> which really isn't a throwaway line um, it was during a, a pretty big important moment and it's a per you put it out, you put it there <laughs> I don't yeah, know much before about the character I files. My heart with others. Before the character files. And, and it's almost like have, it's you know, consistently heavy, continued on this path. Heavy -ish kind yeah. Of, kind of coming on That's a so bit interesting. To, like, hey, uh -huh. that, how, how that happens. And, then, and yeah, this is Paprika. Um, this is specifically, the song is a Thank you, Turtle. drop filled with memories. But um, Sora has feelings underlying that he hasn't addressed and he doesn't address the whole game. But the pre rendered cutscene, you're right. There. Um, this is a whole big fucking thing. We also thing. have Riku with a pretty outright confirmation that he has feelings or at least holds Sora in the highest regard. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to go, uh, look, dude, it's not that hard to figure out that he's super gay and he has feelings. This is not an exaggeration. <laughs> this isn't, haha, how gay. This is just actually everything they have presented leading up to this point. Riku has big gay romantic feelings. <laughs> This much is obvious. For, for um, one guy. For one particular little guy. Uh huh. So I get so many people to. Well, not feelings. so many, but like so every once in a while, a comment or two that's like. The follow. Anyway, and all uh, are closed. You know. And then moving forward. Well, it doesn't have to be gay. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't have to, but like, you don't put all this romantic subtext character. onto this. If you're not that is literally a combination yeah. making yeah, it that's gay. Thing. It's like, okay, what this is all and here and what for they have what? Left open right. At this point. Like I um, again, you don't be going, like why said, don't I understand love? Feelings. And then be like, ah, oh, I love kissing yeah. girls. <laughs> it's just like, or, you know, inside. put Riku um, in the spot of Cinderella. When, you know, like, you could just do has, any, like, like you, know, has, mm -hmm. you could parallel to any other, like, Disney really best friend in a much better place. duo. But these things have not you could have Sora either. going, like, anything. wow, yeah. Mike and Sully remind um, me of me and Riku. Best friends to the end, you know? Right. You know, Consider Riku's got like my back, Bell, just like, just like, anything with Kyra. Woody and Buzz. Always got, you know, Woody and Buzz, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing that was like, oh, what's this about Kyrie? And then just like, you know, then they just fuck off. It's just like, there's nothing. We got like nothing from her side, but we got insight into, into Riku, how he's still feeling. And then his feelings playing in a very important part later on. Um, but to delve into and elaborate on it. At least in Sora's case, because I feel like a lot of people don't fully understand, or or it, he's not. And then no more read. I made Woody and Sora's Sora, pretty gay. He 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 it's sleep, true. But there's been like little to no self reflection. Uh, Granted, Kingdom Hearts three like, Woody and Buzz is more canon time, to me than Woody also, and Buzz in in uh, Toy Story just, four. I would argue part of it is just growing up. <laughs> Uh, or is a bit of a weird one. Yeah, I'm not a It's not necessarily a bad movie. It's just a movie that didn't have to be 
uh, and as it's set up, it's not a bad movie. Just, I don't think it's a good Toy up, Story movie. Yeah, if you I know what I mean. This, all of these extra characters. I think it should have just been a movie that, that has been built could have been within the universe, but just like about Bo Peep. Yeah, just take just yeah. put it somewhere else up. in the universe and expand the universe that you have in a way that's also mm -hmm. satisfying too. That's in a, simple. In a believable, satisfying. <laughs> yeah, that that would have been fine. You know, the Wayfinder trio, they're okay. They're kind of they, they got closure. You know, we have the the Sea Salt trio. We got is it plus <laughs> plus one. Um, Syax is there or Isa, but um, we have like all of this stuff wrapped up in a way that's like we could explore this later if we needed to but we don't have anything left terrible we don't have anything left open-ended aside from uh uh axel and syax and in, in you know subject x which is definitely <laughs> absolutely uh fucking scold <laughs> um <laughs> but uh so we have all the side shit we have this weight shed we have this setup of sora is just got something going on yeah, Subject X is me. Um, I'm every mystery in Kingdom Hearts, and I set all of this up. Uh, and then we have some, I yeah, am every mystery. I am every have, mystery uh, in Kingdom <laughs> Hearts. <laughs> so, um, that that remains open. But um, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, the nobodies that like we have yet to explore, we have stuff like that. But it's just like the characters that we have been following for the most part this whole time. Um, you know, they're wrapped up. Yeah. Uh, they're wrapped up, and like we know, officially moving forward, it's about Sora and Riku, and this fusion of Sora and Riku, which doesn't mean fucking nothing. Um, don't mean shit. But, means okay, nothing. Don't read it. You have it. to remember. You have, you have to like consider that, like what this would mean, right? Okay. So, start literally starting the game. You know, in the dive to the heart. I feel like people forget this, or forget, or don't really comprehend, like, the way of the do symbolism. They? Um, mm -hmm. that he dives into his own heart. Uh, not only are the memories that you pick from, uh, to select your stats, which they're about important things. You know, we have Riku, we have, we have Donald and Goofy and Mickey. We have Bubbis, you know, and then we have, like, Naminé, which he shouldn't, he can't even remember this memory specifically. We have Roxas. And, and... That's it. And there's, like, nothing. There is nothing with Kyrie at this point. Um, which could be nothing, but it is of note. She's not there. And she hasn't been there in his heart, as far as we can see, with even Riku's dive and other games where it, she should be important. She's not there. And this you is still like consistent. She's not there. Two hours and forty. Okay. So it's a dive from the This is literally his heart. I love, like, people, like, this is I don't remember like, anything feelings, I've said. Heart, okay? <laughs> And just like sure, yeah, somebody else. One to one, undoubted. Like here it is. Here is what should be Riku, and instead it's a light. It's this light in the darkness. It's this. That light shit drives in me insane. Heart. Still, that's another thing Which where it was like before. Torn away from. Hold on, I'm gonna pause. Okay. Before, um, obviously just having a whole fucking story where Sora's like, I just don't understand what love feels like. Uh, uh -huh. And that being just like you could give me nothing and you could give me that, and I go oh, okay. I know where I we can see where this story is going. Right um, before that, I guess a little less, but still, that was always probably the biggest thing that would drive me absolutely batshit insane. And that uh -huh. I'm just like, oh, this is going exactly the way I think it's going. Is just his dive to the heart, where it's just still like unexplained, unexplored, and. Like you couldn't get more any more direct with like this like he is within his own heart, and mm -hmm. all of this is happening, and it's just like here is the KH1 intro recreated, and then instead of Riku, it's a light, and yeah. I'm like, wow, that sure, <laughs> hmm, yep, that's uh. pretty on the nose. That's pretty straight fucking forward. That's not. There's no like. I don't know. What could Me? that mean? No, no. This is repeated. This is like well known imagery from the very right. start of the series. They have repeated several times over. This uh -huh. is, there's no like, well, you know, it's just like, oh yeah. And then they just, what if we turned Riku into a light? A ball Ooh, of light. <laughs> wow. And then later it's like Riku's like this light in like the tunnel and like, God, I wonder if Riku's like a light, this light in Sora's heart. And maybe he I just know. doesn't like 
Maybe he just doesn't like realize it yet. You know, maybe it's just like, oh, uh, I don't know. And it's just, it drives me insane that it's like oftentimes, like even, you know, in the people being like, oh, Kyrie, Kyrie sacrifice. Oh, they're together already. <laughs> Obviously, they already sure the pow poo, blah, blah, blah. And I just, uh -huh. it always, I'm just left standing here with like all of this shit that I'm like, what, what do you guys this? make of all this like yeah like, exactly like what do you make of of this this is totally yeah. like they haven't addressed it like what do you think this means even if you think they're not coming back to it what do you uh -huh. think this means what do you think this is supposed to tell us because i've seen some people just go like well it's supposed to be a callback and it's like why yeah why here in in you, not yes. in the intro nothing yes it is well, yeah i know <laughs> but like just as a callback for for fun to be cool mm -hmm. that we had the intro for that why isn't that there this right. is happening in a very like mysterious unexplained dive to the heart all of this stuff is weird and should be thrown into question. Sora even just going through this mirror. Why is he young? You know, why is he KH1 Sora? And then to KH2 and then like all of this stuff. And everyone just goes, we, and like, they just don't yeah. think about it. And it's just like, okay, even it like you're fucking the, the bottom, like denominator, just like nothing, just surface level. Like, why do you think this is here? What do you think this even implies? Like, even well, yeah, because every just... game that has a dive to the heart, we know the reason behind the dive. Yes. Like, Saurian yeah. Kingdom Hearts One is dreaming of like yes, and then he and what's then he wakes up from it, you know? Yeah, and, then, like... and in Kingdom Hearts Two, Roxas is like what well, dreaming? He's also, yeah, he's dreaming, you know, and he's also yeah. in a computer, but like <laughs> right, it's he's asleep at least at that point. Like that's that's mm -hmm. a thing that's happening, and you see him wake up from it yeah like riku dives into sora's heart so that he can wake him up and save him mm. and d but like for three and then and then you also see him wake up from yes that. <laughs> yeah then in three suddenly suddenly we don't know we don't know this is the first time it hasn't on. been explained why mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really weird. This dive has happened. It's not even like trying to nitpick and be like, well, somebody didn't wake up from it. It's like, they're, that's the least of our worries. What the hell is yeah. going on in this fucking dive to the heart? What's all these Because it's way different from photos? all the others. Like, yeah, it's like incredibly different in a way that like very easily implies like a bunch of weird shit going on. And mm -hmm. nobody is giving it any thought or even the people who want to be like, I'm so involved in this series. I think about it all the time. And I'm just like, well, what do you make of this? It's like, oh, nothing really. And I'm like, why? Why? Do why do you mean nothing? <laughs> what do you mean nothing? Like, well, I'm sorry. I just, I want someone to very genuinely look at this and look at like the, we recreated the KH1 intro and made Riku a light inside Sora's heart. And it's just like, okay, does it seem like weird to extrapolate from this? Uh, that he's a light in Sora's heart, even if you were to say it's not romantic, like, I just feel like that's, it's just, like, really yes. in your face about it. Like, there's just not a mistake to be made here. It's not ambiguous yeah. outside of the fact that it's not literally fucking Riku go in his heart and then Sora's like, I love you. Like, you know, it's just like, <laughs> it's literally just, it's supposed to be Riku and then, Right. It's a light. I, d I don't know. What? You know, it does <laughs> genuinely, like, I'm just thinking about this now. It does genuinely make me f kind of wonder, because you were so on, like, you and the team were so on top of putting the Sleeping Realm theory out so quickly, mm -hmm. if, like, that got into people's heads, and now, like, people just turn off their brain when it comes to the weird stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3, and they're like, well, if I acknowledge this is weird, then that's kind of acknowledging, like, the sleeping that Rome we made theory any fucking point being, all. yeah, yeah, uh -huh. being legit in any sense. So, like, can't do that. Can't do that. It's just weird, because it's, yeah, you know, Kingdom Hearts is just so weird and, and confusing. Uh -huh. None of this means anything, though. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just, they're they're reaching so hard to think that this could imply anything. <laughs> <laughs> like what I like what kind of fan theories would be out and around at this point if the sleeping realm theory hadn't been made? 
Like, yeah, if would, wasn't... would people have gotten more into it? Or would it still just be this, like, uh, uh? The way people, like, theorize, like, every time I see, like, how much people were theorizing in the past, which I, obviously, I wasn't around for, I just mm -hmm. have seen more retroactively. And the way people would, like, really dig into little things. And I wouldn't say that people oh, were yeah. doing that now. Obviously, the internet landscape has changed a little bit. And I think a lot of people do this on Reddit in places that you, it's not the same as stumbling on some fucking old forum mm -hmm, or whatever mm -hmm. from like 2011 or some shit you know but like it's it feels like i don't know maybe i'm just not seeing it maybe it's it's like different i don't know since because but... that's part of the reason i've been going nuts these last four years is right. because like like, you came out swinging with the Sleeping Realm Theory, and I was like, right. fuck yeah, let's get into the theorizing let's time go. of Kingdom Hearts fandom. And then, like, let's nobody go. else did fucking anything. And, like, and that like, was yeah. something that we wanted to see. That was something we were like, we think we're onto something. Here's all of this stuff. We laid out all of this shit. And then people either went, like, Ugh. it was debunked. And they're like, how? And then they're like, and then, like, nobody would talk about it, and we wouldn't see any counter theories or other people mm -hmm. discussing like similar points or even trying to give their own explanation for all of these oddities like and yeah. that may be in part like due in part to the fact that cage three was a bit of a special scenario and how much everybody was anticipating it you know there mm -hmm. were a lot of expectations and then they went in and they blasted dick as fast as possible through this fucking game, and they came out really disappointed on the other side. And so people were like, uh, boo, you know. <laughs> and then some people, like, people even who were like, I liked it, would get kind of just bullied about it. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it was in a particular scenario, but the dust has since settled. And I right. was hoping that, like, anybody would talk about literally any of this stuff that which is why it drives me insane that it's like people still don't talk like i've literally never seen it nobody's ever brought it to me i have never seen anybody outside of us talk mm -hmm. about the keyblade graveyard logo coming yeah. in and it's just like yeah that's like a direct like that is a direct sign of something that nomura has specified before and we found that is it. some hashtag youtube content that people are missing out on and like nobody talks about it nobody and it I took know. people over like a year or two to even discuss on some greater level of fucking yozora being related to sora and riku somehow god forbid what a what a stretch you know, when, when people finally started talking about Yuzora, that was when I was officially starting to lose my mind because it was just like, really? Guys, come on. I, come yeah, on. I, it's one of those things that feels like it's so painfully obvious in a way uh -huh. that's just like, god damn. I don't know. I feel it's like, would people have been more quick on it? Again, if like, if the sleeping realm theory didn't exist and have some kind if of people weren't homophobic <laughs> basically if people weren't being weird about it and just taking yeah. it for like being a theory though granted that's not to say that people didn't do that people did go in and they went oh yeah this is a lot of really good points you know and a lot of these mm -hmm. things i could see definitely happening including king k he was one yeah. of those guys and he read it and he was like yeah i could see this working out i, uh -huh. I don't think it'll be gay though because i think square enix is a bunch of cowards and i was like that's fair. That's fair, man. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just stoked that he like read it. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, um, it's stuff like that where it's just like I don't, I don't know what happened, but like KH three came out and then like all discussion of it and like a genuine like we're trying to figure out like ooh weird stuff going on, like actually chewing on the mysteries that this game presents, and and there's like nothing. Yeah. There's like nothing. And I it's don't so, get it. <laughs> it's so, so weird. Because normally, like, secret endings would be, like, just the, the content you would go through yes. over and over again. And even stuff like, even stuff like the theories of Terra being come guardian are, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like there, there for sure were people who were, like, ah, uh, that's just a headcanon. You know, that's... that's yeah, yeah. That's not real. That's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there's always theory naysayers who are like, you're reading too much into this kind of oh, thing. Yeah. For sure. But, like, 
They'll always the point is, is that people were still making these theories and still being like, I, I think this is where this is going. And then, yeah. like, after, post Kingdom Hearts 3, it's just been like crickets, radio silent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, cause, and there are so many, like, weirdo fucking unexplained things in that game mm -hmm. so many individual like strange happenings even just like why does nobody talk about zigbar talking and it cuts to black why does nobody talk about yeah. that what is yeah. that we don't fucking know what that is and then like oh how interesting remind starts with that scene and like we get to see it play out more and then it's like bringing in all of this interesting shit that's like Luxord, what are you on about, bud? And now we know that, like, he's going to be important in the future and everything. And it's just like, there's mm -hmm. so much there. And nobody will talk about it. Nobody talks mm -hmm. about a goddamn thing. I'm not even just stumbling across it in my day to day. I don't understand why I this know. happened. And that's just one thing. That's just one fucking part. Like, we went through, like, every fucking weird happening in that game mm -hmm. that any single singular one of them could be someone's entire theory post on some forum yeah. and then like nobody will none like none of them i don't understand <laughs> like Why? again could be like its whole little little mini series of like you know 10 weird things and Kingdom Hearts 3 that aren't uh -huh. explained. Think Why so. the tram yeah. goes backwards. Why is Ericus's keyblade flipped? Like the Master Defender flipped. Yeah, now. yeah. Why is that fucking backwards and flipped and, and weird? Like people could like work off of crumbs and they have and they, yeah. and they even do. But like uh -huh. why why is all of this left entirely untouched like granted i feel like sometimes i'll see stuff on reddit but that's not me going on reddit that's usually other people going on reddit uh-huh so like by extension like i'm obviously like i said i don't know if i'm just not looking in the right place sometimes um yeah but even like old old theory stuff i have just come across trying to find other stuff you know what i mean you just find these old theory discussions and like i wasn't there but i know what bhk stands for i know that they called him blonde haired kid because we didn't have a name for roxas and it's like uh -huh. there's a whole bunch of shit and it's just like yeah i've i've seen these things i've seen oh and the millions like, of theories just on vanitas and you know vanitas yeah. was the topic of like years worth of theories videos mm -hmm. that you know i found to be personally all like don't really think this is going anywhere at least for the near future anyway yeah or in that direction but okay <laughs> but like people were still talking about it yeah for sure like it was just like it doesn't have to be like wow the most it's definitely going to happen like i think the only uh -huh. other thing i really saw um around the same time was the Demix being master of masters theory thing that went around, which yeah. very funnily uh, was something that was like the person who like wrote it was like, oh, I'm so inspired by like the sleeping room theory. And then like a week mm -hmm. later, they were like, I fucking hate that thing. And those guys suck. And I was like, huh? <laughs> like, I don't oh. know what the fuck. Yeah, it was just like, I think like some, because like a bunch of people obviously were like, boo, boo, this theory is doo-doo and bad and and they have a shipping bias and and Aye. boo and then it like i don't know people just started spreading weird rumors and and doing this and that you know fandom wank just the usual stuff and so that yeah. i saw that person like suddenly flip and like denounce anything about and i was like that's weird but okay <laughs> mm -hmm. but anyway like i saw that i remember the just the the demix's mom Obviously, there were very general fandom expectations of just, like, oh, Sora being Master of Masters in some other timeline kind of a thing. You know, that's very mm -hmm. generally around as much as I don't have, I have a bit of a dis distaste for the idea, but, like, eh, you know. And otherwise, it's like, I just, I don't know, there's not a lot out there that's uh, actually, like, looking at stuff and being like, why is this happening? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Also, when, yeah, when it was literally is an like ordinary boy. <laughs> That's yes. the point. That's the point that Nomura has emphasized even as recently as the 20th anniversary event, where he's just like yeah. he is a normal boy. 
He's just a regular, degular guy, you know? It's just a little guy doing little sure guy things. Pretty sure he's just going to stick to his guns, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that he's a regular kid. That anybody could do what Sora does outside of the magical, fantastical bullshit that's going on, obviously. But, you know, it's having yep. that heart, that love, that care for other people. Anybody can do that. And that's kind of the yeah. point. <laughs> but, anyway... Yeah, it, it was definitely, like, the the year after K, KH3 and, like, Remind and stuff. That then when, because, like, I saw people then suddenly on Twitter being like, wow, you know, Yazora, like, this guy. What's up have, with have that you, guy? Have you noticed this guy? Like, he, he kind of looks like Riku. This guy yet? Ugh, I haven't really But, like, maybe he doesn't look yet. like Riku. Uh, and oh, you're just it's like nothing. you know a character looking like another character sure as hell has never been a plot point on several occasions for this series so don't think too much about it it's just that Nomura just keeps designing the same guy you know he yeah just he's himself. just mad that he that versus 13 got canceled oh for sure for sure you know he just can't let it go oh. <laughs> uh huh yeah I know I know Jesus but Christ. yeah, yeah, it was definitely that point. I'm just like, all right, I can't stand your people Something anymore. Needs to change. <laughs> yeah, I need to find people to talk to. I'm gonna die. Yeah. So anyway, uh huh. Yeah. Wait, I pause this time. Wait, it's twelve thirty. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Because <laughs> I've been have I've been a good boy having a good boy sleeping schedule. Even though I woke up late this morning because Baby Cat didn't wake me up because uh -huh. of the automated feeder. Oh, so funny. He didn't come back up. It's almost like the feeder fed him. Wow. He'll figure it, He'll figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, uh... you want to do this Saturday? You want to just continue? <laughs> because, uh, I like... should be good to continue. I have my own stream I'm doing, though. That we're we're doing the Splatfest. So I could do it afterwards. Oh, that's right. But... See, look, I'll just also play the Splatfest on my own. <laughs> and then yeah. and then afterwards we'll convene and uh continue this. Alright. Um, because we did not get very far and also I'm we, having fun. We scratched so the surface. We scratched the surface a little bit, that's for sure. Um I suppose for anybody who has been having fun watching it. Um, I propose that if there are any specific talking points in general or even within the video, uh, if you want to take note and bring them up later, I would be happy to discuss them. Either you could just be like, you know, like going to this part and listening to this point or even just like, hey, uh, what about this thing? Like, f fuck it. I just, you can compile a list open your little notepad and then you know questions talk about Suriku. does riku is gay and then i'll go <laughs> yeah, yeah he really does so you know check mark that one off the list i already answered it so um yeah. anyway i guess that's that's my invitation if you just want to like if you have things you want just think about it or write it down or something like that and we'll continue the what splatting am I picking? <laughs> it's because it's because obviously it's uh like wisdom, power, and courage. Yeah, and it's either going to be power or courage. Obviously, I'm very inclined towards green, but I think Ganondorf is a big uh hotty thotty. So like you know maybe <laughs> maybe I'll feel a little like switching it up a little bit <laughs> so we'll, well we're see. going team wisdom so either way either way i'm going to fight you and put you in the dirt yeah. so that's yeah fine. <laughs> well we'll see about that <laughs> yeah we'll see what fucking happens um <laughs> anyway uh yeah okay let's let's convene then we can start whenever it's a saturday night you know yeah uh, I've got no date. Uh, I've got a two liter bottle of Shasta and my All Rush mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be it'll be good, you know. Um, 
yeah all right let's do that then i will call it quits here for now and um eat another cucumber yeah that sounds good yeah hell nice. yeah i'm gonna eat uh, more yeah. supper maybe a corn dog <laughs> Ooh, i don't want a corn dog i don't have corn hell dogs. yeah eat a corn dog for me I yeah guess. <laughs> i'll eat two corn dogs nice okay all right well then i will talk to you later and then I'll talk yeah. to all of you guys later. Okay? Does that sound good? We'll continue the discussion. Remember to to think of some questions or whatever as I peek under here a little bit. And we'll yeah. pick this up later. Okay? Okay. Sounds good night, good. everybody. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. And thank you, for Tennille, for joining me. Absolutely. Everybody say thank you, Tennille. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Take Goodbye, care. Everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.